Um, because I will have a lot of viewers who have not been with us since the last time we did the Jingu Wheel, considering it was August of 2022. Uh, let me go over the Jingu Wheel and the rules of the Jingu Wheel while we play the music. Hell yeah. We got that production value. We've got more music. <laughs> Must have be a bit loud. This is No More Heroes, by the way, which, yes, I would like to do speedruns of No More Heroes at some point. So, never seen a Jingu Wheel before. This is the Jingu Wheel. On this wheel that you can see on the screen right now, I have literally every speedrun that I have ever finished. I have to say that very specifically, because if I don't say every speedrun I've ever done, my mod Nayu will yell at me and go, where's Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne? Fuck off. <laughs> Love you, Nayu. So, here's how this works. We spin the wheel. The wheel will roll and it will land on one of these speedruns that I have finished at some point in my life. Every single RGG speedrun is on there, except for Grokyo 1, Grokyo 2, and Infinite Wealth Any Percent, because obviously, you know, I haven't done that speedrun yet, so <laughs> I haven't done any of those speedruns yet. Um, so those aren't on the list for the Yakuza stuff. Everything else is on there, even the 6 hour behemoth is Yakuza 5. If Yakuza 5 gets picked and then gets voted through, we are doing Yakuza 5 in its entirety. The later the night goes and the less time I have, considering I have, you know, long runs on here, uh, we can do some things with some runs, like if Yakuza 5 is like 10 hours in the stream, I ain't doing fucking the entire Yakuza 5, but we could do something like Kiryu Percent, so we will see. Whoever you are, Sandra203, who just sent me a friend request on Discord, fuck up! I'm in the middle of my goddamn fucking monologue. It's off, Sandra. Fucking Sandra. So, the way that this works, I hit the wheel, it spins, lands on something. You see at the top right, that side, I think. You'll see there are free chat vetoes and free of my own vetoes. What will happen first is I will decide whether or not I want to play the video game. The video game will then basically, once I've decided if I'm going to speedrun it or not, I will then throw it over to a Twitch poll. You will vote either yes or no on whether you want to see that speedrun. If you say no, or if I say no, we lose a veto. So if I say no, I lose a veto. You say no, you lose a veto. You only have three vetoes because we have a lot of long games and therefore, you know, it's fucking... Usually a Jingu Wheel stream only gets through two or three games. Because holy shit, I have like three or four hour speedruns on this thing. In the six hour Yakuza 5, because why the fuck not Yakuza 5? Fuck you. Uh, if you're wondering for the future, Infinite Wealth at any percent is, uh... Probably not going on the wheel. Oh, hey. Neither so is Persona 5 me. Royal. <laughs> also, chat. I want you to listen to me, and I want you to listen to me fucking good. First of the North Star is on the wheel. I am still mourning after first ass back in October. If First of the North Star appears on the wheel, it is a free respin, no vetoes used on either side. Do you understand me? We are not doing First of the North Star. Thank you. <laughs> Have to get that out of the way. We ain't doing first of the fucking North Star. <laughs> fucking vehemently refuse. It's still too early. So. This could be good. This could be bad. It's currently raining outside, I hear it. So. Once the music restarts, because I got it on loop. Let's see what the first spin actually is. Dingo. First spin spiel in essentially a year. Take it away. Binary domain! <laughs> Fucking binary domain. I'm putting that through to a poll, folks. All right. New poll. Do we play binary domain? Yes, no. I will give you Two minutes, we are not allowing additional votes via bits or points, because, oh god, that, oh god, did that once, it was bad, it was bad. Final Domain is about a two and a half hour speedrun, probably closer to three hours, because I haven't done it in a hot fucking minute, so, yeah. Also, while your vote, Viaz and Fontaine, thank you very much for the eight months and the 24 months respectively, two years, thank you very much. That's a good start. Good stuff. Nice. Good option. RGG Studios. 
IG Studios third person shooter with the robots. If you want to see it, vote yes. If you don't want to see it, vote no. I'm not looking at the results until they come in. Yeah, no more heroes. I need to find an extended version of this song. I'm fairly certain there's one out there. A damn big bow. E Norby, thank you for the resub for nine months. I don't know why resub was a hard word to say that. <laughs> I think I burnt my tongue slightly on my teeth. That is not a bad style whatsoever, actually. That could have been. That could have just given us Yakas of Fire straight away. <laughs> would have been bad. Rimu, thank you for the resub with Prime. 17 months, I appreciate it. Train started. I'm right at this. Hey, from big wheel treat you all tonight. So far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, I will say, there is. What's up? There is uh, three options on the wheel. Uh, of runs that I have not yet done. I will not say what they are, but I will hint at them. One of them is a charity reward from previously. One of them is something contentious, and the other one is something that probably ain't gonna go too well. We'll see. We're good for the New York Times. I did an interview for them once. Do we play binary? I can't even see what the results are behind the fucking hype train thing. That's a resounding yes of 65%. Hell! Big bow! Alright, let's change over the binary domain. Here we go. We get set up here. That is a big old yes on the binary domain. I so before we get going, uh, before we get going, let me um let me just say the wheel itself, uh, this idea originally came from uh Ecdysis. Um Good friend of mine, Dysis, who does obviously the horror game speedruns and stuff like that. Um, that idea originally was also from Catlink, who used to do this uh, previously. Um, essentially, well, it's hard. Uh, essentially, Dysis has a has a veto system because Dysis runs like over like almost two hundred games at this point. Uh, Dysis has a lot of shorter runs, so Dysis has like a. I'll get my notes up. Here we are. Um, Dysis has a system where you can actually veto the game by gifting subs. I don't have anything like that, but I've been considering that for the future. Um, and then that way, if like a certain number of subs gets gifted in one go at any point during the stream, you can like just veto the actual game itself in the middle of it, uh, which would be, you know, pure chaos mode. Um, but as you do. Yeah, I saw that earlier, Sagita. I, I saw that earlier. That uh, made me laugh. <laughs> that did make me laugh. Final Domain gonna launch on the correct monitor today. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Alright. The Binary Domain is a pain in the ass. I have to, I have to set this up like a like really much. That's fucking loud! Must have forgot about that. Hey, Binary Domain, why are you on the wrong monitor, my dude? You, uh, you go over to my other monitor? Why did it, why did it go over to my other monitor? Oh, right, I have to do it in the fucking configuration. I have to do this every time? Fucking binary domain. God fucking damn it, binary domain. <sighs> Configure binary domain. Every fucking time, binary domain. Um, reference adapter is wrong. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Can't see that. I want you, right? Yeah. Windows? <laughs> Windows? Oh, I saw I see my boy Big Boy. There we go. Next binary domain. <laughs> Next binary domain, you piece of shit. I'm gonna have to do that every fucking time I wanna run this game. Oh, that's a pain. <sighs> oh. It's me time to chug my tea. Sorry for binary domain breaking your ears. I kinda of forgot binary domain was fucking loud. <laughs> Bi binary domain is. Fucking loud. Ah. HCCD. Thank you for the tier one for 11 months as well. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Oh. Hey. Finally domain it up. We're on cake walk. I do not want to enable control assist, thanks. Uh, I don't remember where the fuck the timing starts for this game. I don't remember if it was here or if it was in a little bit. Hold on. I'm checking. I think it was here. Very certain it was here. Not that it matters too much, because I'm not gonna be getting a I'm not gonna be getting a PB today. Um 
Press skip on the first cutscene. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you very much. That's actually a nice place to have. That's actually a nice place to have the time. All right. So, three, two, one, go. It's time to binary domain it up. It's Yo, your boy, Big Bog. Let's go over the communication there he is. system. Whew. Use your radio if you want to respond or say something to me. I've lost my. Well, understand how to use your radio now? Yes. I got it. Good answer. Keep it up. I got it. Next. So this game has uh this game has actual audio controls techniques. which um you can skip this if you don't need it. Bad. So you want to go over your gear and stuff or not? No, big bro. No. You know this stuff already. All right, let's move out. We know this stuff already. Can't move for a second here. All right, so yeah, no, the um this binary domain. Binary domain is an RGG game. Uh, if you've never seen it before, it is actually genuinely I'm just inside Yo, the book. Uh, this is genuinely an RGG exactly? game. This, uh, this game originally in Japan came out a Vacation, year chips, after the Dead Souls. So they obviously... Um, <laughs> yeah, ever was. Uh, so they actually used work. like all the experience they had from yeah. like Yakuza yeah, Dead Souls done, to like, like make this game. But in the West, this game came out about two weeks before Yakuza Dead Souls. Why we gotta execute the operation in this shitty weather? I agree. It's been shitty weather in England today as well. <laughs> you have to use the mic. No, thanks. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I, oh, right. Yeah, I have to wait for right. I forgot. Let's go. We should get in touch with HQ, too. Oh, yeah. I should be equipping my... Dan. Uh, my skill settings, my dude. And I forgot this. Uh, I want this one. I don't think I want all of them, but it's all good. These are DLC, but apparently they're allowed. Because they just come default with the game. Listen, listen. Ain't our leaderboard. Ain't our leaderboard. I ain't fucking judging. Beetle two to base. I right, can't skip this. Oh. Loud and clear, Beetle two. Line is secure. Tracking locked. Current position. You'll know the drill when it comes to RGG stuff. In-game stuff. Skip ball. Or not skip ball. Out of game. CG stuff. Skip ball. Uh, thanks, yeah. Major. Now, how about in English? You're nearing the target infiltration point, smartass. It's less than a click ahead. Cool, Miss Smartass. Yeah, we're approaching thanks, now. Thanks, Major. Shouldn't be a problem. See when like two hours. Remember, once you're inside the seawall, maintain radio silence. We'll cut this link once you're through. Any famous last words? Yeah, tell your mama I love her. <laughs> I heard that, Botang. That's why we like Big Book. <laughs> why we like Big Book. <laughs> hey, time for robots. So, oh yeah, my pup. So this is your enemies of the game. Damn, those things are bad. Good old those robots. We the nice thing about like this again with them with them having like done um now put it away them me. having done good old uh dead souls before this they actually learned a lot. They actually learned a hell of a lot from. Oh damn, that took me down quickly. Fucking hell. I'm good, big ball. I'm just gonna run. Um, they learned a lot from uh Yakuza Dead Souls. So the, a lot of the a lot of the enemies in this you can actually and you'll see it a lot more later when you know we actually do fights because I can just run past these enemies for example every single individual every single individual like body part for each of the enemies is actually uh, breakable. This was good. Some wrong. You were saying? Oh, shit, that's a grand lancer. The I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll be fighting that big guy in a second. So yeah, no. The nice, no, the nice it. thing is like the, the shooting in this is a lot more satisfying than Yaks and Dead Souls. Um, Roger that, base. Come on, I'll cover you. Age before beauty, my friend. Everyone's a goddamn comedian. And then we leave. Goodbye. Please let me go, damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Let me go. Never does. All right. We have the swimming bit. So when we're swimming here, we are actually using up our stamina. Um, but we could hitch a ride. But on cakewalk, you don't have to. You don't actually have to worry too much about this, which is good. Go for a fast grab. Ready? So this first bit just teaches you, you know, the controls for swimming, and then you have these drones. So as long as you don't get spotted, you won't get obviously uh, caught by the enemy. But it doesn't matter too much. We do want to conserve our stamina a little bit so that we don't slow down, hopefully. This bit, we just have to wait and do. Like, we can't do anything here. We have to just wait. You can just come back up straight up immediately for the first one. 
And then hopefully the rest of them should not be a problem. And you should have enough stamina to get to the gate here and just go through, which should get our stamina back. Over here, bro. Wait for Big Bo to tell us to go through. Big Bo. What do you say? Good exercise, huh? Get in shape. Save the world. Here. We got our priorities go. straight. Oh, hit the button too early, idiot. Been a while since we done Bionic Domain, actually. I think it's been like a month or two. When was the last time we actually did it? Sit tight. Yeah, no. Damn, you nuts? Damn it, man. But it doesn't matter if they actually see us. The only thing they do is actually, like, shoot at us, which, again, doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to do this so that I can get my, get my stamina back lost. Obviously, they try and shoot me. Give me a lot more than I was expecting to, actually. I'm in a little bit of trouble. The game's Have a good. open. Come here. <laughs> I mean now. I'm coming. I messed that up. It's fine. Yeah, there you go. Messed that up just a little bit. It's fine. Um, so yeah, one thing I like about this game, the infinite wealth actually does itself, is that in obviously I'm playing with the English dub. Um, one of the very nice things the English Easy, dub huh? does is that when out. you have characters Hold speaking tight, in their bro. native language to others, like there's a scene with two policemen. Like, that happens a couple of times during this game. Because the uh, policemen okay. are Japanese, Jaja. they actually speak with their Japanese voice actors. It's, it's something chill, that, like, Infinite Wealth does a bunch of times. I wish Infinite Wealth would have done it more, weirdly enough. Um, but, yeah, no. Like, it did good. I like that. Also, this is, this is so, like, this is so early that the actual voice cast of this game uh, is a veritable who's who of big names these days. Um, Dan, the main character, is Travis Willingham. Uh, you have Laura Bailey in this as the main romantic love interest. And her name is Faye. She kicks ass. You'll see her soon. Uh, you have Troy Baker as Charlie, the British, uh, like, leader who oh, also is a little racist. And, sounds like the Brits to me. I am British. Still, that was a little too flashy Not good. For a top secret <laughs> hey, bud. Oh, wait, my dude. We're gonna be aiming up there. Damn, time for the wire guns. Oh, yeah? Oh, I have to ready it first. My bad. Alright, think of these as our express elevators. See it it's shining okay. up there. Red paint. 8% <laughs> is just the difficulty. It's just like any percent, but it's just the name of the difficulty. They call it cake percent. It's funny. Alright, let's not wait. We say Big Boat? No, here. because to say Big Boat, you would have to. You would have to actually... I didn't mean to grab that. Uh, you would actually have to um, go out of your way to build up the personality oh, traits for hey, everybody, and you just can't do that. So... Listen up. Issuing tactical commands is the key to busting out of here. So, you want to go over how it's done? No. Just trying to help. But if you'd rather just get it over with, fine by me. I mean, attack you, big boy. Get out of there, big boy. So ideally, I will hit heads here. I'm not doing a very good job because the uh, I forgot the acceleration of the mouse in this game is wild. Ideally, I will take heads. So one of the nice things is if you take heads, uh, those enemies will actually be on your team. If you shoot the, you can all get out of my way. If you actually shoot the um, the arms off that are holding the guns, you will actually do. You'll actually make it so they drop the gun that they are using. It's really bad because, God, even Big Bo actually, like, caught up with me there. Really bad. I think I've missed the SMG, right? right give that button a push, brother. Oh, right, my bad. Thanks, Big Bo. Um, very warm SMG's in the next bit, right? This one's all business and no pleasure. I think it's in the next bit. Also, reload his middle mouse button. And charge the big... Death ray thing. I want to get that for my second gun. Oh, hey, check this out. The shop. We don't want a shop. Goodbye, big boy. Damn, quiet here. Keep your eyes peeled. There are going to be enemies. So there are certain, like, there are certain, like, sets of enemies, like this one. You can actually just, like, avoid for the most part. I just want to take care of his head so the enemy will go after him instead of me for the most part. They have missed the SMG, but it'll be fine. This is nice and easy to be able to line this up. If you just move it all the way to the right and then rotate, it's in the perfect position. <laughs> Shit, a dead end? Ain't there some way we can get past here? 
What the hell's that? Some kind of control panel? Yeah, it is. So Big Boy will thankfully like keep me covered it. here, which is we good. Use it, as a bridge to the other side. it will be enemies that fly That's in it, as brother. backup, but keep again, because we're here, you know, quick enough, Big Boy, yeah. He'll help us out and we'll just be able to just do this before they even have a chance to mess with us. That's Waz the mouse and then F. They really make you use all nice your work. controls in this game. And yeah, it's hard to describe how messed up the uh, mouse acceleration is in this game because it is wild. Uh, and much like most RGG speedruns, we do have the good old checkpoint strats. See, I had the loading bar on the right. right. There you go. No sign of more scrap heads. So no rush, brother. We got time to catch our breath. I'm in a speedrun, big boy. Definitely boat. headed the right way. Be out of this place soon. And then time for the main event. You ready to party? I'm fucking straight I am. Feels good to be working together again. So if you're wondering, uh, Binary Domain has multiple different time. endings. They are all based on we'll the... This one too. <laughs> how much me? your team is satisfied with you. It That's requires a tiny Let's little bit of grinding out. to get the best you ending. Point, brother. Um, going this way because up here should be... There it is. The SMG, or after. SMG good. Probably using that immediately after. Uh, you want to charge forward, big boy? I should be moving a bit faster forward here, but I just want to, yeah. Try and get some on my team so that they shoot at them rather than me. Hopefully get to the very end. There's going to be a couple of new looking robots coming up here. They're somewhat nasty. I think this room is one of those where you do have to take care of all the enemy. And once you're taking care of most of them, two more will appear here. And we just run. Bad big boy. Hey, big boat. We'll help it, bud. I know how that grenade didn't kill all of them. That's pretty bad. Hey, boy, I'm gonna need you to judge. How are they still very much alive? this. Want to kill all the flying reinforcements. Not all of them, no. Be good, big boy. Be good. Not good. We go. like we'll just have to open this big ass gate. <sighs> only open if we pull these levers together. Alright, let's pull. Ugh. <laughs> So now we get the Grand Lance to fight. So this shouldn't be this shouldn't be too bad. On cake percent, you can just run past this guy, which is good. So I can head to that lift on the left. I wouldn't mind more med kits, but I don't think I can grab one before the cutscene starts. Okay, nice. I have used one more than I would like at this point. Uh, med kits allow us to obviously instantly get up if we're first not down. Start, we're going to head up here, as said. Stop walking backwards, please. Bonk. Yeah. So, go through the door. You gotta open this door. Give me a hand. I'm giving you a hand, big boy. So the nice thing for this is you can just, like, go really fast here. This is kind of like a... It's not a scripted fight, but, you know, it's easy to take care of. We can't, like, blow it up. I'm not sure if you can blow it up normally or not. You might be able to. Uh, but the downside is we do have to wait for it to walk through the door that we just went through to get over to here. There's a couple of these little spider-like enemies here. They don't. Don't matter. Don't matter. You gotta be kidding me. Let me just wait for him to walk through the door. <laughs> just what we needed. Damn. Let's use that big old steel girder to deliver. I'm Here using it. it. Please don't grab me. If they all grab me, that's a problem. And that's that. Good. Bonk. 
Oh, the last time we'll see one of those, obviously. We will actually fight one of those properly later. But yeah, now we get the good old RGG. Oh, hey, it's time to fly through a goddamn solar system. We basically get the overview of the plot here. If we saw that man right there, he had a bit of a robot for a face. Essentially, we are dealing with what are called hollow childs. They are basically robots that are made to look like people have been implanted with their memories, blah, blah, blah. We don't know if they're, you know, oh God. We don't know if they're, you know, they're one of us, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So it's kind of like, have you ever seen Hideo Kojima's uh, Snatcher? It's very, very much like that. Isn't this over yet? Today just sucks. Yes, you can game over this. Whoa! Too fast, man! You will learn to love Big Bo. Big Bo's great. Big Bo is great. We love Big Bo here. Oh, fuck this bit. This bit fucked me up oh, real bad earlier. So, first bit, they're going to get exploded by a certain resistance group that we'll be seeing in a second. Okay. Of all the shit to stumble into. And then I'm gonna start running up that ramp to the right and I'm going to go down. <laughs> this bit fucking sucks. This bit absolutely fucking sucks. I'm using my SMG. Man, this ain't fair. We ain't part of no resistance. Maybe they're flushing out illegal aliens too. If I can get shot from behind as well as from in front is the is the issue here. Please help. I wanted the head so that I could, you know, get an ally here and they'd stop shooting me. But yeah, you can run and gun. This was on the 360, so it was the era of, you know... What the hell did Gears... What the hell did Gears say to... Like, what did Gears call it? The whole, like, run and gun kind of roadie shooter. I think I want to low checkpoint here because this gets rid of the enemies and gets Big Bow next to us. Yep. Take cover. Oh no, snipers. This is what I'm gonna do with the sniper. I'm just gonna run past the bike. They broke very easily. I'm not happy about that. The SMG, as you can see, just shreds enemies. Like, it's really good. Yep. Oh, behind us? Sorry, behind us. I'm Big Bubble to take them out, but oh well. Thanks, Big Bo. Hooray for the ballad of Big Bo. Damn right, IG42. Remember for the 32 months, I appreciate it. I'm closer to the 42. Yo, rendezvous point ain't far now. Finally get to meet hey. our new British friend. Philip said the guy's ex MI6. A real Hi. agent, not some pencil push. On chapter two, so yeah. Watch your I? back, alright? After the spit. I got it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Multinational. Uh, some of these dialogue choices are obviously better than others. Uh, I think I just did the wrong agendas. option there. Uh -huh. And that includes us. You and me, brother. We trust each other and nobody else. We do want grenades. I do not have any is. grenades. That's bad. Whoa, listen to me. We get no yeah, brother. Grab this ammo, then. Stop me if I'm boring you. No. God damn. Thanks, brother. But you don't have to get all soft on me. I do need to all right. that button. Enough chatter. Let's get busy. Get busy. Hey, this bit's bad about grenades. I don't have any grenades left. It's real bad about grenades. As you can see. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna die. Yeah, that was that was my mistake. I should not have ran this far out. I did this last time as well, to be fair. I should be using I should be using in this situation without my grenades. Is the charge shot. So your assault rifle has this, which is a charge shot. Uh, it stuns and obviously as you can see it like takes care of the enemies really nicely. That guy is being a pain right now. He needs to go. That's the only one that can actually hit me when I'm, like, in this cover. Unfortunately, this happens, and because I'm, like, here slow, I cannot get on the minigun, which is going to cause me to lose even more time. Yeah, I know, Big Bo. I'm going back here. This is bad. Oh, hey, boys. Okay, that was fully charged. I saw it fully charged. Sure. Thanks, Big Bo, for trying to push me out of cover. Love you, Blue. Yeah, you're supposed to obviously, like, be on the... There we go. First, be on the, the gun so that you can actually, you know, take care of these enemies when they drop down. Should just be this last guy left. Thanks, big boat. 
Yeah, not having grenades for that is bad. You can probably tell why grenades there is good, because you can just, you know, you can just use your grenades and just absolutely demolish them. Alright, now you meet the squad. We will meet the squad. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like... Oh, <laughs> Rackham and Grand Blue, right? Listen, Rackham's gun is supposed to be single right, shot. Brother? Damn. Telling you, man. Live around here long enough to grab as much ammo as we can on the way. Like them kids back there. No hope, no future. Hope, no future. How did it all end up this way, man? A great question. Base? Anyway. Where's that Rondi? Where is the Rondi, chap? It's actually, like, look over there. Flashlight. Over there. Flashing light warning. Man needs new <laughs> batteries. It's Morse it's... code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? You joke about that. But here comes problem. Whoa! We got company. I think this is just a run forward. Roger, you can't get down straight <laughs> away. Let's give him a warm welcome. I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna hit behind the cover. Too. This is bullshit. I got the aerial units. Gonna blast them out of the sky. Twice to you. That's bad. That's bad. Thanks, game. This is one of those you can avoid if you just go to left. I wanted to stun this guy so I could just, you know, run past. That went real well. <laughs> also, he's pausing too early to skip cutscenes. Hey, this is... That is chapter one. That is absolutely chapter one. So we now get to the actual squad. You get to see everybody, including racist Troy Baker. <laughs> I wish I was joking, I'm not. <laughs> Troy Baker actually uses a genuinely racist term to all Japanese people in this video game. So, you know. Oops. Uh, we're going to be taking Big Bo and Rachel. Those are going to be our team members for the start. There's Troy Baker. He's British. His name is Charlie. All right, you go ahead. See? Radio us when you reach the contact location. No problem. What if we run into scrapheads? Shoot them. That's what you gangs are best at, isn't it? You know, Charlie, maybe I could get to like you after all. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like people, would you believe? <laughs> You're Rachel. So we what want to walk backwards here, we walk backwards group. a little faster. What? Why the sudden interest? Is it just money, plain and simple? So Rachel's or gonna be very useful because Rachel has a involved. rocket launcher. Hey Dan, is your partner always like this? Yeah. I can tell this is going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, what's it's your story? <laughs> Word of advice. Women don't like Swarms of surveillance bots. Bots. So once you get to the end, we can just go straight forward. I really need those grenades that I don't have, which sucks. Same. You want to get into Robots are clumped together. Numbers like that, wouldn't it be faster just to blitz them? Yeah. Hi, let's rock the house. Normally, no. If I had grenades. Let's go. I do have the grenades. It gave me them back. away from that. Shit! That's a sniper! Take cover! I'm fucking trying! There's a robot on me, big boy! Big boy! Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm out of med kits as well, so I need them to res me. This is why I needed to grenade them. Don't push yourself too hard. That was, was it though? Shit, grenade. Ah, that snipe actually got me. Ugh, that's bad. <laughs> that's very bad. Hey, could you have let me shoot the robot first? Because I could have had them shoot the robot. Thanks. Right, Rachel also has a shotgun as well. Rachel's very good for close range, which is obviously what we're doing a lot of here. Put more effort into it. Into it. The just need to get in here, which is why, like, again, I just want one of them, like, gone. Like, on my side. Thank you. Because then the enemies will fame at them instead. Charlie, come in. Charlie here. What's your situation? Yep. Enemy reinforcements keep coming. We leave them. What we want is that rocket launcher. This is even a bit much for me. And then we go up to the shop. And then I want to upgrade a couple of things. Uh, don't I? This is here, right? Uh, 
Yes, everything but the... Oops. Everything but the top option. Upgrade. My assault rifle. Uh, everything but rounds. I don't know if I can get, like, multiple. I think I can. I'll get more firepower, because, you know... Yeah. Dead. I did not mean to jump down. That's bad. I need to be on the roof. Who's my team? We'll take them all out before you can count on me. Who's, who's my team? Okay. Uh, those are sticky nades. I don't need those. Right, something. everything has to go down. Sound. What about that? Yes, yes, it okay. could. Grand Lancer! Everyone, take right. cover! Our guns won't penetrate his armor. How's the Grand Lancer? We need to think of something. Quickly! So what we need to do is gonna wait a second so that it comes over. Hammer. I'm gonna shoot it in the head twice. And hopefully it will stop. Look we can at that. then shoot its the weak spot. Fire there. That's bad. Some Break this here. Yeah. Yeah, nice Ryan. I need this to die before it. Yep, does that. HQ, can you hear me? No need to shout. I, I went the other side. I can't get it to explore. Yeah, You'll piss off. Dude. How can we stop it? I think I can help. Our intelligence office just sent some data on the Nice work, XQ. What did you learn? Yeah, yeah. I missed uh, one of my rockets was bad. One of my rockets was bad, I missed it. It's rough. Uh give me this. Uh, I think there are uh, kids in this route. There's one on the way at the very least. Already having trouble down here. Hey, percent. It's just the difficulty. Screwed when we get up top. This is nothing compared to what they got in the city. You know? That's my boy. Always loaded for the fight. I'll be counting on you, brother. Love you, big boy. You're damn right. Now that's the survivor talking. My nickname is the survivor. For those who don't know. If you've quite finished your loving, girls. We should probably go. You feeling left out, princess? You need a hug? Come on, Charlie's contact won't hang around forever. Let's move. We're supposed to rendezvous with our contact beyond this shutter. There Let's is go. a low checkpoint you can do here, but because we're all over here, it should just be fine to just do this. I missed one low checkpoint there. Uh, I will grab this med kit because I am out of the minute and I would like to, you know, res myself at points and run down here. Don't get jump scared by the rubble collapsing, chat. <laughs> I'm always pausing way too early for these cutscene skips. Good old RGG games and not being able to pause and skip cutscenes early. So we get a flashback with uh, Dan beating up a robot. Uh, very traumatic event. He doesn't like robots. There's a lot of racism and persecution in this Based game from our uh, heroes. Our intel says Mifune is a smuggler. So we're after Mifune. In weapons and technology banned in Japan. That sounds typical. That all you got? Afraid so. Mifune isn't even his real name. All we've got to go on is his rep. Yeah, don't sweat the details, Base. Just leave it to me. You know something I it's don't, British, Gregory? Baker. Well, I don't know, Major. Do you have extensive operational experience dealing with underworld crooks? Just be careful. All of you. Has a point. <laughs> he does have You're a good right. point. I'm liking this guy more and more. So once again, right, let's go. Mifune is waiting. We get to pick our party. We're gonna go with once again the same party. Big Bo and Rachel. Then we're gonna load not chapter checkpoint. Thank you. Uh, because this will push us into a brand new area. Hey. What is this place? It looks like an old. We need to something. push a gas canister all the way to the door. Whoa, we need this, not open this guy. Soon. What do you suppose we should do? Yo, come over. Uh, Welcome. Can we stand next Thank to this guy? Coming. 
There is a shop if we need, but we shouldn't need this shop at the moment. We need you to fill that tank there. Top it off, all right? To have my As rocket launcher. Wish. Yep. We want to keep the rocket launcher. It's important to keep the rocket launcher. Shit! Transport. And we shoot robots Launch again. Would you believe? Me. Thank you for your patronage. Okay. So yeah, I'll Big Bow's gonna move set. it. You Us and Rachel. We're gonna kill anybody that gets our. It's our way. See? The charge is very good. Charge is very, very good. Play for slightly crunchy sounds, by the way. I don't know if this is, like, consistent, like... In the terms, like the amounts of enemies, the like, oh, hey. I don't know if like there's like they're unlimited or if there's like only a certain amount, but we're just gonna keep you know, shooting. And as you can see, I'm aiming heads. <laughs> nice to see you behind them. Uh, I'm also picking up these little canisters off the floor because these canisters are what charge the blue gauge on top right. That we can use for our um, our charge shot. And unfortunately, Big Bo has no idea that we're about to explode the gun. What the heck? Oh, I explode. So as Big Bo gets that to the door, we explode it. Sorry, Big Bo. <laughs> let's move it. Love you, Big Bo. Did I go the wrong way? I did go the wrong way. I forgot this bit's to the right. Help. Oh, is this uh, the spider? Yeah, 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 it's spider. Okay, so next boss. Uh, we call it spider because, as you can see, it's giant spider. So this is one of the bits where you can die via, like, insta-death. There's a couple of these that happen in the game. So we have to avoid all the rubble and all that jazz. First part's not too hard, obviously. So you get interrupted quite a bit by the falling rubble and stuff like that. And then we have one of RGG's patented insuppressed QTEs, baby. We don't do the right bit at the right time, we die. Thankfully, it's not hard. <laughs> Thankfully, it's very much not hard. So we got to fight this big spider, and thankfully, because we still have, the, obviously, the rocket launcher, we're going to use we'll that. Let's get through the alley. Did you see that thing? Now, you can't actually get past this quickly. No one said shit about that to me, There's an invisible barrier. This mission is a bust. We should abort. No way, my dude. Shit. Guess you're right. No retreat, no surrender, huh? Looks like the only Treat. way out is through, no brother. But we ain't fighting that big son of a bitch, all right? Do that. All right. Move out, but don't let them see you. <laughs> we all fight the big son of a Undetected, we all good. Let's go. Okay, so in this next bit, we're, we're just gonna be rushing direction. like Guess forward as fast as possible. This building. I can actually you know, turn. As you probably guessed, the mouse sensitivity in this game is here. fucking wild. It doesn't I, I, work very we well. The roof so we'll they're gonna take the care of the right path. Right I'm gonna go left. left. I need to go fast before they. Actually, go over here. Shoot that sniper fast. That sniper will just absolutely wreck you. Don't like try and be fancy with it. Just get rid of the sniper. Please let me go over. Thank you. I'm getting like new robot allies as I go by because I want them. Someone behind me. Wow, oh, people are actually caught up. God damn. That doesn't happen very often. Cool. You alive? 
Oh, you're dead. Cool. Our objective's through here. So we're supposed okay, to like actually shutter. like hit a low checkpoint once we do this, but everyone's already here, so I don't actually need to. Which is wild. Usually they don't actually get this close. As you can probably guess, it's uh it's spider time. Missile! So skippable? No, it's not next bit skippable, I believe. Alright, spider time. Very simple strategy. Shit. Worst case scenario time. Head left. Grab rockets. Would you believe? Use the fucking rocket launcher. What the hell are we supposed to do? You're actually just standing over there. That sucks. Usually he walks forward. You all hear me? A second shot definitely missed. Yeah, loud and clear. That one's known as a spider. Shit. It was this. <laughs> What you can do, don't forget, is tank. Now stop it. So what should we do? To support its body, each leg should be fitted with a sizable drive system. First, find those drive systems and destroy them. Yeah, unsurprisingly, the big glowy underside is the weak bit. Yes. This one here as well. Because I thought you could handle it. Best of luck to you. Not like I was expecting help anyway. Which not so bad at the moment. Dead. Nope. Should be another rocket back here. Should be dead by now. I've definitely messed up with my shots. As well. I know who killed it. But it wasn't me. Too <laughs> easy. <laughs> Thank you, it was Rachel. It wasn't me. De definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Everybody alive? Holler if you're dead. Everybody I see Charlie alive? and Faye are here. I would like to be able to Just run over to the other side. Street. Ideally, I would have ended the fight a bit further this way. The spider's a pain to the end. Yeah, shit. I hope I never go up against one of these things again. Good news, we don't. <laughs> uh, what is it? Something moving in the smoke. Laura Bailey, by the way. Goddamn scrapheads never know when to give up. Oh, this one's human. Oh, this one is absolutely human. So run over here and then go down to the underground part. And we get a whole bunch of plot exposition. Because we're going to go meet Mifune. So. We want to be careful in this bit not to walk into people. Uh, would you believe RGG like their red light district stuff? Uh, by avoiding people, we don't get extra conversation points. And then we can just go over to you. This way. I'll just load up the next scene, as you can probably guess. So, basically, we also find that there's a actual hollow child here. Like, an actual, like, person, robot, blah, blah, blah. Again, avoid people. We, so I think the fastest dialogue options here are the worst ones, if I remember rightly. But that's not good. <laughs> it's not like I've never seen a guy shot to death. Right? Ow! A robot committing suicide? Damn it. Now that's a first. Never even heard of such a thing. Got too close to that guy, wasn't paying attention. Wow, Dan. You're really an awesome soldier. I'm surprised. And on closer inspection, you're kind of cute. Listen, you can be my boyfriend. The actual answer here is obviously no, but the quickest one is sure. What? Seriously? You say that to everyone, <sighs> don't you? Come to think about it, I don't like my guys to be players. And that's the right choice. Yeah. See how everybody hates that together. decision? Damn right. Mifune's expecting you. You ready? Everybody hates that choice. <laughs> let's go. Good old, you know what IGG likes with their you know, red light districts and stuff like that. Hey, Yuki. You here for Mifune? Unfortunately, yeah. this is a That's game of the 2010s, the early uh, 2010s, late 2000s. Yuki underage? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, what yes. That's the bad part. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately you're gonna get a lot of uh a lot of accents that aren't hot. Skip all yeah, not skip Jumped up prick. Really had a laugh back there, didn't he? Troy Baker skip is very British in this boy, game. Pip, pip. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, big boy. <laughs> what is it? Fuck you, big boy. <laughs> so yeah. Robots found the underground casino. I thought you said they didn't bother you. Normally, they don't. But they do because we're here. Yeah. And they know we're here. Okay. 
Is there any way to the subway without going for the market? Troy Baker's British, Laura Bailey's Chinese, Travis Second Willingham is Travis Willingham. Two teams, one watching the rear guard. You'll never guess which team I'm about to take with me. If your answer was Big Bo and Rachel, you'd be correct. <laughs> Dan, you go with Yuki. Have her guide you to the subway, man. And you better keep her safe. You got that? This way! It's coming with me, Big Bo. <laughs> And we will be changing up our team in the next fight, by the way. Or well, the next Sorry, time we have the opportunity. I'll leave the shooting to you. Yeah, the shooting. I don't have any charge again. That's really bad. This, this guy is going to be an issue. Oh, I do that. God damn. i be a little careful here because, yeah, I'm out of, I'm out of juice. Uh, I don't want to use a rocket launcher hit for you. Actually, I could because I don't really need it after this, but... Shield enemies, aim at the feet. Again, if I could have got like an ally like this earlier, they would have aimed for him instead. We do want to try and take care of these enemies if possible. I have also forgotten which button is melee, which is fucking funny. We have to make a stand here. I can't fail. What the fuck just happened to me? Yeah, we have to kill all the enemies. Especially in the bit after this bit. Don't mind your friends now. Okay, no, they're not. <laughs> so essentially, oh, hold on. I thought you didn't turn off until like a couple seconds from now. Oh, fuck. Got my mate just going down here. Please ignore me. Please ignore me. Get your big boy, I need hand. The reason why we need everybody dead is because in this next part, we are going to be doing a defense. Basically, you just have to defend this area. Am I full? I'm full. Man. Good, it's good. I am, however, running low on ammo. I think there is ammo boxes around here. There is. Oh, wait a minute. Is this... No, we have to wait for Yuki. I was going to say, I think this is one of those bits where we need all the enemies dead. Yeah. We also need Yuki to get down. You really rock that shit. Ain't nothing able to bring you down. I know, Jet hell yeah. Jet skis are past here. <laughs> Big Bo didn't like that because I there's had to jump down here and interrupt his dialogue. <laughs> Just hang on a second. Yeah, there's a little trick Go to then. opening the door and it's gonna take Yuki a hot minute. Come quick. We are going to increase the amount of charge we have in our, our like Sonic charge later, which is going to be very important for boss fights. There'll be enemies that spawn in back here as well. What is this? This bit it should be... I don't know if it's like a certain amount of enemies killed or if it's time. So you see how I broke his uh, right arm there, the one that held the gun? He then changed the, uh, the gun to his left arm. That's how the enemy AI works in this game. I actually love it. It's like genuinely so cool. Come on. Is there no end to these bastards? There should be. How we do I mean, you're not even helping, Rachel. I don't be nitpicky or anything, but you know. Take out the enemy first. Be some then we'll talk. Be some first. Well, I think almost there. Right. Appreciate it. You take you got down time. <laughs> it's done. The door's open. Doors open, let's go. Right, we we do have to wait off. for Big Bow and Rachel to also go through is the problem. Well, at least big blood. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna grab myself, obviously, ammo and a whole bunch of grenades. There's your jet skis. You're on there your is my here. jet skis. Wait, what about you? Janky Gizwar? Yeah, kind of. It is RGG's. Again, for those that know, this is the Yakuza devs. Uh, this is RGG's kind of, you know, answer to on, games of this move. era. As you do. I'm gonna mess this bit up nicely. I can guarantee you that. Oi. Right here. 
But yep, we get to we get to drive our good old water skis. Well, the mouse was accelerate. All things. Kara, even the 21 months, I appreciate it. Not die. I do appreciate that. Oh yeah! Oh yeah. This is awesome. As you can probably guess, there are going to be enemies in a second, and as you can probably guess, this is very weird to control. It's very, very floaty. <laughs> Shit! They're here already. What now? I drive forward, big boy. That's what now. Also, if you get shot, yes, you lose speed. Because, <laughs> of course, you do. Right. <laughs> Just big boys is mowing them down. Geronimo! It's very hard to believe that this is by the Yakuza Devs, isn't it? I, always I love this game. I love this game to bits. But, like, man. a bad choice there, consider. I don't think I ever want to take the ramp. I'm taking the ramp. <laughs> the ramp just slows you down when you hit the water, so you want to take like either side of the ramp. Very careful, obviously, not to hit like any of these pillars, etc. Also, avoid these big giant tankers. They will explode when shot at. Hey, Bob. My dude. Yes, they are. That's why I'm hiding next to them. The door also starts shutting, which if you're fast enough, you can make. Ooh. Hello to our next boss, the by the way. That's one serious piece of equipment. They find the waterway. Watch out. Actually, that kind of helps because that pushed me away from the mines. I'm not going to lie. Why like these two just hit each other? Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Appreciate it. It is very easy to game over in this bit. Thankfully, this game has a good checkpoint system. You mean heads up, brother. Nothing's happening, big bug. Also, they speed up because they have to go ahead if you hit. <laughs> Thanks, big bug. Ah! Slow ramp, slow. Everything slow. Is this the checkpoint? Get in, get off the jet ski. I think it might have been the oh, well. oh, no, it's after the year, after jet ski. There you go. That's it. All right, now's the bit where we have to hope my aim is good. <laughs> Almost jet skis having a bad time right now. Uh, like checkpoint, and I'm on the roof. Look, Dan, it's a sewage plant. Yeah, it is. It connects to the upper city through a. So we're trying to get to the upper Maybe city for those who don't know. Let's go. Speed on aim, unfortunately, yes. So we want to head to this minigun up here. We got to go fast. A damn nightmare. Right. Let's take cover and talk strategy. This way. So we want to take care of obviously this. We do also want to take care of these missiles as they come in because they will fuck us up. And drop us off the fucking minigun. For some reason I thought the first one was actually gonna miss and then I went after it. I'm good, thanks! This is the strategy meeting. So, all four engines. The further engines are the harder ones to hit, so you should probably aim for them first. Fuck, I didn't even see them coming. What's keeping me is that I'm winning. Oh. No. 
Go in. I went. Told you all that's the strategy, me. <laughs> Uh, I think you can actually take it out before it actually goes over to the second spot. But you have to, like, be very good on your aim and not get hit by missiles, you know? Woo! Okay. Guess it's this way or nothing. Cool. All right. Close the door. This next one is unskippable afterwards, yeah. I was right. So how do we get past these doors? Are we I appreciate it, size. Thank you for that. Rachel. Rachel. To be honest. Trust the Brits to be using explosives. <laughs> fire in the hole. Let's <laughs> love the casual fire in the hole. Oh, shit. <laughs> the the realization of yeah no we should probably move. <laughs> So this is the sewers. Uh, the reason why this is on Skip Floor is because it's going to ask us which party members do we want to take. We're now going to change it up because we're actually going to technically have all five in this bit. Uh, but we want Big Bo and Rachel to be in a certain bit. So we're going to be taking Faye and Charlie. Not quite chapter three just yet. Are we really going this. through here? What did you expect? It's a sewage treatment plant. The upper city sends its sewage down to the slums, just like anywhere else. He's not wrong. Fine, but I can't stand this smell much longer, so let's get moving. I don't like That's this. The enemy could be- Wait! Something's there! Spiders, by the way. You want to avoid all of them. Just try and not get hit at all. Because they explode. If we can go fast enough, we can avoid every enemy and just climb. Good. Now this bit where I get very lost and confused every time I do this game. I mean, every time. Literally every time. What do you mean you're useless? Oh, Bailey, please. Okay, so we have to get to the elevator and then we have to go backwards. Because Rachel and Big Bo are going to get stuck, and we're going to have to go and save them. So this bit is timed. We do have to be a little careful here. Well, CSI 2, nice. Good games. I wish they would do a collection, because I would love to play them. We only got Xenosaga 2 in Europe. We never got one, we never got three. Yes, that's weird. Ask Bandai when they released them back in the day. Okay, shot from behind, this is bad. Go down, I think. If I didn't go down to that, I probably, yeah, should have done. All right, this is why I have my medkits. That's why I wanted to pick them up earlier. Do you come back for us, brother? We got our asses trapped in here. Here you I would just run forward, but at this point they were looking at me because I was delayed in moving here. If I don't get hit by them, we're fine. This is bad, this is bad. This is bad. It's bad. I was trying to build my charge up before they got me. Oh. So shoot him so that they all aim at that enemy. Get up and hopefully. So you up first. You up second. Using two med kits here is uh, not ideal. From what? From what? What do you mean, mission fit? From what? From from what? What what the hell? From what? Oh no! We're locked in! There's no way out! I think I took too long, huh? 
pretty down with you, right? But about to get rid of you. <laughs> what? A lot of first, at least. Yeah, God. yeah, I have no idea how that was a mission fail. <laughs> hey, bud. I'm trying. That saves them. That was way too fast for them to die to the water. That's weird. I don't know what caused them to die there. That was very, very, very weird. The water stopped. Man, I thought I was a goner. Thanks, Danny boy. <laughs> this is Dan. Mission accomplished. Heading back your way. Roger that. To be honest. You're one hell of a soldier, Dan. We reached the upper city without did. incident. All stand by here till you catch up. I think it's this one. I always get lost in this bit. I don't know why. It's always this bit that confuses me. I think it's this one. Actually, I'm beginning to not think it's this one at all. I think it's this one. I can have some... Yeah, it's this one. If we can have some yellow paint around the door, that'd be great. <laughs> I don't get the whole, like, yellow paint. Bloody, like, argument, discussion. It feels stupid. 8% because that's the difficulty. I should just call this any percent, Drew. How many people are asking? That's honestly? another one I owe you, buddy. Where's the others? This oh, way. I sent them on ahead. Figured I could babysit you guys by myself. Shit, I'm never going to hear the end of this. All right, let's Fine, get to that, that elevator. Because of that game over there. Dan, thanks for back there. I really don't want to die in this shithole. No problem. I expect to go in action, sure, but not here. Anywhere's better than this. Yeah. Okay, let's get moving. I really want to get out of here. All right, now we have to, now we have to shoot a whole bunch of enemies in this bit because we have to wait for the elevator to come back down. Because Faye and Charlie went off ahead. Thankfully, these enemies aren't super strong. That's not ideal. Hopefully they will take care of the one that's behind me. Why are you going in a circle? They did not take care of the one behind me. Let him go! Thanks. They should be here soon. Everybody inside. Everybody on. All right. Then we have to protect Rachel here. Somebody help. Just shoot them all. Try not to shoot Rachel because that will make Rachel fall. If it works, it works. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Like honestly, yeah. I don't, I don't get the, I don't get the complaints about it. To be honest, so. so I just lost all my time. My so days, what we I do is we ignore the hell out of Charlie by walking away. And read all day. Christ, you have the attention span of a dead goldfish. True. Why are you dressed like that? But why are you here? Are they, are they real? Fuck off. Hey, wait up. Fuck off, I want to speak to Charlie. The racist Troy Baker. And the French Thank you. Be here soon. 
Oh, fucking damn it. We'll wait here. Or do you think we should get moving? We should get moving. God damn it. Hmm. Anyway, it's time for our final party member. Do you hear that? Sounds like a good ally of ours is about to join. I'm oh, gone. Alright, this bit fucking sucks. Oh, not this bit, the bit afterwards. So, the Japanese we get picked up, up by either. the French members Christ. of our Rust crew, which includes the robot Kane. Kane is awesome. You'll get to see Kane real soon. After we get Big Bo's LMG, and it's got unlimited ammo. I don't know how Big Bo activated these cheats, but god damn him. Oh, now on me. Very much holding out on me. Oh, yeah, shit, shit. Sorry, we have Shindo and we also have bloody, um... God, what's the name of the policeman? The Johnny Young boss tries to do an Asian accent. That guy. And it's not... Listen, it's a bit... It's not good. Is the only issue is the time period of this game is very heavily carrier cultured and it's not good. Very not good. A roadblock. What now? Go for it. I need to shoot them, but I am. Nine lives ain't enough to survive this. I think the other member of the French crew is Pierre, but unfortunately Pierre doesn't last too long. You won't get to see him. Yeah, Curse out, Curse out, yeah, yeah. I think we've lost them for now. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't give up that easy. See what I mean? Now we have these things, which I can't aim at apparently. I finished my reload, please. <laughs> Thanks, game. It's your typical RGG on rail section. If you've seen it in Yakuza Dead Souls, you know. <laughs> you know. This obviously won't be the last of these either. Those on you was a little stronger, mind you. I don't actually know if this is like you have to take care of certain enemies or if it's timed. I think this is just timed. Thanks to that enemy for getting in the way. I'm kind of losing a lot of HP here, huh? Want the flyers first because the flyers are going to mess me up. Next bit, I didn't do very well in my PB, so we are gonna hopefully do better here. This bit is uh, this bit is a little scary. There you go. I did it. I did it. All right, so you'll get to see Kane immediately now. We're gonna be taking uh, Kane and Faye in the next part. I oh, know. I'm not hitting this guy. Alright. 
suppose the uh, load here was this long. There we go. <laughs> so, yep, we want uh, Rachel and Kane. So, let's right. hope this bit goes well. We're going to run straight left. Because we have two... These really nasty Lancer units that we need to take out. Why is it not charging? Why is my gun not charging? I do have the charges, thank you. Let's take care of the first set of enemies. We're going to get some backup on either side. Take a second gun at this point. I am doing, don't you worry. This door is in the next one. Dan, I can manage this. Keep moving. I'll see you after I finish up here. This is even a bit much for me. I, I can handle it. This is too much even for me. Bye, right, Rachel. The shutters are closing. Okay, so this bit, we are, like, as you can probably guess, are taken in a very specific direction. I should be reloading it. Bad, I needed that charge. Hmm. I'm just gonna shoot enemies to build up my charge again. Okay, on my charge. This my upgrade. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade Migon at last. Uh, we're going to do one, two, one, two, one, two. That's three, idiot. One, two, one, two. Uh, charge. One, two, one. Probably do a few more than that, but this is fine for now. The reason why I want my charges for the enemies that are going to appear here. These enemies kind of suck. Thankfully, blast them away. Now you can understand why I wanted my charge. Why not? So I don't have one more. Building at the end of the street. You'll find an elevator further in. Have a frag grenade, please. Good, he's on my side. The sniper's off me. The sniper's are the thing that I worry about the most in this fight. Rachel, you hit this quickly. Oh, I'm late, idiot. That's the case. These enemies, the Gatling guns, are really good if you can get them on your side. Until they start shooting me at the same time. <laughs> Oh, 
No, it's not. It's time to get your ass over to me. Understood. I will do so. Okay, they're almost here. Okay. Good shot. Wasn't too bad. We went better than PB, that's for sure. Damn. Get your ass in the lift. Good video game. <laughs> Gregory, we're heading for the roof. It's a good Welcome video game. What are you crazy? They're surrounding the building. How are we supposed to get out from the roof? Kane has a wire gun attachment. We can use it to reach another building. Yeah, he do. Sounds insane. I like yeah, he it. He do. Let's go. Kane is great. Kane is awesome. I go through Deacon Town. Sure, we're all, you know, not bringing any outside hazardous stuff. Where are we? Food plant. Food production plant. Fully automated by the look of things. Nothing but scrap heads. I'm walking backwards. <laughs> Let's hope they're more docile than the ones on our tail. Indoor farming. Awfully sterile, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. According to the briefing docs, Japan leads the world in agriculture tech. If this is the future of food, think I'll go on a diet. Enough modern farming 101. Let's teach these guys a thing or two. So these are new enemies. They're very close range. They have pistols and batons. Don't run out. I remember which of these doors is the one that opened. It's this one. All right, we need to just run straight forward. To go up and over twice. There is a switch at the back that we need to we need to hit to be able to go forward. I'm fucking trying, but there are enemies. Thank you. Wait here till the lift arrives. With the pure security has arrived. We must engage them until the ascenseur arrives. You're our knight in shining armor. Finally! Everyone in. That was nice and quick. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly quick. Come on, folks. Kane, you are going to be an issue, friend. Kane, your ass in the goddamn lift. Oh. <laughs> Every time. What do you mean? I want to go left in here. Where'd I would like go? to grab the ammo first, but yeah, we want to go. I think it's hard left through this room. Oh god, all the spiders. Just be careful of the spiders. Want to go very much hard left. No. It's hard right at this point. This, we need to get to the switch at the back. Let's go this way. Our allies are going to lag behind their enemies, so, you know, try and take some of them out. Why don't I use this as cover? I think I tried that before as well. Throw the enemy. Sniper. Who are you shooting at? Each other. Understood. Come on. I think we're good. Come on. Things gone quiet. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. God damn. I think I want the sniper, but. We Everyone are going to be using a different, like, secondary walk. later on. Ah! Alright! I think this is the roof- Oh no, this isn't the rooftop, this is the, uh, this is the li little minecart section. Uh, we want to make sure we hit all of the switches in this bit. My ammo should be good. Gonna get a, it's getting a little tight, but it should be fine. What is this? 
we'll have time to grab that be before we jump option. in. We'll have to just get in. Wait for them to get in. Here we go. You loved it? Yeah, no, this game's great. I love this game. I love all of RGG's games, but yeah, no, this game's great. Uh, shouldn't we be a bit concerned? We've detected non-food material. Sensor. It cannot detect the human cell structure. This can't be good. Pain. It detected you. <laughs> you are a robot, my dude. Where are you going? So Kane goes that way, we go this way. Yep, we want to make sure you hit all the switches as fast as possible. So in this room, there is going to be multiple of them that we're going to shoot on the way through. Hopefully not miss any of them. Now that's how you do it. I think that's all of them. Remember rightly that's all of them. Be careful of the enemies. Side. I'm trying to get those headshots, unfortunately not happening. Were some on the other side, I was right. Again. Yeah, you are. Love you, Kane. We're not on the roof yet. How much further is it? How much? There's one more nasty bit to run through here. We have the gas room, which won't be a problem for Kane, but it will be for us. This is even a bit to go in our favor. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? Yes, it does. <laughs> the back. Battle's done, Kane. We're all good. All right, I have to remember where the uh, I have to remember where all the, the gas Looks switches like are. Here. Thirty-six months. This this That's one. Three years. This one can suck. Ah, Karachi, thank you very much for the thirty-six years. I appreciate it. I hope it doesn't give it's way almost three months. Ascend the ladder, All right, we have spiders in this bit as well. You can rush through this bit. It's a pain in the ass. Because they can just stun you. No plus ratio. As long as you don't get stunned here, you can just pull the switch, you fuckers. Alright, fuck all of you. Right, I was like halfway through that animation. Alright, the gas room. We are going to take... Okay. So the first box is actually above us. You two. Oh, I have to say, I actually managed to get that at the same time. God damn. Good shot. Good. Yeah, good shot. Second one is here. Let me charge my actual charger here. So what you're supposed to do is use the side rooms here to be able to, you know, like get your like air back. But we can just keep going forward. Stop hitting me now. Oh, Next up. Simple as that. The door has opened. Simple as that. If you know, if you know, obviously, like where the switches are, it is as simple as that. Not bad. Oh, Rachel. Don't ask where Rachel was. I don't so remember. Glad you're all right. I don't remember Let's where your second moving. party member that you don't pick chooses in that Looks bit. Like I actually don't remember. Kane, you good? The trouble is, by now the whole Things building good. will be teeming with Ministry security. Damn it! It's been non-stop ever since we came to the upper city. Yeah, definitely. We can't even think about catching Amada yet. Our priority has to be shaking off this pursuit. Most of your, most of your uh, voice options, We've the correct ones, are just as soon as possible. You know, yes. If you don't get Amada like backlash or quips. On their doorstep, you good, Rachel? Leap into action. Destroy all traces of Geneva code violations and yeah, she's down good. the hatches on building security. Should that happen, our mission is a failure. Yeah, she's good. Amada will not be so <laughs> careless twice. Yeah, and the world will fill up with hollow children, and we'd be to blame. So let's Yeah, they are. Yeah, they announced it today. If you didn't see, there was a big uh, there was a big Nintendo Direct. Uh, and also the reveal of Elden Ring's DLC. Which Yeah. 
I still need to finish Elden Ring. Smile. Smile. Uh, there is ammo on this roof. I'll be grabbing it uh, before we're done here. Uh, again, we have another defense part here where we just have to make sure we kill it. You know the drill. You know the drill at this point. Missed it. Well, there's also going to be... Cup noodle. There is also going to be a new monkey ball, which is more exciting if you ask me. New monkey ball with the traditional monkey ball stuff and full player co-op and 16 player online. It's kind of fucking wild. Danny boy, a freaking star, man. I have to kill enemies. I don't think he's dead. Guess I'm up next. Go, start climbing. Go, big boy. I'm trying, but Big Bo is kind of running towards the enemy for some reason. Yeah, in this bit, we just have to wait till it's obviously our turn. Nothing bad's going to happen at the end of this. That's for sure. Now, why you gotta say something like that, goddammit? Well, about where I'm at, right? Really want to try and, like, take care of that guy while he's up there. Where he won't mess around with us on the way through. Come on. All right, farm girl. Just me and you. We also call Faye Wait, that, which right. is also, you know, a little bit racist. Hey, let's be honest. Nice. So Faye should be going up. We have to go back to that point there. I should be good to move back now. Oh, these fucking enemies I forgot. I'm coming! Oh, it was my turn when I saw those enemies. Alright, and that is the end of that chapter. Everything goes to shit. I don't know how that man just sniped my bloody rail gun, but good for the rail wire, good for him. I like this run, you can literally see it on the splits. Uh, don't panic, folks. We're not here for you, and no one's going to get hurt. Why does nobody ever believe me when I say that? If they stop the train remotely, we'll be sitting ducks. Obviously we have to it. override the drive controls and keep it moving. So we have to have... Get to the front car. We have to send somebody to stop the train in a second and somebody to come with us kane has a usb stick in his finger so we're gonna have him you know be the one that stops the train we'd like to not be on either side of the seat thanks there is ammo in these bits oh hey boys we have company. you want to be a little careful because again i'd rather not go down the rules on the med kits I think I can ignore those enemies as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we get to pick who comes with us. We are picking Faye. Go, Faye's go. also very good to, like, we kill the enemies you. in this bit. <laughs> so, we're going to have some enemies on either side. Yeah, which Dad, we're hurry. ideally going to break the, the uh. Train. Yeah. Quickly, I. Yeah, I can't even see where you are. You what okay? the heck? Can I come help? Nah, uh, I'm good. Yeah, sure. Actually, you're right here. I'm in my now. Hold on. <sighs> I feel like <laughs> Faye's not helping right now. You Laura Bailey. Well, that's kind of cool because like Dan, hurry. Dan's voice Please actor Dan, is Travis train. Willingham and Faye's is Laura Bailey. And obviously they are a couple in real life. Up against this one. Yeah, sure. I didn't. If I have to kill him in this bit, we might have to. That's the last. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Let's go see how Kane is doing with that drive system. Sure. Nag, nag, Not nag. good. This way. No good. The doors have been locked. Yep, we need to go at the window. To get out 
have here. No. Nope. Oh. At the window. Me. So now we're on top of the train. We just gotta get to the front. We also have to do the QT jump. Don't mess it up. <laughs> I normally wait half a second because binary domains QTs can sometimes be a bit temperamental. I mean, you shouldn't be surprised about a new SAO game because there's so many of the fuckers. It's been two years, time for a new SAO game. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Should be focusing on the uh, the enemy in front of you, not me. We do want to, like, go forward here, but we also don't want to go too far forward, because if the enemy is still alive, uh, Faye doesn't come with us. I want this. I don't think I do, but I'm grabbing it anyway. I don't think I do. I'm pretty confident I don't. Also, the enemies do spawn from Good. the walls. Don't worry about it. Come on. We can get back inside. Don't worry here. about it. <laughs> Just <laughs> something's a bit weird. Don't worry about it. This is an RGG game. Got it. Hey, come on. This is very much an RGG game. I'm charging there, but it's fine. We're done with the train. We have to get out of here kind of. I gotta shoot the door, and if I mess up, then we die. <laughs> You'd think this shouldn't be hard, but it actually kind of is. Okay, I shot the door. I did it. <laughs> SMT3 is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Like, genuinely, it's absolutely amazing. Looking good. I don't know if that connects or not. The situation is deteriorating. I will take the point, monsieur. Would you care to assist? Yeah, go for it. See who play, monsieur. Your aim is fantastic, monsieur. I should be running forward here, but I'm a little worried to take a little damage already. I want to go inside, that's fine. I want to go inside, but down the stairs. All right, let's go. I don't know how this is missing every shot, but you know what? Sure. We better get out of here now. Yep. Is it the right door after all? We want to take care of them. It's good. There is a second one. I don't remember where it is. Train will be arriving shortly. We must right, board if we want to move forward. The sniper's actually not been too bad. Uh, usually I don't want to go for the sniper, but... It worked out quite well here. It worked out surprisingly well here, actually. Sure, why not? So here we just want to stay, like, on the side of the uh, elevator. We're waiting for the train to leave. Should be possible. You've got to get your asses over here. This is bad. My ally robot is fucking me up right now. Where, yeah, Faye and Kane are. They really need to get over to me. Fuck, this is bad. I actually don't know where they are right now, and that's really, really bad. I think telling Kane to take care of them was the worst thing I could have done. Dad, you okay? Should I come help? Yes. I need them to come I'm to me. Now. Hold on. This is bad. Because they're on the other side of the train, the next part isn't loading in. Let's blast our way out of 
of here. We are. So the train is on the other side because it keeps trying to get the uh, these two over. Obviously, it isn't happening. Also, that's my hiding spot. Okay. Yeah, it's a big time loss right there. It's pretty bad. Okay, and we need to make sure. do some shop in a second. I'm probably going down here. Oh, do I have to take care of the enemy here? I don't think I have to, but I guess I do. Sure. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Hey, next boss time. That's a gorilla. Hey. Uh, again? What does it take to make these things stay down? Oh come on. Let the good times roll, right? <laughs> good. So I want to shoot the head casing off. I how did that not hit? Stun it. Look there. I am detecting a high energy. How did that not stun it? Do you need my assistance? My assistance is not needed. I'm Please very, very upset about that. I am detecting a high energy reading. I'm just gonna die again. God damn. Are you alright? Do you need my assistance? Yes, please. Right it's right just sir. on me, this Please sucks. I might reload checkpoints, so I'm about to die. Don't give up yet. Okay, now it goes down. God damn, fine. That's Dad, bad. How the fuck? Holy shit. I've never seen it this aggressive. Are you a high I'm okay. I can handle this. Nah, I'm not in jet point. Nah, this is going horribly wrong. Yeah, nah. Nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Bad. Oh, again? What does it take to make these things stay down? Oh, come on. Let the good times roll, right? Huh. <laughs> There we go. Hey! Chopping. Uh, I want ammo. I'll take a foot. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, ammo, definitely. There we go. Uh, and then upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade my gun as much as I can bloody upgrade it. Now. Wait, look there. I am detecting a high energy reading from the train of the sector. Dad, focus your fire there. Blow his head off. It's not moving. Now's our chance. I actually stopped it. Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Really shouldn't have done. Are you alright? My assistance is not needed. Ping Don can make you the 30 months, I appreciate it. Fuck this boss. No. Fucking fine. Hey! Let's grab some ammo. There's some ammo around here. There's grenades. There is also first aid kits. Oi, oi, oi. We have to wait a second here anyway. Surprise, we've not done it, by the way. Perhaps Mademoiselle might consider purchasing one. No thanks. I mean, where would I put it? No, no robot. Now let's keep moving. No, no gorilla type? robot. No gorilla robot, thank you. Hey, anyway, yeah, the thing's not dead. The thing's very much not dead. Here's Shindo! Here's Shindo, technically one of our penultimate party members. Sorry, I forgot you, Shindo. This bit you can just run forward, but yeah, I messed this up, so I'm gonna have to stop it for a second. There is an enemy behind me that's just absolutely like shredding me right now. Sucks. Hey Dan! You okay? You 
Well then, I'm good. I'm good. This is why I wanted to get the med kits after the gorilla fight. Hey, Shimba. Pretty good once we're like down these stairs. Ugh. Bad. Well, the Axis skin is also only for the multiplayer. Ah, and Shinda. So you don't miss much by not having it. <laughs> right, good. Bad. Very bad. All right, I'm dropping back to support. Lead the way, Dad. I should have saved my breath. It's your show. No, no later. Kill enemies. Let's go. Down. Shotgun ain't super hot. But it is gonna have its use. Nice, I'm gonna drop. Got my team now. Can't get through this door anyway until everyone gets over here anyway. You're good. Come on. Okay. Glad we're on the same side. There's no stop. Okay. Sure. I will Looks grab like that for a for little charge. Thank you. We can get to our base through this parking lot. I Follow me. God, fucking. That <laughs> guy flew. I will absolutely take more ammo, especially the med kit. That guy just decided to fucking leave. Made for after Vanquish. I don't remember. But they are different studios. I'm fucking stuck. Yeah, help me out here, would you? I should actually be back, because, yeah. The enemy has detected us yeah, good. Charge. That's what I'm doing. I don't know if this is a trigger for just getting to the end here, or if we have to kill the enemies first. There's more enemies in this bit. Yeah. Okay. So... As said, the gorilla ain't gone yet. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think this is Faye and Kane, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it's gotta be. Oh, no, 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 it's Kane, it's Kane, it's Kane. Kane. Yeah, we want Kane. Your aim is that did not do as much as I was hoping. On forward, honestly. The hell does Code Red mean, Kane? We need these two dead as well, which is why I'm pushing forward. Nothing good, dude. <laughs> okay. Oy. Now comes Gorilla. So we can't stop the Gorilla. The Gorilla is too strong. Get out of its way. I'm gonna wait a sec. We are gonna be able to kill the Gorilla. Not just yet. Now, if you don't know, this this is RGG. This isn't platinum. This it's kind of a shame. There's not much we can do to go fast in this bit. Um, fun fact: there is an out of bounds that you can do in this bit, but no one's actually found like an application to like be able to use it. You can help by using it to stop that thing. Oops. Like, we can't take care of the gorilla anyway. Like, we just have to, we just have to wait. So I'm gonna blow everything up anyway. <laughs> it's just, this speeds things up a little bit. 
I can not even buy a little bit, right? Like a decent chunk? Like 30 seconds or so? Yes, move the bomb. Yes, move the bomb. Sorry to the guy that I just exploded. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually get pushed out of bounds by the gorilla uh, through, like, the, um, through, like, the door and stuff. But you, we can't You, we, I don't think anyone's found, like, a use to, like, make it actually, like, push you, like, through this door, for example. Which would make things faster. And, like, here we just have to wait for the gorilla to get to where we are so that they'll drop the uh, ladder down. That's why this bit is just, like, you can speed it up a little bit in terms of, like, the gorilla not waiting too long. But it is, like, I see his foot. I see his foot. But yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like blowing up the actual explosives doesn't actually do anything here. So okay. He's busting his way through the door and then this ladder will go down and then we'll be able to do the actual boss fight. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Look at him go. He's doing it. I'm proud of him. Hello. Could you uh drop this ladder for me? You mind? You know, hit that switch. No. Hey, gorilla. We're just gonna again wait here. I'm gonna wait for him to kick this ladder down. Ta -ta. Thanks. Yeah, this gorilla is on a one-way course to resistance space, so we have to stop it. Thankfully, there is a good way to stop it. In this next bit, there are big, big guns. And check out that machine gun. It fires special armor-piercing rounds. Yeah, it does. You should be able to take that bastard down. There's extra ammo there too. Use as much as you Wrong want. Wrong side. It's fine. We want to charge the gun twice with ammo. I'll try okay, to take that he gets in. Before he gets here. How did that walk me past? Don't put the ammo in. We have no time. Jinguyo, let's go. Jingu well indeed. Real eye count. You got the 34 months, and it picked binary domain as its first game. It's a good day today. Call me when you require more ammo. I will help you reload. Want to hit those? Ideally, when you can hit him, obviously. Do not come Enemy here. Have You're kidding me, you ass. It's RNG if he comes up here or not. You just don't want him to, because, you know, that happens. I have to fucking spin this around and it's so bloody slow. Why did I not get him? He's he's not playing nice today. Hi, robot. Not now, robot. This fucking sucks. There we go. And everyone randomly just falls over, as you do. Give me my ammo. <sighs> that was bad. It wasn't very bad. Thankfully, I can get my charge Our back. Our opponent was highly challenging, monsieur, no? Uh, yeah, but you are very. Are you well? I'm great, thanks. No problem. Your profile data indicates a habitually bold and defiant nature. Thanks. This is a positive attribute. I am glad to see you live up to it. Now, right. I detect no <laughs> abnormalities in the vicinity. Right, that's cool. I suggest cool. we catch up to Faye. Yep. You should game say, yep, we jingo wheeling. We jingo wheeling, and this is, uh, this is the first game it picked. I also have insufficient Good pick. data regarding the man Shindo. Faye's safety is therefore Shindo. questionable on two fronts. All is for the correct us, option for once. I believe protecting her is a priority issue. Then let us proceed. Good. Keep pausing a second too early every time. Anyway, this is where the romance angle starts between Dan and Faye. We are getting patched. Dan, I'm feeling much better now. Combat ready again. Thank you. 
so let's you can also be creepy and say love you to Faye, which, as you can probably guess, isn't a good option. When it rains, it pours. It's a little, it's a little forward. It's a little forward of you, uh, man. You know the guy on the right. You know everybody. We do not want to talk to this guy about bloody a fellow or go or whatever the heck he's got there. I don't want to speak to this guy. You're damn right. Damn right. Shindo said to come Damn right. Ready. So, you ready yet? Yeah, I'm ready. I've been ready for ages. Okay. Go on in. Max. Alright. Alright, this guy sucks. Damn, look out! Watch backwards. Shoot. That's your robot, isn't it? Can't you do something? You think that program is to go nuts and try to kill me? It appears completely out of control. Uh, uh, Our only bad. option is to destroy it. The target is on together. So this is bad. I messed up. Are you all right? Nah, I'm good. I messed up the strap. Please be careful. You all right? Nah, I'm fine. I can handle the still problem. Any grenades right now? I'm gonna do this the old fashioned way because you messed up. Okay, that's one on them. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Not so fast. There's more. More? Shit! This way, quick! I think there's, yeah, there's stuff we can pick up in here. Uh, we will be loading checkpoint at some point. I, is it this one? I don't know if it's this one or the next one. I think it's the next one. Might be wrong. No, it's this one. Pushes everybody What's forward. On? What's it look like? Move over! No, 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 this was a part of the deal! No. Tell it to be Fune. If he makes it out of here. I'll drive. You take care of those robots. Oh! Good at that. That's all we've been doing for the last couple of hours. Well, it's gone rogue. Essentially, yes and no. Uh, there are robots who are people. Essentially, if you've ever seen Snatcher by Hideo Kojima, kind of like that. There are robots among us. Sauce. Fire! Give him everything we got. So we're going to Amateur Court, who has like all this data on these hollow children. We're off to figure out, you know, why why robots are people. And how to stop them. I think we get a bunch of ammo in this bit, which is good. This bit is just a bunch of on-rails shooting, as you can probably guess. Yeah, it's like a robot. Blade Runner, yeah, kind of. But, you know, the usual RGG twist or two. Let's blast our way out of here. Oh, yeah. The issue is, I think I was supposed to find a rocket launcher and replace it at some point, and I did not. Not ideal. Well, I guess this is a big, long bit, and there is going to be a boss fight coming up. Now move to the back of the truck. But thankfully, if I do need ammo, there is a shot behind me. <laughs> I don't know how we get a shot on the back of this truck that works, but... Ah, it's video games. So, I'm gonna grab myself, as said, a whole bunch of... Wrong button. A whole bunch of ammo. <laughs> Actually, do the right button. There we go. 
At least. Thank you. I don't think I can upgrade my gun that much at the moment. Uh, five pack. Yes, please. Yes, perfect. Also, the shops have a gacha system when you spend, or some of them do. When you spend enough money, uh, you can potentially win a prize, which is like a free med kit. Woo! <laughs> Love my free med kits. Never gonna complain at free med kit in this game. Mine. Like, despite the fact that Faye has a sniper, Faye doesn't start shooting until, you know, yeah, they get a bit closer. <laughs> I, I know it must be kind of hard to hit these robots, you know, from this kind of, like, truck, like, while moving with a sniper rifle. But you could at least pretend to try. <laughs> well, I miss Kane. Kane's in the driver. Well, he's not in the driver's seat. He is helping in the front of the truck right now. A vanquished mansion. I think I shoot this, right? I don't know if I actually just shoot this or if I don't shoot this. I did shoot that guy. If you're wondering, the rest of our crew we got separated from uh, after the uh, Kane's wire gun was shot on the roof, so we're just basically going to meet up with them. Oh. <laughs> oh, we might save time if the next bit goes well. I'm actually a little worried about the next bit. The next bit does worry me. So we got to move forward. Uh, we'll be given like instructions, like to go like left and right as we go by, because you know our footing is not stable. Maintain balance. Do it again, and then do the QTE and don't fuck up now. This one's a very easy one to fuck up. That's why I wait like two cycles on this one. <laughs> These QTEs can be very scary. Anyway, they can be very scary. Guess we can finally take a breather, but they seem as desperate as we are. It must mean they got something they really want to hide, and that's a good sign. So, we almost to Amida Corporation. He's not wrong. <laughs> Relax, it won't be long now. Just a few more. What's wrong? I am picking up an unidentified thermal reading from behind our vehicle. It is quite massive. Great. Now oh. what? <laughs> Oh, no biggie, just another enemy to take out. Yeah, just another Maybe enemy, by the way. Look before you say that. Just another enemy, by the way. Just another enemy. <laughs> so we have to hit all the weak spots. Yes, that's one underneath it. That's the hard one. It's like a snake. With wheels. No. Why not? I take that back. Here it comes. <laughs> Not skip books, it's all in engine, as you can tell with RGG stuff, especially from this era. So, as you probably guess, as Marvel weak spots, including the face, including the arm. Including the missiles. We shoot the missiles. And then there is a lot of waiting around. I'm going to have a right arm first, considering he yeah, does this. Right. 
Now he's have the one on the back. Which, you know, that's on the back. Do get given ammo. Yep. By our allies, which is nice. Don't have to buy it anymore. Don't get hit by too many missiles. If you do, you're in trouble. I wonder if we can break the missile guns. Actually, that don't do much. Yeah, a lot of this is just waiting for us to go back to the previous phase so that we can, like, hit the drive in front of the only one that's, like, still alive at this bit. Shoot a bunch so I can, yeah, get some fresh ammo. Sorry for the loud noises, by the way. This bit is just loud. But <laughs> See, it's, like, yeah, at the bottom there. Very, very scripted. Good apple. Yeah, kind of. Honestly. <laughs> Again, sorry for loud noises. Game just gets loud here. Okay, ridiculously loud. Sorry, it's tax, right? See after this game whether or not the Jingu will picks LED today. As done in the past. Get that. Hey. Uh. Oh, did I miss those missiles? <laughs> those in my marbles? I didn't think there were any. Alright, now we have to pick Faye back up. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. That's not something you say to a lady down, goddamn. Right. And then left. <laughs> Good for his hands up. Oh, yeah. I guess we're even. Yeah, now I understand why this is a bit scripted. You have to wait for, like, stuff like that. <laughs> Not again. Everyone, let's keep the drive. And gone. That's what we really have to do. Now we just wait. And 
kaboom. That's all we have to do. Literally one shot. <laughs> you just, yeah, like that you can see is like very scripted. You have to wait. And I'm really glad you're not on the other side. Yeah, you just have to wait, unfortunately. There's not much you can do. Okay, I wish I had the Lancer Missile, which I don't, which is a bit of a worry. But I do have a rocket launcher that I picked up as uh, collateral here. So, we have to take care of these two. Just probably guess these two are going to be a fucking problem. Move away from that. Fuck. A bit of trouble here. I need to try and hit them both with this. I don't have anything left. That's a worry. I want to hit at least the other one as well with this. There's one. I'm going to go down. That's fine. Yeah, I'm expecting to go down here. It's fine. We can get up now. That thing has to go down because that thing does one shot us. Good. I have one more. I was trying to get over here so I could get some cover. Okay. Good. Shit. More enemies incoming. Right, this way. They're running short on ammo. Yeah, we are. Right so you'll notice that one of them has not been broken yet. Howitzer did not Should explode. Grab one of the charges just in case. System is still intact. So, what if it is? If it is still intact, I might be able to hack into it. Yep. Kane's going to do that. Kane's going to do that. Leave it to me, it's a little bit different. It is now, RGG. Is this was made a year after Yakuza yeah, Dead so, Souls. Go for it. Which they learn Dad, a lot we have from. To find a good place to hide. I found a good place to hide. Hey, that looks like a good place over there. Did, yeah, go. doesn't it just? <laughs> Funny that. You think we got time for that? Yes, actually. Get your ass in here. Need to stand inside. <laughs> yeah, was well, 360. Yes. Yeah, in Japan they got this a year after uh, Yaks of Dead Souls. In the West we got it two weeks before Yaks of Dead Souls, which ain't great because they learn a lot from Yaks of the Dead Souls and they put that in this game. So going backwards from this to Yaks of Dead Souls was a shock. We gotta take care of a whole bunch of enemies with the howitzer. Which is kind of a pain in the ass because, as you can see, you move real fucking slowly and you aim real, real fucking slowly. We do, I don't want to try and take these out before they manage to land. That way we can stop the enemy reinforcements. We do have health, it's at the top right. Uh, if we lose all our health, that's gonna be very bad. Instant game over. And this bit is long. Ideally. Well, see these bigger enemies you want to take care of first because they have nastier guns. But you don't want to leave like all these normal ads down because as you can see they rack up the damage fast. As you can tell, you can move and, you know, reload and shoot, etc. That's not to my right. There's something behind me, actually. This is how slow it is to move. That's why you really don't want anyone getting behind you. It fucking sucks.
lie to you, dude. You are still alive. He should be dead. You know, so if he's not, I'll be fucking shocked. She came down. Alright, so it's just a little hard to see sometimes. And here comes the big boy. Who are you there? We reload. This guy's gotta go down. So just fire missiles. That's some serious firepower. Keep it coming. It's trying. Not have any arms left, but it's still trying. Who's shooting me from the right, and I don't know where. Me? Oh. Wait, yes! Hi! <sighs> then we shoot the door. I'm losing all my time here, goddamn. I'll just forget you said that. I didn't actually think I was actually playing that badly in that chapter, so. Hey, we made it to Amada. Yeah. But what now? What now? I shoot the door! <laughs> That's the end of the chapter. What now? I am in a giant howitzer. I can just blow the damn thing up. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, two more chapters left. This is the uh this is the end part of the video game. Um Heck these robots, these robots suck. You can hit them with, like, if you have a charge, hit them with a charge. Because they will be real annoying otherwise. I can. Don't you worry. Issue. Running out of ammo. I don't know where there is any in here. Never been in here because I do need ammo. This appears to be the main. We will need ammo. There's some up there. Beyond here, we will find. I think I can get to that. To other buildings. Let us proceed. So. Fancy old chandelier, huh? Keep your eyes peeled. There may be enemies lurking nearby. Surprise. That chandelier is a joke. Do people actually like crap like that? Boy, that bit in the middle sure seems familiar, doesn't it? It's not fucking caution. Engine. Huh? Idiot. The shutter! I desperately need the ammo that's above me. What the Surprise, it's a boss! What? Oh no. Oh yes. Here it comes again. It bangs. What's going on? It is an intruder containment system. Seems they intend to eliminate us. Holy shit! Guess we've no choice but to fight. Yup. These tentacles are a bitch. Dan, you see that? That's bad. Got an ammo. Right, bear back. <laughs> Grab an ammo. Not having no ammo here fucking sucks. This happened in my PB as well. We hit the arms. I need to hit the arms. We need to get the other one. I 
of this bit. We're now going to climb the damn thing. Wondering, I only have my obviously my rocket launcher from my other, which I can't. Oh. Maybe I'm doing it. I'm doing it. A fine plan. Now I'm doing it. Perfect chance. Pump on, baby. Hey, right. so we're gonna climb. They're gonna hopefully protect us. Somebody just tried to shoot me. Thanks for that wall. The enemies haven't spawned just yet, you know. Okay. Now get up to the top. As you can see, we got electricity. Oh, baby. Sure you stop before you get hit. So the issue is we've got these bits here where we obviously can't progress any further. We have to wait for our allies to break this. They are now finally starting to shoot it. Unfortunately, as you can see, there are lasers behind me. But I've got to shimmy along and not get shot. Okay. Don't get careless. This isn't over yet. Okay. Humans and robots alike must display Thanks. We shoot. Somebody. I, I can't do this. There we go. Thanks. What's trying to get me? Robot? I think I'm climbing? This last one, as you can see, it's going to get electrified every so often. I thought they could shimmy along there, but I guess I can't. But it is going to turn the electricity on here every so often, so I have to be a bit careful. Is not possible. Wait one moment. Sure, thanks, Kane. Appreciate you. That, however, is bad. I don't know if I can get that to shoot this and, like, help out. Do you want to help out? This isn't over yet. I know anyone's got my back in it, Shindo. It's actually not. We're almost there. Hang in there. I mean, you're almost there. Just shoot. You have a sniper rifle. It's gonna get you. Watch out. No, it's not. You can actually take a lot of punishment in this bit, surprisingly. There we go. Oh, you take a hell of a lot. Anyway. We don't have enemies spawn up here with us, but we are now the ones able to take care of the weak spot. See where it is in a second. But this boss actually has some like really cool physics to it. So the weak spot is right there, and it's gonna disappear. So we want to start breaking each of these parts. But as you can see. Not only does the weak spot move, but the boss is moving as well when I shoot the specific side of it. So what we actually want to do is shoot the boss so it rotates. I did this. Did I? I'm sure I did. <laughs> I don't think I did that much damage to it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think it was one of these guys. Also, we have to go up, so I don't know why we call the elevator down. Like. <laughs> That's one tough chandelier. Oh. Uh. I'd hate to be the one who has to clean up this mess. The shutter opened. Dad, let's go. Okay, we're off. I got the one that's upsetting. So we're gonna head up. We're not gonna grab stuff on the way because there is gonna be a shot in a second. This is like one of those fights you can just avoid. Let's keep our eyes peeled. There we go. Unfortunately, Shindo's got an issue. A bathroom. Nature calls. I mean, this isn't the time or place, so just. I kind of is. You can't not go to the toilet. You that one about shit your pants. So we're gonna protect the bathroom. Humans are such inconvenient creatures. Thank you. What's all that noise out there? 
Wait, that wasn't the shot. I'm an idiot. Have Why have I miss the shot? That'd be bad if I had. There's another shop ahead, I know uh, there is another one. Would have liked to have used the shop before this bit. There, you go. there I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Hey, that's my line. Feel great now. It's one of the doors on the left or the right, and I don't remember moving. which one it is. Yeah, next shop that we get Next shop we get, we are going to be Is the other one? Where is the other one? I bring both of them? I think I did. Yo. There it is. It's outside. Why are you outside? Has anyone else noticed where the only human? Why is it outside? <laughs> a single member of staff. Even at night, that's not normal for this place. Maybe Amada has known you were coming for. I mean, this place is now fully automated. Yeah. And if that's the case, again. Bottom option, Who quickest one. We just get through Shindo's dialogue it. quicker. They could be watching us right now and having a good laugh over it. After all, they're a hilarious bunch. Behind closed doors, they funnel millions into the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And in return, they get awarded huge contracts to build the upper levels of Tokyo City. While the Earth drowned, Amada got fat and rich. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> Amada and the yeah. Ministry are both snakes in the same poisonous pit. They don't come much lower. I know Make the poisonous pits! Uh, you're a gamer did an interview with Miyazaki today uh, because of the uh, announcement of the Elden Ring amateur, DLC. I? And you they had to ask, is the Elden Ring DLC going to have a poison swamp? Which Miyazaki confirmed, yes, it will do. An emergency stairway lies ahead. We should try that way. Nobody should be surprised. If you like your from soft poison swamps, you got another one coming. I'll be busy with the rest of them at this point. Hold your ground. Ow! This is why I needed that shop so I could have got my first aid kits back. This is an issue. This is insanity. I do need the help. Okay. Okay. I'm on it. I understand. Same place. I'm dying. Same. This guy's on my oh, side. I promise. Screw this. Same place. Before I get game over. Thank. 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 Please. Same. I'm dying. Sure. Okay. Relax. Very few have medkits. I fucked. I think I'm fucked. None of them have medkits. That's why I needed that shop. An emergency Wait a minute. Lies ahead. We should try that way. Okay, they all have medkits, actually. They just didn't want to heal me. Cool. <sighs> Take this a bit slower, unfortunately. I want this one fucking dead. Ideally, you can just run straight through this place, but stop spinning! Mind the kids, spinning. Stop spinning! Okay, hey, you wanna help me out here? That thing's on my side and it's still short. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should say. Next team. Real helpful. Next team. Next team. Next team. Next team. Next team. Sick of my shit. I would be too, to be fair. I don't see telling them to charge into danger. There's my shot. Alright, good. Ugh. I don't know where I missed the shot before this one. So, let's see, I'm getting a few first aid kits. A whole bunch of you. And we're going to upgrade our gun as max as we can go at this point. So. Yeah. 
pretty good. You can change the type of the gun there. I do not want to do that. Oh, hey, boys. Got, uh, got you over here. You sure this is a good idea? We go the hard way. Intruder domination mode. I guess there is now an enemy behind me. And finish off the enemy. Yes, it is. We did it. Right. Ugh. This passage. Not so weak to gun it. Everyone is weak to gun in the binary domain universe. Maybe we'll find the development data for the Hollow Children program there. <laughs> Bunch of force of garbage, if you ask me. Well, we might at least find some clues. Let's pick up the pace. Oh, we're leaving Kane behind, right? Oh uh, yes. Yep. Leaving Kane behind and having like Faye and Shindo come with us. The goddamn oh, yep. gate's shut. What do we do now? This room. We are unlikely to get it open. This room. But I may be oh, able sorry, to Kane. disengage the lock on this door. Push him back. One moment, sorry, Kane. please. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm sorry. He sure comes in <laughs> handy. Now I want one. Alright, Shindo. <laughs> Messed up his movement. <laughs> so, yeah, no, we're gonna have Kane take over Skirty. We're gonna take, obviously, Kane Shindo. There we go. I, have disengaged I think it's because he is the one that gets through these the fastest. There. Fuck, not the maze. But... I don't even know where to start. A complete search would take forever. Okay, at least I have instructions hey, for notice this. Notice anywhere they might be keeping data on the Hollow Children program? There appears to be a right, straight down the middle. The then to the right, left. Is it the first right? Might be that right. I don't fucking remember. We're gonna find out. Stop. Right, we're good. Oh yeah, these fucking turret enemies, they suck. Not the first, the second. Proceed left from that point. God damn, it's too tough. Dead. We should Not wanted to go here. This is a shame. Can you head in straight? So yeah, the other two need to also get over here, so I should be taking care of some of these enemies at least. Holy shit, yo! There we go. Because there was that many that spawned here. Oh, hey! Ow! We have gone left, Kane Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. This is not the right way, I'm just trying to get them to get to me quicker. Hey, he's in trouble. Hey, are you okay? No. Oh. Okay. It's not okay. I'm sure I'll be fine. No. No. Hey, it's sealed off. Right. How are we supposed <laughs> to get past this? I believe I could disengage the barrier. One more. We're not going in the coffee place. We are going this way. Disengaged. Hey. <sighs> That's a good Son of a bitch! They spotted us! I'm absolutely speechless! What is this place? Get out of the This is some kind of warehouse. Yeah? I wish I had time to swipe. Which door it is? I think it's this one. Speechless. Right, right first. Hey. Going near the laboratory. I will disengage the door lock for you. This one. That's it. We almost have. Well, this is the last. Let's see what we can find. Bye, does. Oh shit. We got company. We can do it later. First, we got the circuit to short. Head off the table. Ammo on the way. Oh, 
Hey, didn't we shove all this ammo in here? We'd probably get stuck at some point. <laughs> do you read me? It doesn't look like there's any data here. Anywhere I think I do the, the boss coming up properly because I messed it up real badly in the PB. Ugh. I believe that is the most promising location now. I'm hearing a lot of those spider bots out there. Just to confirm, we take the elevator ahead, right? <laughs> Break time's over, Kane. We're taking an elevator up. Regroup with us later. Understood, monsieur. That's Looking it! Good. We almost have them! Sucks. Also, we do need those two to come with us, so... I'm hoping, like, yeah, the majority of the enemy actually do come after me here. Like, this thing is in the way, and it's a pain. I don't think I can even kill it. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, no, it's not. You throw the smart grenade. What about me or my crew? to come towards me a little bit. This way. I went the wrong way. <laughs> it's fine, so I'm still waiting this for them. Ah, it's looking fine. Come on, you're good. I think we need to run to the lift, and that causes them to, yeah, press the switch, and then that causes them to rush a bit forward. You can't take the lift without them, so... Not the way. I don't see their nameplates still. Oh. I should not. That's fine. Hey. Over here. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, but where's the thing? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, let's wait for us. I'm tired of this place. The Hollow Children data better be on Same. this R&D floor. Fucking, I hate those two. I hate those two, like, little maze bits. Or massive ambush. Same plan okay. as ever. Okay, now it's Deal boss it time. It comes, try not to look surprised. Uh, I have full charge. That's good. At least I have charge this time. Oi, oi, oi. Hello. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't need ammo. We should be fine. Alright, so we need to, we're going to get Kane come back here. We need to figure out how to get the data over here. I'm relieved to find you unharmed. Rendezvous there are complete. USB ports in the front of this computer. What do you think they're doing here? Nice keyboard. I don't know. <laughs> they have so many I extra buttons care. on this keyboard. Like. Yes. Empire. I don't see why you'd say that to me. Look at this. I think we can access this. Sorry for being a good summer. teammate. Maybe we Sorry can find for the data on the children that way. All right. Good to me. Dan, give it a try. I don't know how to work a computer. I pushed one it button and made an error. Has activated a security lock. I told you I don't know how to work uh, a computer. No dice, huh? Let's see well, why why are you giving this movie. job to me when we have the literal robot that can plug into every computer? Like, <laughs> might be something hot behind this door. There might be another terminal behind this door. Hmm. What the hell that is? Well, that's not gonna you know come to life and attack us in a second. Look, there's another one here. Fine. Okay. Yes. Time to work your magic, Dan. Why me? I can't work computer. Guess what? There's gonna be an error. The search Fucking failed. Shocked. It seems you are locked out once more. God damn it! What do we do now? I wonder if there are any other terminals. Maybe we, we wake try. up the big thing next. To us. You got me. Top of the download. I'm a computer. For one. And here we go. Really? I did not mean to fall down. That actually sucks, but at least I don't get hit with the laser. You have to shoot the drives on its like back and stuff. Uh, there's a couple of like squares. Are you all right? Ow. Do you need oh, I'm good. <laughs> not good. I mean to fall down now. It's like 
There we go. So here's the thing. This boss has a gimmick. The boss cannot hear anything. Or cannot see anything. The one's on its chest. Oh yeah, that's it. This is blowing shit up now. <laughs> it just goes back. Alright. Cool. Now we have the sewers. <laughs> yeah, we have a sewer section in this goddamn video game. So, unfortunately, Amada can takes control of Kane and reveals that Faye is actually a hollow child. So she now becomes one of the enemy, and we're in the sewers with Kurosawa and Shindo, who vehemently hate each other. I think it would be a and this is Johnny Young Bosch's Asian accent, and oh god, it's bad. I was thinking the exact same thing about you. I, I don't know why they told Johnny Young Bosch to, hey, pretend to be Asian when, you know, I'm... Helicopter Johnny Yongosh is actually like half Asian. Might be wrong on that. If I am, please correct me. But like, yeah, it's a product of its uh, time. Even I'm impressed. Not very good either. Once we kill enough enemies, we can carry on. I'm surprised Grab. you stayed alive this long, Kurosawa. Some of these. I figured you'd be dead by now. Why don't you just go and get yourself cured? It'll save me the trouble of arresting I, you. I don't know. I don't hey, know. Hey, Dan. Can I shoot this guy or what? No. Come on. Nobody would even know if you killed him here. It's perfect. I'm in no mood to play your stupid games. Oh, lighten up. I'm joking. <laughs> Half joking. All right, Dan. Let let's me go. go. Let These me go through the goddamn door. me too much of your <laughs> I just don't get what Amada is planning. Shut up. Why make robots? <laughs> just let me go. What was the deal with those old beat up robots? I guess he's the failed prototype. Fuck, I've forgotten the way to go. This is also a maze. I'm on the floor, actually. There it is. Yeah, let it go the right way. Good. All right, so we have to let these two open the door, as you can see, two switches on the side, and we kill the enemies. Thankfully, the enemies in this bit ain't that tough. I didn't mean to blow that up yet, but I did. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Open. Come here, Shinto. Just open the door. Shit, it's not going to open that easy. <sighs> hey, we have a big pack right, of We are at least less behind. than 30 minutes away from you the end of this here video game. <laughs> hey, we will like roll the jingle delay. wheel again and see what we get. This was at least Almost a good open. choice. Hold on just a little longer. Jingle Will gave us a good first game. Left, right, right, left. This is it, man. Don't give up. I'm not. <laughs> nice. What the <laughs> hell, Dan? Do something. You mean? My fuck, you rushed through was the best of the best. Okay, now that you're out of the way, let's get that door open, Shindo. I know, I know. Oh, you stop Shit. they actually get up here? Wow. I know. Let's go. Right there. Right there. So, left. Don't be long like now. Right, right. Let's keep it. Feels like we've been here. How would I know? Shit. Look at that. Shit. What did I tell you? Yeah, the issue is you have to get, like, to get, like, the good ending. When I say you have to get everybody's, like, you know, familiarity with you or your, like, their happiness with you up to max, I mean everybody. 
That does also include Kurosawa and Shindo. Another one of these doors. Stop <laughs> you sliding from. Let's open. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Sir. They like each other. Shit. Probably guess. They're attacking from behind again. You know the drill, Dan. I do indeed know the drill. I am killing all the robots. You do my job, you do yours. Almost open! Hold on, just a little longer! Let me try and. Just a little longer! We can't get down! Thank you. We out of here. All this is looking good. It's almost over. All right, now we climb this, and we go through the Star Wars style trash compactor. It is. A checkpoint. This brings those two forward because we need them to go forward in this next bit. Check it out. Isn't that an elevator? Yeah, it is. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's give it a try. Gonna be a lot of enemies. I gotta protect the both of them. Why I'm not right now. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Where are all the enemies right now? What the heck? Stop. No. No. Okay, he's gone. Okay, he decided to leave, so you know, I'm just gonna sit here. Hey, step on it. Let's hurry up and get going. You're the one who's waiting on. For a sour. I am gonna shoot a lot if you don't get your ass over here. Holy shit. Yeah, hey, guess what? It's the lift. I'm not the issue here. Kurosawa is. Stop killing the enemy, I'm begging you. Hey, step on it. Let's hurry up and get going. Bruh. <laughs> the AI. Reloading. James waiting for an important death scene right now. I'm along. Thank you. Holy shit. So yeah, unfortunately that's the end of Shindo. What was up with him? I guess we'll never know. We gotta keep moving. Base to Beetle 2, are you receiving? Base to Beetle 2, are Again. you receiving? <laughs> Base, this Again. is Beetle 2. Loud and clear. There you are. I thought the survivors left. Uh, I probably should have tried to push Chris off of one, honestly. Stick around. All right. This still happened. What's Beetle One's twenty? R and D floor. I'll notify him you're on your way. Yeah, well, we found Amada. He's no spring chicken, but he's no pushover either. In other words, you failed to apprehend him. Yeah, man's well, alive. You know, he's supposed to be dead, by the way. The whole team he's supposed to be really old, but he's actually kind of young. Well, well, he's actually kind of old, but he's somehow alive. He should be like very dead at this point. Just when I thought we escaped the trash dump. Why is this now not this? going that? Oh my god. I say we get out of here before we get ambushed again. I'm sure, Johnny Youngbush was like the racist accent. Check the door. Wait, I think there might be a way out. Thanks. Looks like I was right. Let's move. Actually, Curse out isn't gonna stay a part of our team like for like entire time because when we go up to the front desk or all the front desks here we get to see our team again unfortunately they have found some data and this is where the plot of bio domain gets a little bit weird <laughs> a little bit very weird
Did you know people can fuck the robots? No, I'm not kidding. People fuck the robots. And they make children. The, the, the robots have... God damn it. The robots have the ability to make babies. And that's what the governments want to stop is they want to stop the robot babies. Because they might be, like, on the side of the robots. And, and yeah, it's... Yeah. Really something special. You've been on the internet? Yeah, pretty much. Probably a bit more careful than this, but we're fine. I'm actually trying to help my team here. I need them to come forward. <laughs> I just pissed them all off. I need everyone in this first bit to get to the elevator. All right, everyone into the elevator. That's why I wanted to turn around there and shoot them all. Trambles nonsense, kinda. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Krillin, right? Krillin is a role model for old dudes like me. we are five foot two, bald as fuck, and just man. How did how did Krillin manage to you know? How did Krillin get Riz? How did Krillin get that much Riz? Like, how? Hey, here's a Saber 2 Tiger. Ow. Yes. This is why you want your charge. Charge is good. Charge is great. Still a server, so it's definitely a safe. Oh fuck it! What are you fucking? We're running out of time. We gotta finish this up quick, brother. It's dead. Right. Well done. Let's roll, people. Unfortunately, it's not the here. only thing that's dead. It's also not dead. Unfortunately, when we get to this door and we hit the switch, unfortunately, you get a cutscene. Oh, yeah, by the way, we have to shoot the satellite dish. This is dumb. So, we have to get to the front of the satellite dish to shoot it. Um, it would work from any position, idiot. <laughs> it's not how RPGs work. Unfortunately, Save 2 Tiger grabs Big Bug. And we lose Big Bug. There he goes. Goodbye, Big Bo. Love you, Big Bo. I'm going up the ladder. Leave me alone. You can also see you've got like multiple bits of ammo here. You just have to hit one rocket. You could have hit that from below. You didn't have to go up there either. Thankfully, I lied. Big Bo's not dead. Wait, Big Bo's very not dead. Unfortunately, we're about to be. I'm trying. Thanks, Troy Baker. So the time that went from like 10 minutes to one. Boys. God damn, nice there, man. I agree. Oops. Oh. I think that a little early. Fire! I'm firing, big bug. Why does the gate keep jumping me off ladders? How so, Rosa? Are we still talking Fire. SMT? The same release date. Well, it's not like they're privy to that kind of information. They can't just phone up FromSoft and go, "Hey, when are you releasing your DLC?" Besides, different audiences. It's the same as you know, releasing like Yakuza Six on the same day as God of War. They didn't shoot themselves in the foot at all. They know what they're doing. Right. Don't fall off the roof. <laughs> I'm so you're gonna fall off the roof. You fall off the roof, it's game over. <laughs> Surprise. Bloody hell. Don't stop, yo. Keep flooring it. Alright, climb over. Good on that. Well, we just straight space and boop. Make sure you don't fuck that up. 
Anyway, yeah, now it's time to now it's time to carry on. That's the end of that chapter, I believe, and now we're on to the final one. I actually want to go in this room first, because you can get a very good very good shot of all the enemy on this side. That wasn't great. You just grenade me? I think that's it. Yeah, you're done. Anyway, I don't have a second weapon, so I'm going to grab this for now because I want the ammo behind it. Uh, we are going to be getting a second weapon. We're actually going to be intentionally buying a shotgun. I'm losing all my time in this bit. This kind of sucks. Again, just be be happy. Say yes to everybody. You know the drill. Yeah. Something happened between you two, didn't it? It's written all over your Yeah, I I'm not someone that cares about, you know, bad performance. I've been playing since the days of the Mega Drive after right, all. Brother. But it is going to be nice to play a smooth version of SMT5. I'm absolutely like buying the game again on PC. Is it listening right like, 100%. Smooth. Roger that. Stop dragging your feet. We need to move fast. Yeah, not that way. <laughs> Here's my last charge on that. Whoa, where did that come from? Hey, what are you trying to do? You walked in my way, and that's the issue with trying to go for like everybody like max happiness with you, is because they will walk in your way constantly and they will take shots. Which will make them real pissed at you because you know, oh god, why did you shoot me? I'm your ally. Why did you walk in my fucking way, you know? Ideally, I will grab charge on the way through. I think I can buy it at the last shot. Oh, okay. Because I really need it for the bit after this. We have to make a stand here. Camera? Uh, that's happening. Yeah, I'm good, don't you worry. I am kind of in a bad spot. If I had my charger, I'd be using it. What? And we do have to take care of the enemy. We do need them, do their allies to come with us. Can you smoke grenade the air, my dude. Nice strat. The nice thing is our allies should hopefully take care of the enemies behind us. They're actually quite close, huh? That actually worked out quite well. This is the drop. Actually, was that surprising me? Well, all right, medkits, salt ammo. Can I get charged while I'm in here? I'll get EMP grenades, uh, and I want obviously the shotgun, as we said. I get my charge. That sucks. But I've got one round. I wish I had more. There's one alive here. The last one. The heliport is supposed to be this way. What a strange. I'm a winner. Sure ammo. This is the right way. <laughs> Thanks. Not completely. But we've no time to Interesting door, it. huh? We're going in. We're going in. Alright, this is where shit gets really good. So we get Amada's whole like backstory, blah blah blah. Um also shoot robots. That's Amada. The bloody hell's going on here? So Amada is here and he's also here. Uh there is two Amadas. There's one in a coffin, which is in the middle of the room. Don't you think I know that? He has uploaded his consciousness or some shite to the AI neural cloud that Xbox are trying to launch with Xbox One. I was watching the uh, I was watching the Xbox One stuff actually the other day, like just seeing how how much of a like colossal like like abstract failure it was. It's so wild after they got it so right with the 360. Someone's up top. Okay. Just the top enemies left. Ooh, she'll whip me up the ass. Anymore, supposed to be on my uh, my side. Star, man. Get me up Get on the coffin. They're definitely up top somewhere. I just can't see them. Oh, there you are, actually. Man, you are an ass. Yo, can you charge? Understood. Like, that's all I have to do is kill that last guy. Oh, my God. <sighs> hey, so, boss fight time. This boss is Faye. We have to take care of Faye. And then we have a cue. Then we have a cutscene afterwards. I failed like seven oh, times in a row last time because it's really finicky. <laughs> This sucks. <laughs> Son of a bitch is trying to escape. 
Fuck off. I gonna hate these enemies. Fucking blow this one up. Come here, you. Not dead. Shit. Watch out. So put a hole in you. Fred. Dead down there? Is that all you've got? Don't pull back now. I won't. So yeah, we don't obviously fight Faye, we fight the robots. One's chasing me right now. The one's chasing me, Bill, actually. Yeah. I know that's not true, Dan. Come on. If you want to put me down, you need to fight like a man. What's wrong, Dan? Reloading. Some dilemma going on inside that pretty head? Yeah, the dilemma is the next QTE. There we go. Because all right. I've got to stop her from shooting oh Gregory here, racist Troy Baker. I'm gonna fail. <laughs> a couple of times. It's really fucking precise and it's really dumb. You have like less than a second to be able to do it. He's dead. I somehow missed the gun. I don't know how the fuck that happens. It's gonna happen a couple more times. It's really stupid. Alright. It's really fucking stupid. Because you can't shoot her. You have to shoot the gun. Fucking hey, I got it. <laughs> That's actually a lot harder than you'd expect it to be. Sorry, if I... You're an easy mark, old man. Okay. So take aim and shoot. What are you waiting for? I'm killing the robot. Okay, you don't want to shoot, mate. You want to shoot the robots. Of course, include all the ones that are on the second floor as well. But these ones suck. You really want to take care of these ones. Alright, you know what? I'm going to do it again. Because you're going to drop the stuff that gets me those back. Hey, please stop shooting me. Thanks. Two charges. I need full charge. But we gotta take care of the robot. We just have to kill all the robots, which is just like, alright. I like having like a robot ally with me, because it shoots where like the actual enemy robots are, so I can tell, you know, which ones I still need to take care of. That's a lot, huh? Not the last of them. It should be. Okay. Good. Good. All right. The central unit last shot. Is in there. Last shot. We're going to obviously get ourselves a whole bunch of ammo, especially shotgun ammo. And I think that's, yeah, recharge. Want that to fall. Yes, we're almost there. And we're good. We better brace yourselves. Why is I losing time here, considering how much I fucked up the uh, finale in my uh, PB? I'm, I'm good. You're ready. Let's go. Final boss time. Good man, move out. I'm gonna shotgun this up. Oh, I should have actually done the charge first, so they would have all gone down. Now they're gonna fuck me up. No, I'm good. Too late. If you're wondering, these are the robots of the US Army. Oh, what a shocking surprise that one is. He breaks both the legs, they're down for good. Ooh, took care of I didn't do that. Alright. Final boss. Final boss isn't too bad. Uh, here's the strat. Shoot the dick plate. Yeah, it's him, by the way. It's our colonel. He wants to control the AI that is currently controlling Luke's. Actually, I dodged backwards. Bloody. Oh, what the fuck? Keep showing the deck plate. Don't be twisting me around your finger any longer. I will need you once you're in the ground. 
I like police. Challenge. Thanks. New <laughs> weapon, new tactics. Not for me. <laughs> Now. Right. Fighter, launcher, You're not going to. <laughs> Look out. One hit from that thing and it's all over. Please, why is it not charging the thing? Because I did just take a hit from it and it's not over, so yeah. And... Hey, how it's middle mouse button. Fucking middle mouse button sucks. GG. I'm surprised I didn't save a lot more time on that chapter because I played that really badly in my PB. Oh. GG. <laughs> That's RGG's binary anime. I love this game. I love this game to bits. God damn Warts you. and all. Uh, where did I get the rocket Maybe launcher so, from? <laughs> Just means I'll see you in hell. I, I didn't have a roll. Don't you hear? <laughs> I already said I'm automatically re-rolling Fist of the North Star. Like, I've said I am not playing Fist of the North Star. I've said it many times. So I refuse. Still not in a good place for Fist of the North Star. <laughs> what have you got to laugh about? You idiot. All you've done is delay events. That nuke is still on its way. Yeah, it is. Strike in uh, 20 seconds. He's wrong. There's no missile. We will not that there that are missiles, strike. actually? <laughs> not that you have much choice. Impact in seven seconds. Five, four, three. Where's the kaboom? See? Missiles do exist. Strike! Damn it! Strike! See? I told you there's no missile. I don't understand. Again, technically, when we're wrong missiles. When Oda hacked the Milcom <laughs> network, he evolved AI at Missile Command to ASC mode. Autonomous sensory capacity. Oh, for God's sake, Faye, just speak English. It means NC vessels now have the authority to assess the validity. Yeah, best of best teams. ending is all teammates alive, which you won't be getting in at any percent Seriously? run for Seriously? binary domain. Because you literally have to and do a little bit of farming to make sure that everybody is max era. like happiness with you. Bad which bad. that takes a bit of a grind. Project Phantom making the prime game for 18 months. But I'm not gonna let one of them take me down either. Oh, man. Do it. Fortunately, this is not the good ending. So the ending of the game, obviously, like, whoever lives, whoever dies, etc., is all based depending on everybody that you make happy. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Well, it's a tiny little bit of grinding in certain sections to be able to Pretty get dumb. everybody max happiness, but At least as long I as you like rotate your squad and you don't shoot them. Now you know me. I'll manage. I'm the survivor. Remember? <laughs> Big boy. Pass me a cigarette. A big one. <laughs> I always told you those things would kill you. Good luck, big boy. Take care. Big boy's awesome. She sure is pretty. Call her if 
wish you're dead. On a binary domain two, where you know the <laughs> canon ending is everybody survives, so we can get Big Boba. Thanks. <laughs> RGG will never make. RGG will never uh, make binary domain two, which <laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> I would adore binary domain two <laughs> so fucking much. You know, even if I don't kill you, someone else will. God, here comes racist Troy Breaker again. Racist British Troy Breaker. Probably. Like, Sega pushed hard with this game. Like... I'll tell them you went missing in action. I'm fairly certain, I can't remember, like, exactly, but I think this is exceedingly close to, like, the Japanese release. Thank you. And obviously, you know, they have the whole, you know, multilingual, like, dub coming into play. <laughs> Even if most of the actors are American. <laughs> Cough. No, <laughs> Dan. I do, I do like that this was kind of the precursor to like Infinite Wealth in terms of like, you know, some scenes, if you're playing with a Japanese dub, they speak Japanese and they speak English. Like, I kind of like that. I wish Infinite Wealth like, like led into that more, honestly. You can't fly solo out there. Goodbye, Dan. Take care of yourself. Yeah, it was very much a, a product of, uh, this time in this game. Again, bloody Troy Baker saying a uh, racist the terminology towards Japanese people. Enjoy the ending for a second. Uh, I'm out of water. Before we spin the wheel again, I'm going to need some fresh water, so I will be right back. And for the enjoy, uh, enjoy the rest of the ending. Yes, sir. It's all going up in smoke. Anything we have learned from this, like we're learning Sorry, in real Mr. life, Bergen. AI bad. It had to be done. Well, I understand. Such a shame, though. What about these hybrids? Geneva's pursuing 107 of them. Tracking their locations will take time, but Russ Cruz will be dispatched with termination orders as soon as possible. Are we really considering the hybrids as robots? They're completely biological. But not born of humans, Mr. Bergen. The IRTA was very clear on this. Besides, Last thing this world needs is more racial tension. What about the 108th hybrid? Fei Li has gone underground and remains at large, but she can't stay hidden forever. Does it really matter? What harm can one woman do? Mr. Bergen, what happens if another Amida comes along? Only this time, instead of staying underground, the Hollow Children decide we're a threat. If that happens, who do you think they'll look to for a leader? I got a feeling this is not the end. It's rolling. It's bloody cold tonight. Holy shit. Gone outside. It's actually really cold in my kitchen. Well, say, Howling Knight. Hope you're doing well. The edge of your game was swimming for and flew off too. Yes, I actually agree. Agreed. Um, I. I can't skip the credits, so I'm just gonna alt F for the video game. Folks, that was binary domain. I hope you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed good old binary domain. Uh, it is time <laughs> to flick it back over the wheel. All right, Jingo. There you are. All right, so again, if we manage to roll, let me get some more music up. Uh, let's go with this one this time. Again, we've got multiple rounds of music this time. Definitely not trying to influence the wheel with this one, but you know, I wouldn't be upset if this one turned up. <laughs> All right, so once again, we haven't used any vetoes yet. Binary Domain was the first game and it turned up and we wanted it, so it went ahead. So again, if you haven't been here or you missed the explanation at the start, what's going to happen is I'm going to spin the wheel. It's going to land on one of the speedruns that I have done previously, at which point uh, I will decide whether I want to do it or not. If I say no, I'll re-roll and lose a veto. If I say yes, I'll pass it over to chat. You will vote in chat. I'll put up a Twitch poll. We'll see whether or not we get, obviously, to play that game. Uh, literally, there are, as I said earlier, uh, there are three options on this wheel that I actually haven't done a run of yet. So I'm keeping those secret for now. Roll that wheel. 
That's from Deadly Premonition too, by the way. G B F R. We did this two days ago. This is a four-hour run. Uh, I would not be opposed to doing it. I'm gonna throw it up in chat. So, new pop. That's the wrong keyboard, my dude. Do we play Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling? This is a four-hour run. So just bear that in mind. If this does go through, you'll have a minute for this one. Bear in mind, if this one does go through, we probably have very little time afterwards for another roll. Uh, we did do this run two days ago. So again, as much as I like this run, if chat says no, okay, well that, we go with what chat says. If we you do say no, you will lose a veto. You will roll again. Uh, if Binary Domain appears again, again, that's a free reroll. If Fist of the North Star appears, that's a free reroll. I like this run, but it is four hours long. <laughs> Remember. This is one of the new games. In fact, we've that both of the games so far, Binary Domain and Grand Blue, are new new actual games on the wheel since the last time we did the Jingu wheel. Jingu is uh, Jingu is selecting stuff he wants to see that are new this time around. Oh damn. I don't look at what the results are until it's over, by the way. That is a no. That is a 74% no chat. You lose a veto, which means you are down to two vetoes. And we spin again. Honestly, I don't mind because we did that. We did that literally like two days ago. That's unfortunately a free respin because I don't have the Bioran set up on my PC. They are on the wheel, both two and three, but I don't have them set up, so unfortunately I can't do them. Ooh! Ooh, there's an option! That's going through, baby! Ooh, there's an option! Do we play Yakuza 6? Ooh, that's an option! Ooh, baby! Ooh, that's a, that's a choice! Ooh! That is, that is a good choice! That is a... Two hour run, sub two hour run, nice and quick. We will definitely do another grab. We'll, do we'll definitely do another Jingu wheel spin afterwards. Like that is a that is a interesting choice. This is a very solid speed run, an exceptionally solid speed run. This is very very good. X six is a good choice. <laughs> I'm a little, a little biased with this one, obviously, but yeah, I like the X six and it's run a lot. In fact, I'm actually opening my notes ahead of time because I have a suspicion that this is going to win. <laughs> I am not upset if it does. Don't forget as well, we are going to be doing all mainline Yakuza games this weekend. We are doing some charity fundraising with Team Sega for Game Blast. I'm going to get that set up tonight, actually. Um, that is a resounding... 97% yes. God damn. I am not surprised about that one. All right. Let me let me go and get all this set up. I am not surprised about that in the slightest. But I don't think... Actually, I don't think I've done Yakuza 6 on this new PC. It's 100% installed. Don't worry about that. But I don't think we've actually... I don't think we've actually tested the performance of Yakuza 6 on this new PC. So this will be interesting. Because on the old PC, I had to... Um, that's a down patch. That is a 96% yes. God damn. God damn. I tell you what. I tell you what, chat. I'll give you some rugby baby as well. Uh, if the run is looking like I could potentially PB, we'll do it after the run. If the run is dying in the middle of it, we'll do it. Obviously during the run. I will give you. I'll give you some uh, rugby baby as well. So let me so set up. God damn. God. Damn, that's a good choice. Jingo wheel. Jingo wheel is giving us some good stuff tonight. Jingle Bell's giving us some very good stuff tonight. God damn. Right, goodbye, Deadly Premonition 2 soundtrack. I love you to bits. Might hear you later. Might hear you later. Oh yeah, the Actor 6 is quiet, isn't it? Right, you can see it. That's good. Uh, split on the screen. You can see that. Good. Um, I know what I've forgotten. Hold on. It splits. Activate the load remover. Yep. So, one other thing I've forgotten is that because I haven't used this PC yet, I have to activate all of the load removers again. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yak 6. 
Uh, I don't really need to say much about this one, because uh, you'll get to hear me say about it during the run. I like this run. I like this run an absolute metric shit ton. I fucking love this game. Fucking love this run. It's going to be so weird going back to this after Gaiden now. All right. Three, two, one, go. The 2016 character. He's in my Don Doku Island. <laughs> Yo. Thank you very, very much for the generous donation. Thank you very, very much. All right, left to skip cutscenes. Uh-huh. Anyway, who's this guy? Oh, fuck me. Run illegal. Run invalid. Run illegal, chat. Run illegal. We gotta roll it back. Hold on. You can see what the issue is in the top right. Run illegal. Run illegal. It's only quick game. Oh, to cut the tiles. Oh, my God. Uh, don't forget, Dragon Engine games are lots of 60 FPS. Run illegal. Run illegal. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's a leaderboard mod and he's trying to cheat already. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't actually know, I assume the Akiyama skip actually works at 240 as well, but uh, <laughs> we're doing this right. We're doing all this right. I'm not going so, if you're wondering, I'm not going for, where am I? 60 FPS, thank you. Uh, I'm not going for, um, I'm not going for like PBs and stuff like that with Jingu Wheel runs. It's just to show off like each individual run. Um. But you know, we do have to do it properly. <laughs> it has to be done properly. I might also genuinely get a PB in Yaxa 6. I've been like very close to a Yaxa 6 PB in a hot. So I don't think I have a PB with the uh with the Akiyama skip. So So, back to it. This guy, you can see him a couple of times. He is the boss you fight the most in this game. Start off against Nagamo in this tutorial. We do have to do the guard, do the dodge. Come on, my dude, please hit me. Thank you. I'm gonna run to the bikes, and then we're gonna hold our one so that we can lock on to the enemies. And we wanna combo him ideally towards this lamppost so that he doesn't get away. He will dodge this. Oh. Magma. Oh, it's hit him once there. Because the sign doesn't do that much. I should have grabbed the bike, honestly, but this should be fine. Not the one I wanted, but it'll do, because there's that right there. Okay. That's the one that I wanted. Uh, Two-handed scooters, when you can grab them in, obviously, extreme heat mode is fucking good. Very fucking good. Also, I love this run a lot. I shouldn't need my notes for this run um, outside of Akiyama Skip. So I've been, I haven't done Akiyama Skip too many times. I keep messing it up a couple of times. But, yeah. So if you haven't seen this in a hot minute, this is Yakuza 6. This is actually one of my more favorite Dragon Engine speedruns, even to this day. Uh, it was obviously the first game in the Dragon Engine. The start of Yak 6's run in the speedrun is essentially a boss rush for the first hour. Like, there is a lot of boss fights, and we go through them very quickly and very fast. The way that I am doing it is not the fastest way to actually do these fights. The fastest way is to use... A method not dissimilar to K2, where you do a do a specific combo with your um, your extreme heat, and you will actually use the mouse scroll wheel for that. I have not been able to do that consistently, so I am not doing it. I'm doing the old-fashioned method, which is a lot slower, a lot slower. I do need to learn. I do need to learn uh, scroll wheel method, but I have I have not at this point. I am not at this juncture, so I'm not gonna waste time trying. I'll just do it the old-fashioned, the old-fashioned old route that I do know how to do it. Yeah, Nagamo! <laughs> Mini, uh, if you don't want to hear, like, certain, like, very, very minor infinite wealth stuff, uh, mute until I go into the, uh, pop over here. Forgot to run straight forward there. Um, I do find it very funny whenever they reference Yak as a six in Infinite Wealth that, you know, they never ever once mention Nagano. <laughs> because of what his actor did. Uh, if you all don't know, uh, Nagamo is obviously a face actor. And uh, the stuff that Nagamo did was essentially almost working with the Yak as a IRL. So you can know how to pick him. I think I already know how to fucking pick him. Uh, so Nagamo's actor has been, you know, <laughs> up to very much no good. You can find out about it on, I believe, his Wikipedia page. Um, 
It's also fucking hilarious because he now has a he now has a YouTube channel. Um, oh, could a mod change the could a mod change the category to Yatta Six, please? I've got to change it from uh, binary domain. Keep the title as it is. Just change the category to Yatta Six. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm an idiot and forgot. Uh, here you really don't need like that many like bentos, but because I haven't done this run in a while, and this run is actually one of the scarier ones, I am going to grab a couple for safety heals. Now, fun fact, your vending machine drinks, unlike uh, the rest of the series, you can only hold one at a time, and you physically hold on to it. You actually lose those drinks when you go through, like, taxis or certain cutscenes, but for some reason we can keep this CC Lemon through this fight. If you're wondering why we don't use it during this fight, this fight is just use sign. Goodbye. Don't need damage. But we are going to need this damage coming up in a bit. So, we get tutorialized on obviously leveling up. We obviously want to grab attack. And we're just going to hold this drink for a little bit while longer as well. Oh, you already did it? Thanks, I appreciate that. Strimmer's an idiot and keeps forgetting smiling emoji. <laughs> this run will be over before you know it, by the way. This run is, like, really fast-paced. It's really good. I love this run. Like... So, you know, Roof Safe is banned because the way that you get the code is outside of the video game. So, we considered it DLC. Um, even though I guess technically it's not. Uh, what we have said, uh, no one's actually done this yet. What we have said is we will do a category called bun percent. So for those who don't know, on the roof of Serena, there is a safe that contains a rainbow bun that gets all your stats up massively. Uh, this is a bad set of enemies. Your type drink here. Oh, fuck. That's not great. That cause me a little bit of time loss afterwards. It's fine. I don't need the attack buff for this fight. I need it for the fights after this fight. A giant shame. So the X6, you can actually move when you start in a fight, which is great. Good first hit. Usually that first hit is a bit worrying. And Guo, good, good. Go right. usually walks backwards as well. Guo sucks. Fuck Guo. Everyone who runs the X6 hates Guo. And at this point, we have to go get a taxi to go back to obviously Sky Finance. We would have consumed our attack drink at this point, and then we wouldn't have to get a fresh attack drink after this. So, yeah, losing out on that is a little bit is a little bit of a pain. Because now I'm going to have to go out of my way to get an attack drink. It's going to cost me like five seconds. Yes, but fine. So, yeah, normally you would have the attack buff still on at this point, and you wouldn't have to worry about, like, grabbing this drink here. And now I have to obviously drink it and then wait for it to go through for this one. Again, the attack buff isn't for this fight. It's for the one after this fight. Now, ideally, all the enemies here will walk towards me. These guys kind of suck because sometimes you doesn't walk towards you. Good hits. Damn. Damn. Good hits. Very good hits. Cool. At this point, we get told where Akiyama is. I'm going to head off to Children's Park. Those bentos that we got, we actually need one of those to move the story along. It's a bad fight spawn, but thankfully we can do the ye oldie method of good old save load. Got 30. Oh, no, no. Good old save load anywhere. PC versions. Thumbs up. Appreciate it. Most of the taxis in this run as well are usually either at the top or bottom of the list. There's no taxis that we need in the main plot. They're in the middle of the list, which is wild. So, we just carry on. This sub story that I am passing right here, that is one sub story that you do not need to do, but you have to do to be able to fight Amon in this game. Reason is, for get to the Amon fight in this game, you only have to do two sub stories, but this sub story blocks one of those sub stories from finishing. You can do Amon real quick in this game. Spikes down 11, thank you, the Prime Gaming, appreciate it. Appreciate it. And this is why we want the attack buff, is this fight right here. This is Ed. Ed is a giant piece of shit. I fucking love Ed and this team. Rat Racer, thank you for the nine months. I appreciate it. Good. Oh, I hit Akiyama. That's bad. And he hit me. That's bad. Ideally, you want to take care of the ads as you're taking care of Ed. You actually got that? Holy shit, I'm having one of the worst Eds of my life. Holy shit, this man has decided fucking violence today. It's gonna take him to phase two and take care of the app. 
This man has decided absolute violence. I'm not going to save any time here. I've got such a giant time save in this split, but... I did you get him before Akiyama hits Ed. If he's on 1 HP or the equivalent of you want to fail this QTE. If you are not, if he's not on 1 HP, you want to do the QTE because it will get him down to 1 HP. But at this point, man dies. Also, Akiyama crush. Okay. Next Ed. That's a bunch of time now. That sucks. Again, why the Jingu wheel isn't... You all right, Ed? He's all right. Uh, the point of Jingu Wheel isn't to, you know, get PBs or go for PBs. It's to show off the runs and obviously all that jazz. So. It's been a whole minute since we've done Yakuza 6. I missed this game. I just got a micro starter. So what I'm paying attention to is if I get a bunch of micro stuttering. Uh, because with my old PC, uh, when I played Yakuza 6, I got a metric ton of micro stutters. So essentially I had to down patch because of that. But we are pretty good so far, thankfully. So go. From this, grab a green Dakara. This will go through the cutscene with us, so you can run forward and start drinking it. Go to chase after this guy. And that'll give us unlimited stamina, which is going to last for the entirety of this bit, which is good. So the hero say QTs are night? Likely. Now that I've put it to 60 FPS, maybe not, but it depends. Um. Because until I down patched before I did, so. We'll see. We'll see. I completely forgot that I hadn't down patched this game. Um. Hey, I guess this is a good test, like with K2, of like, you know, whether or not I need to or not. I got taxi notes now. So in this bit, to if you're going for a good time in this game. God, this bit sucks. This bit right here is massive RNG. You want to make a save and then reload to try and get a taxi spawn there, which really, really fucking sucks. Like, really fucking sucks. The chance of a taxi here is, like, super fucking low. Uh, but taxis spawn in the top part of Kamurocho in this game. So, it'd be a lot quicker to get a taxi there than obviously running all the way down here. And we like to call those God Taxis. Uh, there are a couple of opportunities in this run to get a god taxi. A god taxi basically saves you, like, you know, a whole bunch of time. I think the one here saves you, like, 30 to 45 seconds. It's kind of fucking absurd. So. Oh, Blizzard, good luck. We actually had a really bad storm uh, earlier that, like, actually woke me up, like, 10 minutes before my alarm went off. Thought my house was breaking. <laughs> I left the front door open again. Alright, we're gonna get a little introduction here to a group called Justice. J U S T I S, spelt that way on purpose. Again, we do not need attack buff for insignificant thugs. Hello. Bye. Grab sign, spin sign. Woo! Two handed weapons, as always, in RGG games. Very bloody good. Uh, the way the weapons work in Yakuza 6 is actually vastly different to most of the other RGG games. Because this is the first game in the Dragon Engine. Every weapon, bar a few exceptions, has free hits to it. So, if you have, say, you know, a cone, it'll have free hits. If you have, say, a bike, it'll have free hits. There are certain exceptions. The good old benches are an exception. Benches have free hits, break, and then get another free hits. Uh, you also have bottles, which start with one blunt attack and then become free blade attack which is actually because we're using the older strats instead of the scroll wheel strats gonna be useful for one boss coming up later on i don't know why i hold this drink i don't need to hold this drink for this bit uh drinks do not carry over chapters unfortunately so i can't keep this drink until the next chapter but i only need it for the next fight you'll see poor old akiyama is the only person that's standing in play and after this, he will get unceremoniously dumped by RG for all the years. <laughs> so with CC Lemon, CC Lemon is an absurdly overpowered attack buff. Allow me to that's not the thing I want. I want to do that. Like, you know, the table. Let me to demonstrate. God damn, that was quick. 
I don't think that finishes, right? The ideal thing is you hit him twice and then you do the QTE. Anyway. That's the end of that chapter. We're now going to go to the game's second map. We saw it very, very briefly earlier. We are going to go to Onomichi over in Hiroshima. This is where we're going to do our first set of level ups. QTE. There's only about three damage QTEs in the game, and that's one of them. Uh, attack up to 116. And dash attack. Dash attack is the running triangle strong attack in this game, and it's bloody broken. <clears throat> it's actually absurdly fucking busted. Like, it's disgusting. Like, if you've played this game yourself, you probably already know that it's fucking busted. It is very, very busted. Drip, your favorite. I like the well, Onomichu drip. I also like the Infinite Wealth drip. It's also just kind of nice to. I actually like the Axe of Five drip as well. It's just kind of nice to see Kiryu wearing, you know, other outfits. A bike, and then ideally push Nagamo to the left so that he doesn't fly away too much. I'm surprised that actually hit. I should have gone into my EX before I did this bike because it would have done a little bit more damage. Would have been better. Again, if you have Mouse Wheel Strats, you finish this fight in one hit. That's how good the mouse wheel strats are, but I do not know mouse wheel strats. Also, Nagamo is going to do this, so I'm actually probably going to use a heat attack. Just fuck Nagamo up. I did not do as much as I was hoping it would. Hmm. Come on. Fuck you, Nagamo. That was interesting. Are you still alive? Wow. Man's tanky. I forgot how tanky it was. All these early splits are my uh, my time saves, so losing time here is bad. <laughs> it's fine. All right, so we need to do a couple of things here, real quick. Uh, we need to go up this ladder. This one we still get. I'm telling you something. This is the one we. St is this the one we still get? No, this isn't the one we still get. Jesus Christ! I'm doing old strats. Put that right now. Over here. Get a bit. Get a bit. We still get the yeah, we still get the bloody binding. Okay, so I now need to get uh fuck, where am I? I've uh, lost myself. Um Combo speed, E1, and then it's sprint three. I also movement for the next bit. In a whole minute I've done this run. <laughs> You'll see it again, hopefully, this weekend when we do the charity fundraising stuff. So we're gonna leave obviously the bar, and then here what we're gonna do is we're gonna intentionally load the auto save that you can see happened in the bottom right. Uh, this is so that Eno you know, will start walking a bit quicker. This is going to look a bit weird. We are pushing Eno you know, in first person. I am running. This pushes Eno you know, forward a tiny bit. And it does speed things up a little bit. So. It definitely looks a little bit weird. But yeah, no. Where we push forward. Also, Sexus speedrun is very nice. Like, we don't have to worry about any, like, time-waiting segments. We don't have to worry about any money walls or anything like that. Like, one of the reasons why I really like Six's run. Like, it is literally just start to finish, just go. And as said, there's so many bosses at the start. In the first, like, 17 minutes, we've already fought four, four, four different bosses. We're about to fight another three. Although, I guess I said four different bosses. I guess you fight Nagamo twice. And Nagamo a third time coming up in like two minutes. Time. Keeps it happening. Now, well, so once we get you to here, we can move forward. Oh, that's a nice little bit. Nice little bit. Alright, so this is where we get Shake the Baby. Shake the Baby is a very specific minigame that happens in this segment, but we do not want to shake the baby. Therefore, we are going to do some, uh, we're going to do some shenanigans. We have some speed tech for this bit. This bit back on OG PS4 sucked ass. <laughs> this bit was bloody awful on OG PS4 uh, because RGG, like every other developer at the time, was like, hey, what if we just shoehorned motion controls in this bit? A lot better on PC and Xbox because you can just press buttons, but again, we have speed tech. Like, we can just skip this completely. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into my settings. I'm going to save over slot 30. And then load. And this resets Harato's timer. Which means that actually we don't shake the baby. We just carry on. 
this can save us up to like 30 seconds like it's absurd how much time that save load saves like it's wild how much time it saves Yomi's gonna do it again by doing two save loads although the next time we'll be using the auto save by doing the two save loads we actually just don't do shake the baby at all right i really wish we came back to this map at some point i love this map that's a bit oops I oh, this map's a bit really do watch demo this full game yeah yeah, I feel really bad for RHD, like, with that, because it was, like, it was the point where the series was starting to gain, like, so much traction in the West again. And it's just like, well, they're going to lose a bunch of sales because of that. But thankfully, no, the series has continued getting stronger and stronger. Uh, this guy's pissing up the wall, so I'm going to hit him in the face of a flat. This guy actually has one of the highest dodge rates in the entire fucking game. I'm not even kidding about that. Walking to him intentionally so that he does that attack. Oh, God, he did that attack. That attack sucks. If he does the two punch attack, you have to like guard the second one, but unfortunately I misread his animation. It's been a while. If he does the other attack, it's a single attack, and you just you literally just hit him with a flat pot, and that's the end of the fight. Do not want that guy to punch you twice. It sucks. Then we get our next opportunity for a god taxi when we wake up the next day. So anytime we're with you're kidding, thank you. Anytime we're with Hirato, obviously we can't use vending machine drinks, so we can't go get like, you know, CC Lemon at this point or anything like that. That is why we had beer earlier. Because you'll see I have 23 hits left on my attack buff. Uh, no god taxi the no god taxi here, okay. For us to just run it then. Also, you'll see that there are fixed fight spawn locations on the map. This is the first time since the OG games or like the PS3 era that we had uh, fixed fight spawns. But yeah, if there was a taxi coming towards us, we would have gotten that taxi and taxied a bit closer to the bar here. But nope. No god taxi on the way out. So now we just have to run as per usual. Yomis don't forget. I'm for baseball. I'm for baseball. Why is it generate sales? I don't know. There goes a gold taxi. You can see it on the mini map. Um, this one is a gold taxi because obviously there's a taxi right here that's quicker. But, uh, representation. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we'll ever, like, you know, get the answers. The only thing we can see is that at the minute, Infinite Wealth sold 1 million copies in like two or three days. That's a good sign. I remember when I said dash attack is OP. Uh, let me demonstrate. Bang. You want to hit Nagamo. Nagamo has more defense than Matanaga and Yuta. But I recognize that guy if you've ever seen the movie Battle Royale. EX, grab bin, try and get obviously all of them if you can. These guys will go down in one hit. If Nagamo is throwing a baseball at you, fuck you. You want to make sure that obviously you don't get hit by the baseball. Save me 38 seconds, even though I went the wrong way. Hell, fuck. Hey, don't forget the chapter 4 level up, you dipshit. Because you keep forgetting the chapter 4 level up, you dipshit. <laughs> hey, it's time to fight. Ah, sorry. Again. Go, Taxi. Oh, God, Taxi. Hi there. Fancy meeting you here. That'd be a God Taxi. A Jingai main for whenever we need to go to Kiyomi's. Would indeed be a god taxi right there. This one isn't as great as like some of the other ones, uh, because obviously the other ones allow you to go a bit further. But this saves me a tiny bit of time, just a tiny bit. And we get back to the beginning of the game. You might remember that scene right there. So this is Master Zoe. We're gonna deal with Master Zoe and his bullshit in a second here. Uh, we're gonna go find Nagamo. There's a bunch of NPCs you can speak to. The correct answer is none of them. What you actually want to do is run up here, ignore this fight spawn, and just hit this trigger here. We go to the top of the hill. So, we're going to go grab a piece of equipment. We are going to use one of the safes, because the safe key is right next to it. This piece of equipment is very, very bloody strong. Go up here, grab you. Turn around, grab this safe here. It's going to get us the bloody binding. 
Who the fuck's DMing me on Twitch right now? Yes, Arf. That's just something important. Like, Come on. I'm going to go into my menu and I'm going to equip the bloody binding. I probably could have waited until the next, uh, next chapter, but it's fine. I drank my CC lemon. I want to make sure I hold it and then drink the rest of it right here. We get interrupted by the same guy that interrupted us back in Kamarocho about the trouble missions. And then we head up here. Good. This is going to be a pain in the ass fight. Very pain in the ass fight. Uh, this fight goes a lot nicer with the new method taking out fights. Not with the old one that I'm using. Want to hit Master Zoe? That's not Master Zoe. Sucks, because now I have to deal with him the old-fashioned way, which is Flowerpots. So, the important thing in this fight, do not, under any circumstances, take care of the ads. Master Zoe's mid-fight QTE uh, brings all the ads back to life. So you want to make sure that you do not, under any circumstances, make sure that you take him out. You want to make sure you take him out before he summons his ads again. Uh, charge and collateral. Don't forget. And the Beads of Good Fortune, my dude. Hey, I've seen that guy. Well, I was going through, but I didn't. Lateral. Charge. I should have waited till I went to the shop, actually, because then I could have done everything in one menu. Idiot. Yep. Oh, that's the wrong door, but Q usually, like, course corrects. Here's a good fortune. That'll give us a little bit of an attack buff as well. And uh, obviously put those on at the same time. That's going to raise our attack just enough for what we want over the course of the run. Uh, I did not want a short beer, but I guess I take it. I wanted a CC lemon, but this beer will do. I should have drunk it from this one, to be honest, if I was going for the beer. Yeah, this fight is a bit finicky. This is uh, this is some dragon engine ash shenanigans coming up right here. So the best weapon in this fight is one of the hardest to get. Uh, it is the plant at the back right. So we're gonna run past everybody and pray that we don't lose the plant as we come out. Beautiful. Good fight. Very good fight. Very, very good fight. Yeah, infinite wealth should absolutely uh, do more numbers than LAD, which is kind of fucking wild. We also know that LAD's like sales overseas, like not Japan, was like, I think it was, is it 1.3 million or something like that? Kind of wild. Kind of very wild. Anyway. Taxi time. Kind of very, very wild. Nice to see the game get, you know, a bunch of love and respect. Oops, two. two. Three in the finale. Three in the finale. Two until the finale. Yeah. <laughs> I, keep, I keep doing the wrong one. Yeah. This is not a different chapter, so I can I can take, obviously, CC Lemon into this chapter. I was hoping for a Gold Taxi here. Gold Taxi here is fantastic. Because here I say family office is, like, so far away. No car has appeared behind me now. There was still a chance that the taxi could have spawned behind me. The car spawn was a bit late, but... I'm just going to have to run all the way over here. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Uh. That's where we're going to taxi to Hana no Kubo. Up by four, I believe. Right. Also, the nice thing about Yakuza 6, uh, in the other Yakuza speedruns in the Dragon Engine, uh, if there's text, it's quicker to skip it by mashing. But in this game, it's not quicker to skip it by mashing because of the fact that everything is voiced. So mashing doesn't actually make skipping text go faster in this game. Kind of nice. Kind of very nice, actually. These number hits will be fine for what I need them for anyway. So, in this bit, we are supposed to follow Kiyomi and go a different pathway. You can see there's an enemy spawn up ahead. You can actually go that way if you beat those enemy spawns. But unironically enough, the correct path to go and the quickest one is actually the the actual just normal path. You just want to do the path that Kiyomi would take you down anyway. Kind of wild. Kind of wild, but it is what it is.
have a fight here. Thankfully, there is, should be, a bin on our right-hand side coming up that we're going to be grabbing. Fuck you. It's really far away from each other, this sucks. Nice, he walked forward. I started walking forward, so I was hoping he would, like, actually come towards me there so I could take them both out the last hit. They kind of all spread and I got punched at the start of that fight, so that fight kind of sucked. But, it worked out. It worked out, so that'll do. And with the buffs that we've got with uh, bloody the collateral and also the beads of good fortune, should be able to take out the next fight in just two minutes. Should. You can get very, very obscenely overpowered uh, in this here video game. Uh, but because I have eight hits left on this beer, I should have enough and shouldn't need to replenish my attacks. You need four at most. That's a sub story. We cannot avoid walking past this area like for the entirety of the run, so we just trigger it here. Also, if you're wondering why I'm going like to the left hand side of the taxis, uh, you have to go to the left hand side of park taxis in this game. The taxis that are god taxis, you can just go to the right hand side, but for park taxis, it has to be the left hand side. Weird little, weird little thing that they fixed in like, you know, future RGG games. Excuse me. Not hit Tagashira, that sucks. I really want to hit Tagashira first. Tagashira is the one that has more defense in this fight, so he requires a bit more a bit more persuasion to go down. I think I can still do that, but faster than that. And we have a second Masazoe fight coming up. So what we're going to do. I'm sure you a bit. See him ahead of us. Going to use either the cone or the bike on our right hand side. The bike. Again, much like the previous fight, do not take care of all the ads before you take care of Masazoe. Vitally important that you do that. And then you can use the cone for everybody else. Because the cone actually is a pretty... It's pretty close range. You can see the arc on it is really good. Like, really, really good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Next level up here is Clan Creator. I should have gone the top route here. Because you can get a very, very small chance for God Taxi. But that's fine. Also, uh... It wasn't uncapped. It was still, like, capped at 30 FPS. But it was, like... It was still, like, unlocked. Whoops. Tax location? Yeah, numb nuts. So that guy on the left-hand side in a little bit. Hey, Joe. Actually, this isn't Joe. Joe's after this, but I forgot. Because we have to do Clan Creator first, obviously. Yo. All right. B... Can't create time. Here it is. Here it is. All right, so for this bit, this is where we first figured out about, you know, holding our attack buff for a long period of time with obviously the beer instead of CC Lemon. CC Lemon is on a timer. That timer will not last long enough for what we want of it in this bit. So we found out instead if we use, you know, just a basic beer with a less, like, Attack damage value up, it still gives us the damage that we need and allows us to just, you know, do these fights. Dash attack, good. I don't think I've said that enough yet. Dash attack, very good. So, this is your introduction to Clan Creator. You are wondering, this version of Clan Creator is so much nicer for speedrunning. Uh, the Clan Creator in K2 is bad for speedrunning. I do like both of them casually. Fuck Clan Creator, though. <clears throat> like, fuck K2's Clan Creator and its speedrun. It bad. It's very bad. But for this one, there is a new actual strat for this Clan Creator, and I actually don't remember what it is. Let's go do the old-fashioned way that won't lose me any time. I'm going to summon the first guy here. 
He's going to start taking care of enemies. Second guy, their purpose. We want to bring them here because we need to get this guy's attention. Uh, getting the boss's attention. That's bad. I need Joe, because he has a skill called the ultimate dropkick, to go punch the last guy. He needs to hit this dropkick on this enemy. He has a lot of HP and he just takes ages to go down otherwise. He also takes ages to go down because he's just on the floor. Yo, he's one hit, please. Thank you. It's a normal enemy. Ideally, you want, like, nearer a 426, 427, 430-ish. Like, 423 is not good, but... Right. have a fight afterwards. I quite like this fight because like the enemies are color coded in Clan Crater, and they're exactly the same here. So we're trying to save this person on the left. She's not mind the sign. I want the sign. Thank you very much. This guy sucks because he went the other way. Um, they all die in one hit. <laughs> Again. Like, having an attack buff is wild. It is so busted. There's a couple of NJPW and future non AG NJPW uh, wrestlers right there, including Okada the Rainmaker. Yeah. You actually get to fight them in this game. They have their signature themes, etc. I do need to do a level up here, so... 139 and Machine 1 and 2. This substory is also blocking the way a good couple of times up here. There's nothing we can do about it, so we're just going to go past it. Yeah. So, 139, machine 1 and 2. That's the important stuff here. So. It's fine, I'm a little off. You can be a little off. It's fine. So, vending machine drink 1 and 2. This is upgrades that are not available in any other RGG game. Uh, they are fantastic. They, if you have a time limit on your drink, every level increases it by 30 seconds, and it also increases the potency of whatever the drink does. So say you have CC Lemon, it's now even stronger. Remember how much it is per level, but I want to say it's like 5%. It's a lot. If you consider there's 5 levels of it, it adds up. It might even be 10%. I'm not actually 100% certain on the actual percentages, but yeah. It makes CC Lemon better and last longer, which is absolutely wild. I recognize this guy as well. That is goddamn Beat Takeshi right there. The Beat Takeshi. In the role of this video game, he is haha -ha funny grandpa. Hey, anyway, super cool set piece right now. We've got to rescue Kyomi. Somia is in town and taking Kyomi. I want to use these plants. I don't know why I'm racing like a race car and not actually grabbing anything. I got pushed by Nagano at the start. That sucks, my dude. Ideally, the plants are really good because they're like wide arcing swing compared to everything else. Ideally, just grab them. I should have gone the other side, honestly. I love throwing objects in the Dragon Engine. It's fun. It's great. <laughs> really is. Uh, you are on a race against time with your buff here. For this bit, we have to go into every room. There's like a story trigger inside every room. Uh, some of these rooms will have enemies. If one of them is alive, you can leave the smaller enemies to Nagamo. I do not recommend leaving the larger ones to Nagamo. Please. Thanks. We have to go into every room. And you can see I'm trying to get, like, a specific angle to try and obviously get, like, both enemies with a drop kick. Because of collateral, if I can hit both enemies, they'll both take a little bit of extra damage. Which is going to help on the next floor for the larger enemies. The next floor really sucks in this place. It's probably, like, the hardest one for the speedrun. Just because of the, uh, the larger enemies. Uh, if one of the larger enemies does have, you know, a tiny bit of HP left, I'll leave them for Nagmo. But Nagmo should hopefully take care of that guy. Again, ideally you can collateral both of them. Or ideally, like, kick the furniture. I'm going to leave Nagmo for that guy, and I'm hoping he'll do it, but he might not. Hear him fighting. 
He's done. Yeah, he's done. That's good. Uh, my angle so far has been pretty bad for the majority of these enemies. You can see how like I hit them both there and got obviously extra damage. Oh great. It's not been a good set piece so far. Definitely not been a good set piece so far. Anyway, we're gonna do the RG thing of half of our team is gonna disappear and deal with one guy. That's a Nagamo run up to the top floor. RG really like reusing this trope. A lot. <laughs> ah! Thanks. Thanks, man. Alright, up we go. So, depending on if you are on PC or console, you have to do this bit differently. I believe it's the bench for PC. Uh, you can use the plant that's next to the door on console. But because of FPS shenanigans, if you try and get that plant over there on the left, uh, you can actually break it on the way down here into this cutscene, which seems weird. But essentially, we grab the bench and go a little bit to the left so that we don't collide the bench with, like, the other bench or the wall. And that way we can bring the bench into this next fight. It's good. But they very clearly do not have it. And they, they definitely don't. Alright. Ikji is the annoying one. You want to make sure you at least hit him with the first hit. That's a good second swing. I should probably hit that guy. Wow, he actually got caught with that. I'm stunned. He actually walked to the right just far enough. I'm really stunned about that. He should not have gotten hit by that. Ikji is the annoying one. That's why I wanted them dead. Uh, I've got a lot of attack buff left here. That's nice. You want, ideally, your attack buff to last for at least the start of this fight for the first three enemies. Uh, any any leftover you've got is really nice. You'll see the attack buff is going down in this cutscene. So I don't have that long. This is why the two level ups for it are super important. And yeah, you want to take care of at least these three with this first hit. And then hopefully... He will say runs over, and we can deal with him as well. Because he also sucks. Uh, at this point, just try and get the other plant and just try and go swing everybody. Because, like, everyone here is, like, you know, normal ads, so they're going to go down in, like, one hit. So like, that guy's... I thought this guy had, like, taken, like, a bit of damage before, but apparently not. Cool. Again, with the next boss, uh, if you are running this with the proper strats with, um... Mouse wheel strats, it goes a lot faster than what I'm about to do, but I'm going to have to do the old-fashioned method. Or you go into this fight without using your EX. You want all of your EX for extreme heat mode. Oh, here we go. Not too hard of a fight. The old-fashioned method isn't too hard either. Uh, what you want to do, you can see this is my movement hand. You can see it is currently not on the controller. What we want to do is go into our EX mode and spam light attacks because the position that we're in is perfect for both. So, and then we go grab a piece of furniture and use strong attacks against Somia. Most Somia fights in this game, remember, the second phase has a little bit of iframes to it. So wait a couple of seconds. You can move to the right and try and push into the left this way. Didn't fight too fast. Good fight. Why does it save time there? I keep losing time in this set piece. But this is where I start losing time in the video game. Alright. That is the end. Chapter 5. Cool. Once again, we're just going to rush into a whole bunch of really fast paced boss fights. It's time for the Hot Ones appearance chat. He is coming. Oh, my. If we're inside the uh, University family or how I doubt, it's a little bit faster to go this way to get the taxi. Screw any chances of going for a gold taxi. If you don't get a gold taxi, you have to like, go a bit further. It would be really annoying if we were to go back to... Hello, gold taxi. If we were to go back to our apartment and have Joe tell us, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we went to Kamarocha and did Clan Crater? Uh-huh. Right, we're going to collect camera right now.
attack up to 145. Beautiful. Uh, heat action is level 2. And machine 3. And round. So the nice thing is, there is actually a... I'm going to have to get rid of these groups. Enemies are a bit too close to the vending machine I want to use. Uh, there is actually CC Lemon right here. And with all the machine upgrades we've got, this will last long enough. Just chug it now. Yep. It will last long enough. So, Nangamo and Yuta have never been to the big city before. So they're very, like, you know, amazed by all the neon lights. Blah, blah, blah. We gotta make sure they don't get lost on their way through here. Uh, Yuta's gonna need to go for a shit. Obviously, there's the public restrooms at the top left, but he tries this popo. So we're like, hey, we know somewhere where he could quickly go for, you know, a whiz. And that's good old Stardust. Nagamo, out of my way. Unfortunately, we find out that Stardust has been taken over by the Jingwon Mafia. Specifically, by this hot piece of flesh. By God, look at the guy. God fucking damn. I believe you lost head trauma. Love, sir. Uh, in this bit, ideally, I would like to get into a fight. Sounds weird, but I would ideally like this guy, this set of guys to get into a fight. Me. Please, thank you. Reason being is that we can now use this to bring a weapon with us into the next fight. Make things go a little bit faster. But I want to make sure that I grab this fight here. Specifically this one, because the other one's a bit too far away. Good. As long as we get here fast enough, we'll have the bike going into this bit here. There's a bunch of enemies that are all going to surround us quickly, including these three, which I'm not going to deal with, but they're already dead. So at this point, I'm hoping that all the enemies will now like get a bit closer to me, so I can just spin. If there's a lot of enemies left, which there will be, you can either go and get another bike, or throw enemies. Throwing enemies in this game is a very, very viable strategy. Which a lot of the enemies are just kind of chilling on the outside of the arena right now. And don't forget, dash attack, good. As our strong attacks. That was a bad fight. Yeah, there were so many enemies there that just didn't commit to coming into the fight. Enemy head Stardust. Uh, I believe this is an area trigger. If there is a fight spawn, I think we're fine. Oops, person by accident. Uh -huh. I think this is an area trigger. Might be wrong. About to find out. It's area trigger. Alright. Doongi hand. Round one. Oh, so his abs are true. Uh, get started straight away. Around the EX. And do it again. Right over. I need to punch him. Sometimes the Dragon Engine needs you to attack them again to get them into their next phase. But at this point, fight done. This is bin liner. This Jungi Han knows he's too hot to be hit down with a bin liner. I hate the fact that you did that because I was trying to hit my split key. <laughs> Jackass. Okay. Good shit. That. All right. We have some really cool speed tech coming up in this next bit. Really, really cool speed tech coming up in this next bit in the next uh, set piece that's coming up. Uh, when we go down here, there is another sub-story that we just can't avoid. It is the Snake Flower Triad. You might recognize that name. Boy, be funny if any of them were still alive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, because hey, gameplay-wise, very much yes. Story-wise, somewhat. I'm not talking story stuff, because that's spoilers for people who haven't played it yet. I don't like talking story stuff of, like, you know, future games. Alright. So, we were here to find Tatsuka because we think that Tatsuka might be the baby daddy for the Haruto, who the Haruka had relations with whilst we were in jail, but it is not him. And he's dead. Little, little bit of an issue, that. There's Datty. Should be Turkey Datty. So we're going to head back to New Serena. We're going to formulate a new plan which requires Aki Allen. Fight spawn? Good. Fun fact uh, if you get Fight Spawn right here in Nexus Taxi on the PS4 version, uh, you can actually have it glitch out. It's fucking hilarious. 
be really annoying to get all this way and have Joe interrupt us and tell us to do clan crate, all right? Fuck off, Joe. <sighs> Fuck off, Joe. So we need to take a little bit of a quick attack drink here for the next fights. Go down the alleyway here and grab a CC lemon from the first vending machine. Issue with that is it can cause uh, it can cause enemies to spawn outside of Serena. With this time though. There is CC lemon here at this one, but you would need more time to drink it before you got to Serena's door. Ideally you drink the first one. Well, very much appreciate it. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people who, like, aren't watching my, like, Infinite Wealth streams for obvious reasons. I, if you really want to know my, like, thoughts on Infinite Wealth, uh, you should go over to Devellian 7's YouTube channel. Uh, because they actually, we did a spoiler cast together with a bunch of other really cool so RDG content creators with Gokodoni and Snowiest Angie Man. Because we, we were the ones that finished the game at the time. Um... So we all got together for a big old spoiler cast and talked about what we liked, what we didn't like. Somebody tried to dunk on me in the comments and said, Well, I fucking hate this Froove guy's opinion. I watched his entire playthrough. Doubt. But he always comes at it from the mind of a speedrunner. Yes, yeah, the 21st of February and I haven't yet speedrun Infinite Wealth. Shut the fuck up. All my complaints are coming from a place of casual, not from speedrun, you dipshit. But even with me saying in the discussion that, you know... I'm coming at this from a casual playthrough and not a speedrunner case. I still had people going, Oh, but you're a speedrunner. You're biased towards the speedrun. I haven't done the fucking speedrun. Sit the fuck down. Come on. So that comment, that comment pissed me the fuck off. On that, like, it's very clear that person did not watch my, like, casual playthrough. Like, guess who streamed 95 hours of that game without speedrunning the damn thing with COVID the entire fucking time? Guess who literally stopped one stream one day because he started thinking about the speedrun in the middle of it and decided, hey, I don't want to do that. It was this guy. Fuck uh, that right. comment? Yep, uh, fuck that comment. Uh, it's Devellian 7's channel. Uh, if a mod is around to link that video, you can. Reminder, users don't link the video, you'll get bot by the bot. Ask for permission first. <laughs> I did retweet it on my Twitter the other day. So you can go to my Twitter and find it that way as well. Got taxi! Oh, but it's the worst time! Ah, oh, you fucker, you couldn't have been here afterwards. Can I, can I get to Theater Square from you, actually? Uh, yes. I actually don't think this is faster. I actually don't think this one's faster. I think that's actually slower. Fuck, if that taxi was here on the way out, it'd be so much fucking better. That is actually a big hitbox, though. Mm, I can't tell. If that taxi was here on the way out of this next bit, it'd be a lot better. It'd be a lot, lot better. The next one is a god taxi. That one is a... It's all right. <laughs> I'm going to save you too much time. It was a good watch. Appreciate it. do appreciate it a lot. There was one comment... Uh, in the actual comments of that video that made me laugh. I know it was made the others laugh as well. Who were like, for the first, like, oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh, that's also bad. Fuck, my, my actual, like, weapons. Here's the bin. You're suck. Is some dragons resurgence going on? What the fuck? <laughs> that was such a bad fight. That's lost me so much time. I think the taxis lost me time as well. Uh, time for product placement. Say hello to the Apple Hotel. Apple Hotel. Rise up. Details afterwards, actually. That's also product placement. So, uh, Rise Up is actually like an actual chain of gyms in Japan. Um, the whole, like, you know how Kiryu poses, like, you know, all forlorn and then all, like, buff afterwards? They do that in real life. Like, they actually do that in real life. Nice. Um, very so, very nice. much product placement. <laughs> I can buy steroids here if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I don't need them. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, there was a comment on the uh, the spoiler cast video that did make me laugh. Uh, somebody pointed out that for the first hour and, like, 13 minutes or however long we took to discuss the gameplay stuff, we were specifically not going into plot spoilers, despite the fact that, as we kind of realized, it's a spoiler cast. 
<laughs> we make it very clear that there are going to be big spoilers for the game in the Agile video, and we're just like, eh. <laughs> we, tr we try and not mention the spoilers at all until we get to the plot bit. It's like, why? <laughs> get my attack to 158 at this point. Follow taxi? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Bad taxi. Bad taxi. That false habit? No, like, we, we were literally like, even though we said at the very start, we were just like, you know, hey, this is a spoiler cast, there will be plot spoilers. The first, like, hour, we were like, we wanted to talk certain characters, and it was like, we just like, kind of like, poked around them all. Like, you know, man, I love that this thing is back from LED, but I don't like the fact that they don't have this thing, and it's like, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> we we should have just gone like, full spoilers, because, you know, spoiler cast. But... I laughed so fucking much. Like, Develian put together, like, the uh, the talking plan for the spoiler cast, and literally the first thing in the bad part was, like, gameplay, and, like, literally in brackets, it was take it away through. But I am being called the fuck out, and rightfully so. <laughs> Develian knew I would have issues with Infinite Wealth's combat, and damn fucking right. Not many issues, but a couple of big ones. I am mad that they took away skill shortcuts. RGG, why the fuck did you do that? Palmates did not need to be on a separate button. You could have kept Palmates in the etc. In the etc. Uh, menu. Alright, so. This is what we're gonna do. Bring the CC diamond here. Make a hard save. Slot 30. Uh, do I load here? I do load here, right? Hold on. Uh, save, load. Yep. It's uh, me messing up already. So what we're gonna do is this is the Akiyama glitch. So you see Akiyama is at the start of Little Asia there. See the Akiyama's with us here. Wait for the HUD to come back. We are going to load the same save again. You'll see Akiyama is inside and outside. There are currently two Akiyamas. We now need to load one more time. You'll see what this does in a sec. You'll see this should hopefully work if I haven't fucked it up. I may have fucked it up. Good. So, where's Akiyama? Chat, where's Akiyama? Anybody, anybody know where Akiyama is? So by doing this, we have made it so that Akiyama has mysteriously disappeared, which means we don't have to wait on Akiyama to walk past at all in this section. It also means we don't have to wait at certain points like the next bit that are supposed to make us wait, and then we can't get past, say, you know, the chef. Oh, oh who's opening this door? Whoa. Whoa, spooky ghost. Whoa, spooky ass ghost. What the fuck? How the hell is that door opening on its own? Like, huh? That's weird. Someone was speaking to me, but they're not. So yeah, Akiyama's supposed to be here, but because he's not, we can just walk forward and just ignore this whole bit. Yeah. So let's go up to the next floor. Remember, Akiyama says, you know, don't get caught. Like, very important not to get caught. But again, like, where's... Where's Akiyama? Where is Akiyama? There he is! He was on my head the whole time. That's the Akiyama glitch. I don't know why this happens. Not fully. Oh, we actually killed the both of the ants? Fuck yeah, maybe. I actually think I'd be killing both of the ants. So, essentially, when you do this, and you can run in this bit, by the way. Um, what happens is, is Akiyama's in two places at once. He's inside the set piece, and he's outside the set piece. And when you load it again, it counts him as being, like, outside the set piece. Or, like, something like that. So he's not in the way, and he's not here. And then when you load that bit in, he's supposed to be in the fight. I'm surprised I still have this sword with me. Kinda need the sword to go away. Kinda not need the sword. Oi, oi! What Sword could piss off. That'd be great. I should drop it because I need to get rid of that sword right now. Very important for this next room. 
Very important. Extreme heat. Otherwise, this table breaks. I don't want the chair, you fuck. Table. Oh, no. Oh. It also increases our damage, but it's very important. If you extreme heat, you don't lose the table. If if you do not extreme heat, the table will just break. When you pick it up and try and move it around. For some reason, in extreme heat, it just stays with us. Couldn't fucking tell you why. It just do. Anyway. How's the rope ladder moving on its own? Chat, what's, what's happening? <laughs> like, the heck? Oh, this last user in Nagano. And it's, uh, you know, just, just us up here. Like, Akiyama just, you know, went off to do something else in this F piece. Like, there's no one here. Yama doesn't exist. Just ask RGG. RGG. No, there's no more Akiyama anymore. Uh, for later on in the run, I'm going to grab the Sound NX X because we need heat restoring items for certain points. This fight kind of fucking sucks if it wants to. Uh, we're going to be running forward and we're going to be doing the ye olde grab person and spin. Ideally grabbing furniture and not getting stunned by this guy. Or stunned by anybody else. Or kicked around a bit with the furniture. That's why this bit sucks. Make sure you try and kill the guy that has HP because he just stuns you constantly. You'll see an enemy is ahead of me, Gia. Uh, he likes to get stuck. Some enemies AI uh, in the Dragon Engine doesn't fully stop. It's weird. They actually dealt with their enemies on their side really quickly. That doesn't usually happen. At least not to me. I'm kind of happy about that. But it's important we have our attack buff for the start of this next fight. That's why this is all like super tight timing wise. A lot of these set pieces are tight timing wise. Oh, here's Ed. You have to hear more of Ed's amazing theme here. Good bonds. It's great. It's like actually one of my favorite like RGG battle themes. Who that? Oh. Hey. All right, we're gonna put a fear of chairs into Ed. Get fucked, Ed. Once again. Remember at the start of this next phase, there is a couple of seconds of invulnerability that Ed has. So give it a second before you attack. God, I love this epi so much. So this bit's weird. If you're on uh, if you're on console, uh, you can just hit him once and he'll go into the final phase. On PC, we actually have to use a heat attack to make it go there faster. Pretty weird. Don't know why it's like that, but it is like that. Even though he's like, you know, on one HP and he is at that point where he should be going to his NAS phase. Hmm. Yeah. I'm about to start losing time. There it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, fuck. I'm dying. Again. <laughs> Keeps happening. Also, weirdly on console, Ed is like really passive in this bit, but on PC, he just charges you straight away. Again, ideally just like grab furniture, hit with furniture. The person to watch out for is, is dude. That guy. That guy sucks. Oh, I know I didn't hit that with my damage buff. Please. Bad. Very bad ending. Terrible. Very terrible. Oh, hey, there he is. There's Akiyama. Oh, that's the Akiyama glitch. It actually saves you a bunch of time in the set piece. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny that it actually just saves you a shit ton of time because you just despawn Akiyama out of existence. Sorry, Akiyama. <laughs> okay, this is chapter eight. Yep, so I need attack 166 and vending machine four. An ultimate upgrade. We actually know it's not the penultimate upgrade, it's the second to last upgrade. Came out the next one. One, two, three. And because we again need our vending machine drink to last as long as possible for this next match. This is like again, every every subsequent set piece after like the like previous one, the timing on your CC London gets tighter and tighter. So we want to be very careful. That's why we're gonna be walking the CC London to the taxi in this bit. Shut up, Sonia. Tojokai no Ningen never can't get any. Remind me, you can't know Shabby of Sumerian. 
all good. Yeah, and as I said, most of the taxis in this game are literally like the top or the bottom of the list. Like, like the taxi list is not hard to remember in this game at all. This is either like we have a lot of people like ask us, you know, what's what's a good like yak as a run to learn first if you're interested. This is one of them. There's a lot of them now. It used to only be essentially like K2 and a couple of others. This one is very much a very good run to learn first. That shit is my fault exactly, boys. Bad hit to begin with. Alright, so I jammer through this. Yeah, there's a lot of good runs that you can learn as your first Yakuza run. Uh, as I said, obviously this, K2, 0, K1. K1 has a little bit of issues at first because you have to beat the Majima fight. Uh, but once you learn the trick behind that fight, it's very easy with a little bit of practice. Um, 3 is pretty decent. Um... Four is actually pretty decent as well, if you can stomach Yak as a four. Um, Lost Judgment is great. There's a lot of good ones. Play for the rock. There we go. This is one of those, again, that if you get, like, a good angle here, you can take out, like, multiple enemies at the same time. That's good. You, and then grab you, break you. This one, we want to keep moving until we get hit by the second rock. Stunned. One, two, wait, go. Timing is different on console than it is PC for this bit. A lot easier on console. You can just go on console. It's weird how it's different on PC. I don't know why it's different on PC, but it is. Anyway, it's Hangman. The first, not the last. Turn to the right, grab the barrel. I'm going to spin Hangman twice. I'm glad that he's here because he doesn't move anywhere. That's good. Oh. Double pinging me phone. Appreciate it. Got the barrel. Got the ladder that's just formed. You might be wondering what happens if you get knocked down by Hangman. Uh, you have to go back up and then you have that happen again anyway. So, yeah, it's quicker just to go all the way over and then, obviously, fight him once and then twice. It's weird. It is what it is. I will have to check that out after I'm done with this run. The first hit. Funnily enough, this isn't too bad if you only get like two enemies for the first hit, because the third hit will always break the drum on that barricade right there. I hate this next part of the set piece. There's one enemy here that has like a giant amount of HP. He's a pain in the ass. A pain in the ass. I'll probably replace this with the free hit sledge over there, but good hit on that guy. Shame about you. These guys also, yes, they act like zombies. Don't ask why. <laughs> oh, damn it. Wasn't close enough to the side to hit both parts of the barricade. Hangman's down there. You can see him down there. He's having a good sleep. And so the whole reasons why you want your attack buff to last is for this fight, the next fight, and the last fight. Which is genuinely quite hard to do. A couple of larger enemies in this fight that you really want to try and take care of first. Are you a dash attack? So you are helping us out a little bit. Oh, fuck you. It's one of those guys you do want to take care of about. What the fuck is going on? Phone, shut up. He indeed. Shen, you for the year 38 months. I appreciate it. That's an interesting email. Ooh. My phone buzzing right now. Now is not the time. My phone buzzing. So because we still have our attack buff, Hangman goes down very quickly. What? How did he survive that? How did that man survive that hit? Fuck you, my dude. Actually, fuck you, my dude. Um, I 
Anyway, at the very least, we've broken the side hammer, so I don't have to worry about dropping that for a little bit of extra movement speed. Running the wrong way. God damn it. Uh, ideally, you keep the attack buff for the start of the next fight. It's very hard to do. Like, it's very hard to do. If you are using the actual correct method of doing fights, at this point, you would obviously just do scroll wheel once and you would win because you still have the attack buff. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to use table do as much damage to Sonya as I can while I still have this attack buff. If it lasts until the second phase, we can kill him in another two hits. Otherwise, I will have to do a little bit more damage. There is a bottle here. I mentioned the bottle earlier. This is the fight where the bottle is actually really good. Push him to the left. It's should be enough. Good shit. Good Somia fight. Good set piece. That's a real gold. That's a good gold right there. Oh, damn. Ooh, get my attack buff as well. For what is essentially a D-Rust of this, this is going surprisingly well. This is actually going scarily well. I fucking love Yak as a sixes run. Yak's sixes run is fucking great. Yak sixes run is I love this run. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, Shannon. Thank you for the 38 months. I appreciate it. So we're now going to head back to Otomichi. We go back to Serena. Uh, I said it earlier, folks. I will repeat it. Uh, I will give you Rugby Baby, but I will give you Rugby Baby after the run. This is currently very, very PB pace. So I will give it to you after the run is done. It's chapter 9, right? Yeah, it's chapter 9, so I need... Uh, where are we? Counts counter. Hopefully I have enough. Sometimes you don't. Yep, yeah, boost heat max. Sometimes, very rarely, you don't have enough for boost heat max. It's not too bad if you don't get it here. You can get it in a little bit. Platoon DLC to die. Oh, God. Realized Platoon had more DLC. This bit's weird. This bit, we have to rely on Yuta and Nagamo to actually, you know, do shit. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is going to do the usual. Grab him, throw him, try and take care of as many enemies as possible. And then leave them to them. You need all the enemies dead before the last fight actually spawns in this bit. We're going to take care of the rest of these. And hopefully by the time we're done with these guys, Yuta and Nagamo will have dealt the two behind us. That's a bad start because now these two are probably going to yep, move. That gives those two a little bit more time to deal with the enemies behind me. Essentially, we get fight spawns at like every single like part. The one after this one doesn't spawn until all the enemies are dealt with. That's what we need you and Nagamo to deal with the other guy for. The curious ass again. I said this before. The um the best part of my run of this for GDQ, uh, the Yeti, the uh, obviously the company they partner with for shirts and stuff. Uh, they were in chat during this run, uh, and they posted in chat. The only thing they posted was Peach emoji. Finger pointing left. Real. I feel that. So remember what I said earlier. Certain weapons in the Dragon Engine for at least Yakuza 6 are a little bit different. Every weapon has free hits. But we have benches in this fight which are free hits into free hits. There's also a fight where one of the enemy's AI will not start. Which is a pain in the ass. I also wanted Makino over by me because I want to deal with, obviously, the two enemies that have Arch HP bars. I'm going to hope that they deal with that guy while I deal with the guy whose AI hasn't started. Hey, Moto, Bye, Moto. They did. Good. If they hadn't, the fight wouldn't have been over. Honestly, like, this fit is so good for Kiryu. And, like, the only thing with this fit is that he took off the jacket. All he did was take off the jacket. This is the usual pants and shirt. And yet it works. It works so well. It's amazing. <laughs> Actually amazing. Uh, this bit is a little time gated for obviously your attack drink, but you have an opportunity to get another one if you don't have enough. But you shouldn't have like any problems with that, but if you do, it's fine. We get a little bit of backstory on Somio and Kiyomi's relationship. Nagamo didn't like that. It's fine. Nagamo's actor is a piece of shit in real life. So at this point, we are supposed to figure out how to find Patriarch Hiroshi. The person with the correct answer is Yuta. The person you want to talk to is Nagamo. Nagamo has the least amount of dialogue out of anyone, and we can still go to the actual place we need to go to. His ass grew in size. It's true. Right, so whilst they stay in the bar, we gotta find Patriarch Hiroshi. Fun fact, Nagamo's answer is not actually the incorrect answer. Uh, we just have to go to... Ooh, that's bad. This is... I think this is an error trigger, but I don't trust it. Because we have to go into... Like, we actually have to go up to the door. and trust that. I could have saved Logan. 
Uh, if you're on PS4, sometimes this cutscene doesn't load. To make it load, you have to go to the back here ahead of time, and then go back to the door, and then back here again. Don't ask. Shit's weird. Shit's real weird. PS4 version of this game doesn't load very well. Try take it from the guy who speed ran it for like a year and a half before it came to PC. Let's get to it. Yep. Should do that at this point. This bit's just weird. There's no like great weapons to use against them. Apart from themselves. I'm just gonna grab him and just fall. Grab you and throw you towards the others. I mean that works as well, I guess. <laughs> that actually works surprisingly well. I could have just attacked and that would have also worked well, but that, that actual part of throw actually legit worked. Hit two of them. Kind of surprised. Appreciate that, Kimchi. Appreciate that a bunch. We will be rolling the Jingu Wheel another time after this run, by the way. So there will be another run after this one. What it is, nobody knows. There's also one of those times where, you know, God Taxi. Ah, uh, God Taxi. Taxi. Uh, it's not too much of a god taxi because obviously we just run to this one uh, and we want the West National Route 2. If you're low on CC Lemon at this point, you can grab some from the vending machine to your right. Funnily enough, uh, we used to do this a different way on PS4, but because of um, shenanigans, we can't get the bike that's next to the taxi. And we actually, because of that, found a better one. <laughs> As you do. Uh, before we grab the taxi, don't forget to go into your EX mode. Gives you a little bit of extra damage. Turn, spin, hit Kush Vision. You see me, my dude? Okay, fine. We'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Sometimes, you don't go into their EX mode unless you come out of your EX mode. I don't know why. It's a bit weird. It's a bit stupid. It is what it is. Anyway, Kush Vision doesn't have iframes. Boop. And does have speed. A lot of speed. Anyway, as said, this is the Rugby Baby cutscene coming up. I will play it after the run, because this is very much PB pace right now. I guarantee you I will play it. I will play it once we have uh, once we have finished the run. So we now get a fight with the men in black, which is a reference to obviously the Jingwon Mafia. It is the Jingwon Mafia. A very clever, subtle reference that. Didn't even think about that before this started. Uh, again, benches six hits. Absolutely beautiful. Walk forward, spin. Watch them all crumble. Oh, fuck you, Dragon Engine, you piece of shit. They actually all gathered together really well. Catch! Oh, oh that would have been really fucking good. <laughs> right, no Rugby Baby yet. Yeah, I'll show you Rugby Baby later. Goongi Han got he's fucking hot. So, unfortunately for Jungi Han, we spawn next to two benches again. Doesn't matter if you use them in the last fight, they respawn. Oops. But doing that actually makes him not guard. Do you think this would be a damage QT? It's not. About to damage him in the face, though. Bye bye. Come here. One more. Nice. I still don't know how I lost like 10 seconds in my PB to this bit, because this bit's like. So simple. <laughs> it must have been the fight before Jungi Han, because Jungi Han always goes the same way each time. Alright, so after Jungi Han 2, my attack goes up to 180. Or 178, because I don't have enough points. Whatever. As long as it's 178 or 180, you are fine. Again, God Taxi's not too important here, because obviously we just use this taxi right here. Hanano Kubo, which is up by three at this point. Uh, the Ropeway Express taxi is not available at night. So it makes it so that it's faster to go up the taxi list rather than down the taxi list. God, I fucking love this run. Really do. Okay, you'll get to see Rugby Baby later. This is just, it's PB pace. We're very close to this bottom part here, so it's a bit quicker to run down here rather than obviously run up to the top. Uh, we are also going to grab our next CC Lemon about the spite spawn. It actually unaggroes with Nagamo talking to us here, which is weird. No, carry it. Carry it. Don't mount the bike. Grab the bike. My movement is a little too good, so I'm going to intentionally spin there. I did that so I wouldn't walk into this auto cutscene there. Uh, I went a bit too fast because of the, uh, the whole bike incident. 
next bit is not start skippable, so remember that. I kind of hate this set piece, because I really don't know what the best way to deal with this is. Because you have a whole shit ton of enemies. And again, grabbing and throwing enemies is good. But so are the barrels to the left. Like, there are a couple enemies in here, as you can see, that have very large HP bars. And they don't particularly care about being grabbed and thrown. Fuck that guy for hitting me in the back there, because that sucks. Kim really sucks to deal with. Like, Kim is one of those that sucks to deal with. I like using the barrel against them. That's what I was ideally hoping for. Same with you and Choi. <laughs> Two, three. This was actually a lot slower. Barricades. Three weapon attacks, five punches. Uh, the cone is very quick to break that because the cone has a quick attack animation. You hold uh, on TL2 when you just do a strong attack. It's fast as we run. Some things, yes. Oh, that's terrible. It's also terrible that these two are with me because they should not be. Oh, actually, shout out to you. Just taking care of them on his own. No, you just did a good job there. Nice. Uh, I'm going to do something real dumb here. Uh, you can die to this if you do this at the wrong timing. Uh, if you quick step, you actually like cancel your jump here and go straight down. Yes, that's dumb. Shouldn't do that. Why do it anyway? You have to take care of all the ads in phase one and two here. Uh, this is going to be, I believe his name is Yon. Uh, he's going to kick down a couple of explosive barrels to quickly take care of the enemies. The less explosive barrels we have to deal with. So obviously we want to use the sign that we just picked up and obviously the ones to the side as well. You mean welcome to the chat room. Which is breaking. But they end up why. And again, dash attack is just really good. Oh, fuck you, Kang. Yeah, Marvel's not potentially going with Kang for the next big movie now. Not surprised. That ain't good. Move away from that. Downside, I have no weapon right now. Do not, under any circumstances, grab the... Hello, buddy. Grab the uh, bags to the right. Uh, those bags to the right are actually, like, they're kind of like flour slash powder. Uh, they turn up in a couple of set pieces. They make it so that you actually uh, get stunned. Which fucking sucks. They could have cones and barricades. There's one right here. Really fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, damn. I, I mean, it's actually not walking towards the cone because Dragon Engine shenanigans will break this cone. <laughs> you'll, you'll know. You'll have seen. <laughs> Break that. Then we do the RGG thing of they all stay behind for some reason and we go forward. Uh, this bit can fucking suck sometimes. Sometimes you don't get the chain reaction you want from the barrels. That didn't even start the barrel on fire. It did, it just went behind me. I have been hitting the wrong angle for this for a while now. There we go, fucking explode. I could EX and so like... This. Yes. I have not done this properly in a long time. I need to practice this bit again. Uh, we are going to do something funny coming up in uh, the next part of these with the explosive barrels. Uh, for this angle, do not do this diagonally. If you go diagonally, you'll fall in the water and get game over. It's fucking stupid. Grab gun guy. Just any guy and throw them. And hopefully everybody gets you know, somewhat close together. If they're alive, shoot them. <laughs> shoot them! Gun in this game is very good. You don't get that many guns in this game. It's a shame you can't bring it up the ladder with you. So here's what we like to call death strats. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, you cannot die in your EX mode. So I'm going to go into my EX mode. I'm going to fucking run into these. Which is going to cause them to kick them towards me and cause the chain reaction to go off. And that kills all the enemies. As you do. <laughs> okay, it's as usual. God, I fucking love that strap. It's so dumb and it's great. He's still throwing barrels down. This can kind of suck because he's going to take a pot shot at me as I run through and I really don't want him to. Uh, do not use your EX because we want to save it for Jimmy Hand. Fuck you, buddy. Yes, I have an explosive barrel in my hands. It doesn't matter. Remember that with this game, in your EX mode, you have immortality by default. You have to learn it in K2. 
We still have two hits left, so I can just put this down and I'll be fine. He's still alive. He's in breathing. And there we go. It's time to fight the hot one for the third and final time. Again, if you have mouse wheel, mouse wheel strats. I don't know. I don't have good rhythm with the mouse wheel strats currently. So I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. So run past Jungi Han. EX up. Grab Cohen. Spin. Grab over Cohen. Spin. In this QT, we'll get a little bit of our heat back. Ah, he's the other way. Spin. One, two, three. Strong, strong. Hope he ends the fight. I lost some time, not spread. Whew. Cool. That's the end of Jung Gian. Now. For now. Alright. Chapter 11 is just a small set piece, which is nice. Probably gonna lose a little bit of time here, unfortunately. I always do. But we're gonna go back with Yuta to Kamurocho. He has a great idea of how to get the Sartre off his and Haruto's tail. It's not a great idea. He's a dumbass. He's just trying to protect his child, but at the same time, you are a dumbass. Setting fire to the entirety of Little Asia is not the best idea. Especially when you're inside of it. Go taxi me, please. I can literally save like 45 seconds and go taxi here. Yes. Yes. So again, if I have a god taxi here, we can just fast travel to the Hirose family office immediately. This is like one of the better spots for a god taxi. The amount of time you save here is fucking wild. Yeah, no, no, Kuba. This ping is appropriate. It's true. We haven't seen a Beyblade yet. I'm upset about that. For those who don't know, uh, Yaxa 6 has a wild ass fucking ragdolls. Yaxa 6 has really wild ass ragdolls, especially on PC. They're great. I am hoping that you will at some point see a Beyblade. You will know what a Beyblade is if it happens. Trust me on this one. Alright, so head to New Serena. This bit's a bit weird. You can actually soft lock the game here. You gotta be a little careful. You go too fast, like you run straight to the door. So I wait like half a second there and then I go to the door. That table's door. Uh, we're gonna grab the CC lemon that we need on the way. So taxi on over. It's gonna go and set fire to Little Asia, you dumbass. Place still hasn't recovered after all these years. That was me opening the, the uh, tips there, not the. Uh, not like early patch. Early patch does, but that was me. Holding the button. Millennium attack. That's it. All the taxis that you need are at the top of the bottom of the list. It's so easy to remember. Uh, grab our CC limit. Then we want to be a little careful here. The phone call is by the red car coming up. So I like to go like a little out of my way here first and then drink. Timing on it isn't important, but you just want to make sure that you do it. This is the only skippable phone call in the game. From base PS4, sometimes the next cutscene after this one doesn't load in. Are you gonna have on current patch? Yeah, I think you're right. I think I'm not gonna probably get them, am I? I'm gonna grab this guy and spin him. The big problem here is Sue. Kick him, throw him. That'll kill him. And hope he take care of the others. Which name is Yin or Yuan? Thanks. Appreciate it. This barricade only takes three hits. The lie. I might settle barricades like five hits earlier. Yeah, not that one. The dumb strat here is to go for this chair because you can get interrupted by the guy on the left immediately. Who is called Chen? Good shit. Uh, grab, chair here, chair, breaks barricade in one hit, two handed weapons do. Don't walk it upstairs. Try and run and drop kick the both of these two at the same time. You have to push like them over a little bit. It's a little bit of a pain sometimes. And I'm gonna have to dash attack you. You fuck. Fine, I'm using the chair. Fuck you. It's in time here. Uh, as you can see, the building's kind of on fire. Fuck. Kick will work there because of the thing. What that means, that chair will be gone for this fight, so I have to go behind me. Yep. It, the entire building's burning down around him. It's still in his office. And my bad. Fair. Oh no, that chair's actually in front. Oh, sick. It's much closer. Fuck you, Ed. Are we doing the fucking thing again? God damn it. Yeah, I'm losing 
a bit of time. Punch. <laughs> fuck you, Ed. Oh, Ed's a bit, but fuck you, Ed. Grab chair, hit to the left. You can hit the barricade by hitting it on the on the stairs, so that goes a bit quicker. Head upstairs. This is a very, very quick and easy fight. Fun fact, there is a bike in this next fight. Good luck getting it. Uh, the bike is actually under the desk. It's not technically in the fight, but there is a model of a bike under the desk. That if you're in your extreme heat and you're like in the exact spot, you can like press square and Q does his automatic pickup thing and he'll grab the bike. It's fucking wild. EX, grab Vaz, Vaze, Vase. Hit Uter in the Vase. This looks like one of those QTEs that if you fail would do damage to Yuta. It's actually not. You still push him out of the way, but you don't grab the beam and you take damage. It just takes a little bit longer. Remember, there's a couple seconds of vulnerability for Yuta right here. He might survive this hit. Yeah. Oh, I pushed him into that phase a little too early. Kill all. That's that. We're back into the boss rush mode, by the way, because there's another one coming up within the next, like, four minutes. <laughs> like, we literally, like, this game just devolves into boss rushes, and I love it. That's why I love this run to bits. Right. It is very RNG, though. It's very, very RNG. It can get very, very nasty. All right. We're heading back to Onomichi. We now have to solve the mystery of the secret of Onomichi. Fuck you, Jimmy Low. Got to say that in a while. Won't get to say that during the charity fundraising streams this weekend. <laughs> so speak to Big Low. Uh, we're going to go obviously find out everything that's happened. And we're going to go and see him on the roof. Talk to us separately. If you walk forward too fast there, you can also soft lock there. Rarely. It has happened. I'm just full of soft locks at times. My movement up these stairs is pretty bad. <laughs> I'm taking such wide angles. So Big Low is now going to disappear forever. It gives us a secret that will lead to the uh, code that will lead us to the secret of Onomichi. It's a cipher. We have to figure it out. That. Really? Goodbye. Right after this one, fucking sucks. You can tell what the next fight's gonna be. Uh, we're obviously gonna grab a CC lemon from here. Nice. Careful as how you drink it, because you can walk into them very, very early here. So you see the HP bars, just be a bit careful. So weird thing is, you can't grab the guy at the front of the fight, which really sucks. If we grab the guy at the front of the fight, this fight would be a lot easier. Fuck you. Instead, I'm going to run forward and grab the guy behind the guy at the front of the fight and make sure I hit him as well. Good. Back in the PC version of this, they lowered the volume and reduced the visual effects uh, of this bit. And a later bit as well. So it's not quite as bad as it is on console, which is good. This bit fucking sucks because of that guy that's jumping off the truck in the middle. Kill him. He has an almost infinite combo that will kill you with the uh, defense loss that we have in this run. Fucking sucks. And once he's dead, kill the guy with the HP bar from behind. He has a gun. Fuck. This guy sucks. <laughs> they didn't kill him, but, you know, they actually did a lot better than I was expecting to. Also, when he's dead, you know, gun. Fuck. Missed that shot. If I hadn't missed that shot, could have thrown the gun afterwards and finished. Shame. Should have waited. You can fire really fast with a pistol in this game, kind of like you can in K1. You need to be a bit careful and make sure you are lined up with the shot. So have, obviously, plenty of CC Lemon for the next fight, which is a boss fight. You run out of stamina just before you get here if you don't go, like, obviously, you know, almost perfectly aligned. This fight is weird. It's one of those where you can sometimes, like, not actually have it, like, connect if you're in your, like, EX mode. I'm doing normal attacks or charge attacks here because, like, the weird thing about this fight is if you start by doing normal attacks and EX, you'll grab a flat pot. It kind of sucks. 
Thankfully, I'm just going to use my EX mode and grab this scooter. And what we said about two-handed weapons earlier in the video game. They're bloody good. They're bloody good. They're very bloody good. Another one of those weird fights where there's like not good weapons. So I'm just going to use the people as weapons. You know? I've got all the flare pot, which again ain't great. Light attacks with it ain't too bad at least. Your backwards kick by like, you know, facing behind and then kicking is really good. How did that miss? Be very careful of Tagashira. Tagashira is the enemy. If Tagashira does one of his combos on you, you will get stunned. And that sucks. Tagashira fucking sucks. Uh, at this point, I need to raise my attack to max and vending machine. At least before the next story beat. So, for this bit, we now have to figure out the code, the cipher. And it's actually very, very simple. I somehow have not walked into Shindo this entire time. No. It's the Plyome Stones. These Plyome Stones exist in real life. There's like 50 plus of them in real life. Uh, the RGD devs actually think that this is the first official localization of them into English. Are you on the green Takara? The green Takara will give you enough sprint to last for this entire section. Watch out for Moon and Shahab, don't ask. Uh, but in the video game, there are nine poem stones. We're going to go get all of them in, obviously, the quickest order that we can. Uh, the downside is there's two poem stones up the top part of this bit. And because it's nighttime, we can't ride the, like, the monorail down. If we could, it could go a bit faster, but no. Uh, this NPC right here, he's actually the one that hints to you about the poem stones. He's the one that's like, hey, isn't it ironic that there's these nine poem stones? Maybe you should read them. Yeah. Good. Kuhida. Banjak shows Lokune Sanshanga Aid Kobe Shus Lies. Yeah, we gotta run down. This is just a running bit where we just run around. I hope you all have enjoyed uh, the Jingu Wheels today. Because, goddamn. Goddamn, we have had some good choices so far. Two RGG games as well. I know I do a lot of RGG runs, but man. Starting with Binary Domain, and even though it didn't, like, pass the vote, getting Grand Blue Fantasy, like, as, like, an actual wheel spin is still a good one. Jingu started with two brand new games and then a very, very, very good and solid speedrun. Thank you, Jingu Wheel. He is behaving today. He might not for the next one. We're definitely doing another one after this one because we definitely do have time. Depending on what obviously comes through, it might be the last one. If it's one of the shorter runs like Dead Rising 1 or 2, it might not be the last one at all. Good. The fight spawn's going in a good direction. The fight spawn that spawns here is either walking towards you or walking away. If it's walking away, you don't have to save load. You can just like, run forward like I have here. Not forget the poem stone here on the stairs this time, Num Nuts. There is a gold taxi we can get in this next bit as well. These are like the last times we can get a god taxi. But we don't want the taxi here. We want it after the next point. So like if it's like at the traffic lights here, it's really good. Uh, but there is not one, so we just have to do the run. The reason why it's good is because you can taxi down to the bottom road. There's one more poem stone that's left if I haven't missed any. And it's literally near, obviously, Kiryu's house. Unfortunately, yeah, we do have to run this. But again, it doesn't take too long. Be bad. No fight spawn. That's good. I'm keeping on the minimap just to see if there's one ahead of me. Got taxi after this bit. Also good. There is a taxi behind me. I don't know if this uh, spawns it. Sometimes these cutscenes do. They're actually going to go past me because, yeah, I'm too busy in this. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Come back! No! <laughs> No! 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 Oh my god, taxi! Damn it! Uh, bad hand, no Cooper. No! <laughs> no! Twice in one run, how could you do this to me? How could you forsake me, god taxi? I think in my PB, I actually got a god taxi in the next spot. Like, not this bit, but the bit afterwards, which is wild. Uh, the bit after this bit will be the last time we can get a god taxi. Uh, we're going to taxi up to, obviously, the cemetery up here. This one's not too bad, because obviously we just walk in here. Walk to good old Shindo. Where are we? Cemetery lane? Pick <laughs> up the school bus. Yeah, it is. 
And then we go here. Sometimes this crashes the game this bit. It's really weird. Uh, if you're in a fight on PS4, do not walk into that grave. If you're in the middle of a fight, you are guaranteed to crash the game. Weird rule that, but, you know, there's always these exceptions to the rules when it comes to these games. Hi. Oh, God, taxi. All right. And at this point, we need to do our last set of level ups. It's important we do them before we get the CC running. So, uh, yeah, that one. And it should be obvious what we do here. Attack up to max. Vending machine up to max as well. No, not lock. All right, cool. And with that, we grab our last bad fight spawn. CC Lerman. Good with this angle. This CC Lerman needs to last the entirety of the set piece. Again, that is a hard thing to do. Very hard thing to do. Uh, this fight kind of sucks. I'm going to start by going over to the side and hopefully throwing an enemy. Of course, the majority of these enemies, it's like they kind of survive a bunch. There are barrels next to me that I am going to use in a second. They're out most of the normal enemies. This guy's got to go because he has his high HP bar. Again, throwing enemies, drop kicks, barrels, all very good. Takamura, I do need to hit the barrel because he has large HP. Everybody else should go down relatively nicely. Good job, Nagamo. That's my boy. Not your actor, but Nagamo the character. <laughs> Want to make that very clear. <laughs> In this house, we like Nagamo as a character, not for his actor. So, story speed run. Nope, that would take literally eight hours. I've done it before. I need to do it again, actually. Last time I did it was on PS4 with the old, old route. So I don't actually have notes for six ass anymore. I actually don't have the uh, the notes for six ass anymore. Huh. I'd have to retake notes for that entire one. This is usually the spot if we get a right. I've got the uh, the dragon engine thing. I'd like spam the uh, stick instead of hold it. Um, this is usually if we get a blade blade anywhere. This is usually where we get it, but we likely won't because we're on current patch. We usually don't get blade blades on current. Sucks. This also sucks because like there's no good way to like actually hit the enemies in this in this fight. Charge attack, very good. What is happening to me right now? Why am I floating? Why the fuck am I floating? What a video game. I want to make sure to hit this the ladder first and push past him. Just fall off. Good clip. To want to jump off? I think he did, which, man, it'd be funny if that, like, skipped down to this bit, but it, I don't think it would. I think there's invisible barriers that stop that from happening. This fight, again, kind of sucks. We're gonna go and start a jump attack, a dash attack against these guys, because they're all, like, high HP. I missed, like, most of the ones I wanted to hit with that dash attack, like this guy, and this guy. Thankfully, in everything. If you are on base PS4, you never want to position the camera in this direction. Why are there two enemies, like, really far back here? This sucks. I'll take care of them myself. Yoshi not doing his tax return. Speaking of, I got a letter from the tax man today. Finding me to do my taxes before April. Ah, shit. It's currently February. Near the end of it as well. We skip. Thank you. Again, be careful in this fight. There is a bag to the right. You can see it by the barrels. Again, you do not want to hit those under penalty of death. Grab barrel. Hit boy. Hit everybody else. Gathering of enemies. Tiger Shira. Did I not tell you man was enemy? I told you that man was an enemy. His hit tanks actually do stun you. It fucking sucks. He's gonna push through. You can also see that our health is kind of low. This is why you get the bentos. Everything in this end game hits fucking hard. Remember, our defense is down by like minus 25. So, shit hurts. I honestly shouldn't take the Sajana for this bit because you can get hit pretty quickly and easily by the knife person. Just gonna throw it there. Be a bit careful of these guys. 
Okay, I'm gonna bend a lot while I'm down on the ground. Do not use the stamina, and you need that for later. It's very important we get through this bit with the attack buff still. And we take that guy's knife. If you are of the squeamish variety, I would suggest not watching what's about to happen. Uh, this is about to get real nasty. Uh, this guy is one of the reasons why we need our attack buff to last. Uh, he has large HP, he's a pain in the ass. We could use these barrels. Uh, but we have a much faster method that I came up with years ago. It still works to this day. I'm gonna take the knife and we're gonna put it somewhere where it doesn't belong. Unfortunately, we can't take a barrel here into the next fight, which really sucks because a barrel in the next fight would be absolutely awesome. So instead, we are going to grab a cone that's down here. This next fight, again, is one of those just kind of really sucks. Like, there's a lot of really aggressive enemies. Grabbing this, so just in case, Tops of Infinity fills my HP back to full. Should be good. See that guy on the left in the blue suit? Smack him with a cone. Fuck Soma. This guy sucks. Ah, he's dead. Genuinely glad he's dead. He sucks. He's like the worst enemy in this entire fight. He guards, he attacks aggressively. Fuck that guy. Uh, I could use the pipe. The pipe would be good. I'm trying to take care of all the security enemies at the same time. So we can just get out of this fight. Miyamoto is the dangerous one here. That's why I took that Bento. We still have our attack buff for the start of the next fight. That is fucking fantastic. Good. That means I get to start this fight and do a lot of damage. Again, if you use the mouse, the, the, the scroll wheel method, you can take care of this fight instantly. But because I am not, not because I'm not that good at it, we are doing it the old-fashioned way. So having our attack buff here helps a shit ton. Yeah, beats Keshi is a boss. He's not just ha ha funny grandpa. Who would have guessed? If you do the free light strong combo there, you are guaranteed to hit him. He will not guard to it. Uh, bosses from about chapter seven onwards can start guarding your EX. Not if you do that one. You want to cancel out your EX so you don't lose the rest of it. That way, the QT at the end of this will give us almost two bars. And we will get the last bar back. Nice. I am not getting slow hero say QTs. This is nice. Good. Awesome. Watch the screen closely as we run to the bottom and you will see the ghost of Christmas past. Ooh. Yeah, he's there. He's not actually there, but he's there. I'm talking about still here. It's about to run out. It's a shame, but... Start with charge attack. Oh, fuck you, God. Good. Right, so I'm going into my EX as well. That means I can just end this fight now. You have to see that QT to end the fight. Sometimes here I say you can delay it. Like, ages. Good fight. I just saved time. I actually might PB. Actually might PB. This is fucking wild. This is actually fucking wild. I am very much on PB pace. I know at this point whether I'm on PB pace or not. Unfortunately, I need the Somia skip to actually work, and that's a little... <sighs> I haven't done it on the new PC yet, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. The chance it just doesn't work, or obviously I fuck it up. Alright. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. Got my stamina next, so we're good. This point, run to the dock. There's going to be a really weird bit here. We have to go fast, and it's not going to seem like I need to. But essentially, you will hear coming out of this cutscene, even with them obviously like aggroing onto me here, uh, you will hear fight spawn. If we stay in this area, we will get into a fight. I don't need this drink to last, so chug all of it just in case it does drag you back into the fight. As long as you run fast enough, you do not get dragged back into a fight. And of course, your stamina is like super important because it runs out just there. Okay, you almost got your drink? Yeah, it's it's a funny thing. Like that's so basically that's his zero zero coordinates for where he spawns in the second part of the fight. But he's just there early. You can't do anything. But the old man is a ghost. <laughs> I said this before. I love this game. I love this run to bits. I adore this game. Force fight spawn. If you stay there, yes. If you run away like I did, no. It's fucking hilarious how that works. Make sure you kick Mimura and then try and get the bike. So what we're hoping for, fuck, is not that. 
What we're actually hoping for is to keep hold of the bike, because in this fight, when you go between each phase of this fight, if you're holding the bike, you actually keep the durability of the bike, and it heals itself. So that's pretty sign. Sign good, sign has a big, big wide hitting attack. And the bike is... I didn't mean to do that! I lost the holding out to you. You done us. So ideally, we finish this fight in the next two hits. Oh. I lost the bike for the last phase. Just gonna make this a bit slower as well. That sucks. There's the sign back. It is. I've got the sign. The guy with the HP bar, you should probably guess. Sucks ass. Kill him. Fuck you. Oh, come on now. What? This fucking video game. Stop it. I just lost so much fucking time. He is in jeopardy. This guy has the most HP alongside this guy, so I'm going after him. You're hoping that everybody else will just take care of everyone like, one HP. They actually did a good job spreading the damage out there, but yeah, no, that was bad. That was very bad. I think we've lost a good, like, 15, 20 seconds in that fight. That is not ideal. Very much not ideal. Uh, we now have to go back. You have to go back and use your house to go back to Kamarocha for the story beat. Uh, if, and remember, the taxi list is down by one here. It adds uh, taxi Kamarocha on the top. I still have plenty of time to save in the upcoming set piece, but like, that sucks. Sucks. Police hospital first, don't forget. Police hospital first, with the taxi moron. There you go. Sometimes when I come back to this game, I forget about doing this bit. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Now we need to grab a fresh CC Lemon. The CC Lemon will not last the entirety of this set piece, but we need it to last as long as possible. Up until the helicopter, ideally. You can hold that until you go up the lift here, which honestly isn't a bad thing. You get to keep it for a little bit longer. But anyway. This fight kind of sucks, because, like, everyone's in suits, and it's kind of hard to tell who's who. you think the big, giant green HP bars would help, but honestly, not really. Uh, again, grabbing enemies, throwing enemies, very, very good in any fight has multiple enemies in them. I like going in those directions, because that just gathers everybody up quite nicely. Double hit. Good start, honestly. Honestly, very good start. So in this bit, you don't have to take care of all the enemies at the top here. But we do have to take care of, I believe it's Hirokoka. Then everybody else should hopefully deal with him. And then we do have to take care of all these enemies down the bottom. Which, as you can see, there's a bunch of them that have very, very large HP bars. Who jump down with me? I mean, I don't get any help in this bit. Yuta! My boy Yuta! Good hit. Very good hit. I just he has a lot of HP, you know. Throw the, the man. He's dealing with him, which is good. Turn around, because these guys have a lot of HP. I probably should have gone for these two instead, but that's fine. They take care of the other big HP guy. Again, don't get hit by Takashiro. I swear to God. That was an okay lobby, actually. I'll take that. Hey, Max, hope you're doing well. <laughs> you're in a suit in this fight. Fair. <laughs> Right, we used to use grenade strats in this next fight, but we want to save the grenade for a little bit here. They did take care of the guy on top floor. I'm actually very surprised about that. It was actually a very good lobby. It's a very, very good lobby. A lucky. So these are the Yakuza 6 floors, so we call them in any other speedrun that contains these floors. Uh, hopefully, yeah, one hit on them. So I'm going to run forward. I hope that these two take care of the enemy. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Put that backwards. Kill that guy. We get hit by a rocket here. Wow, I actually missed. Wow. Surprise. Uh, this guy and this guy are also throwing grenades. Fuck you. This is not going great. Yeah, this is why this is bad. 
White boards, though. Oh, they didn't take care of anybody, and my grenade didn't do a good job. But well, that time we saved him, the lobby's gone. These chairs suck. Like, these chairs attack animations, like the overhead. And it really sucks, because Yamato Oro just does that. Uh, because of that, charge attack. This is going badly. This is going very badly. Yikes. Hey, you does dumb walks forward without looking, gets stabbed in the chest or the stomach, I guess. And it's actually nice to get into this fight without a weapon, because this will now go a little bit faster. Uh, there are two weapons in this room. There is the chair and the table. Unironically, table good. Because table has a big wide swing to it. Chair isn't bad, but I have to take two hits to kill Matabara, and then I have to go and get this guy. If you get the table, it's literally just one swing. Which usually I walk forward to grab it, but I didn't walk forward enough. Blame that on the rust. Alright, and then it is time for the good old Yak as a free reference, as always. Q says, it's always helicopters. Missing is me, mate. Yep. <laughs> Gray area is the way for not getting calcium damage, right? All right. In this bit, you think we take care of the large enemy first? No, the guy with the machine gun. Fuck that guy. That guy will ruin your entire life and he will kill you. And the large guys. Oh, me, uh, Kanishiro. Where you go? Uh, to get behind the pillar safely, hold guard. Um. It stops you instantly when you're moving as well. One of these days, that chair's gonna push me out of my actual like position here and I'm gonna die. I guarantee you it's gonna happen at some point. This guy didn't actually start his AI. Fuck, that sucks. Usually you take care of both of them in one hit. But then, ideally Saka, Saka Kaibara also walks forward, but no. Uh, there's toughness CD in the left hand side if you need. I actually have good healing items left. So this is good. Hit. Grab the love seat. I don't know why they're called love seats, but they are. Uh, and then just start swinging. Enemo is the problem here. Hopefully this hits. Good shit. Get behind one of the pillars. Essentially, your attack will always run out in this bit. It is very nice to get here with a little bit left over. Uh, this is going to be multiple waves. We don't actually need that much of an attack buff other than the last one, but normally we won't have it for the last one. This bit sucks. On console, the rocket launcher guy fires immediately. On PC, sometimes he doesn't. And we do want him to fire, like, relatively fast, because then he takes care of that. Unfortunately, he hit me as well, but... Unfortunately, I don't want to be here, because I need this seat for later. So, grabbing this now, bad. Have to make sure we guarantee you get a grenade out of this bit. Uh, there's the grenade. Don't worry, fucking Christ. All right, we're good. If we're not, kill you. Kill you, please. I swear to God. You really want a grenade for this part? Uh, reason being, those three. As we throw the grenade backwards, they're gonna stand there. Go for the obviously the machine gun guy. Here are these guys. I'm gonna grab this grenade now because I don't have the weapon for the last phase like I want. I'm gonna do something real dumb. Uh, if you have the HP, fail this because you will actually take damage and be a bit quicker. I said I was going to do something dumb. Yeah, I'm going to explode. <laughs> I was hoping that would do a bit more to Nishi, but he's now stunned. What the fuck? I can't believe he broke out of that. What a jackass. Okay, fuck off. Bro. This is why you don't want to use the seat. Use the seat. You can just take care of them in like two hits. Hoping the grenade would, you know, fix that. Hey, right. And again for this bit. Break the barricade. EX mode, remember you're involved in this. Turn forward. There we go. There's <laughs> Nishi's key, right? <laughs> ah, Alright. Not ideal. Not ideal. 
So cancel out of extreme heat. You see it's draining still. Go into your items before the phone call. Uh, stamina and XX. Doesn't give us max, which is fine. Uh, if you're on PS4, sometimes this phone call doesn't load. Congratulations, you just lost seven minutes in your speedrun. I'm not even joking. You have to go back to the start. Fucking sucks. Anyway, hi. Somi. Somi a final. Somi a free. So even though we don't have max EX, we're going to be able to get it here. We're just going to start with a charge attack. Give it a little kick on the way through. Want to grab these specifically, the ice buckets. It's the ice bucket challenge, so I mean. So, the ideal thing is you want to be in your EX going into the next QTE. It is super important. So, I need to do this a lot faster than I'm currently doing. Good. If you're in your EX, what you want to do with this first QTE is fail it. If this works out properly, you will get Somia skip. It's going to be a bit tight. Definitely not been a good set piece. If Somia skip doesn't work, then this run is dead. It worked. Hey, bud. Okay, he's just fucking me up now. God damn it. So I need to stop. Be the fucking cocktail shaker. Please, I'm losing the run to you, you jackass. Shouldn't be attacking normally. I want to do a charge attack, but he will interrupt me every time. Fucking die! Terrible Somia fight. <laughs> Terrible Somia fight, Jesus Christ. I should have gone the other way down the bar for the ice buckets, because the ice buckets have three hits, and you can stun him and just keep hitting him. Whereas the cocktail shakers on that side only have one hit. That's why they're bad. There we are, 14 seconds ahead going into the last two fights. Uh, we will know if we're PBing or not after the next fight. Because the last fight goes the same way every single fucking time. It's fucking funny. One final CC Lemon. It wasn't a good set piece in the first place, but Somia just fucked me at the end there. Thanks, Somia. Ready to go. Alright. Christian I don't like this fight. I don't do this fight very well, which sucks. I need to hit my EX on him, otherwise we're in trouble. But here's the thing. I can build my EX up very, very quickly and easily. Because... We have dash attack. Dash attack, good. And I want Koshimiz to ideally be like relatively by himself. No, nope, I missed. Bad, because I need my EX to last. Good. That's going to be bad. Uh, I think I have enough to just spam punch at the start of this fight. I have to be fast. Gonna be a bit tight. God, I hope my EX lasts. My EX doesn't last here, I'm Okay, PPB. At least we should do. Sometimes I don't know how to do it, Whammy. <laughs> Dear fan, thank you for the 36 months. I appreciate it. Praise be the real dingo. Alright. <sighs> I just lost that fight. Oh, well, God fucking damn. <laughs> Keeps fucking happening. I hadn't done this run in like two, three months, by the way. <laughs> to be on PB pace up until the final boss is kind of wild. I do love this thing. Do absolutely. Start with charge attack. Give him a good old dash or a kick. Please go to last face. Oh god, I should have done this immediately. Hey, right. this is your other damage QT in this game. Genuinely. And 
man's PB'd. GG. Lost two seconds because I fucked up the middle part of that fight, but... GG. There you go. That's PB. That's actual PB. Goddamn. <laughs> it's not a big PB, but it's a PB nonetheless. On a Jingu wheel, no less. God damn. That's the Jingu wheel. That's the goddamn Jingu wheel. Alright. I had to go get fresh water. I also told you I would give you the rugby baby cutscenes. I'm going to skip through the ending cutscenes. I'm going to go off and get some fresh water and leave you with rugby baby. And then we are going to fire up the Jingu wheel once again. Boy, howdy. <laughs> boy, boy, howdy. Alright. So let me fire up rugby baby and then I will be right back because I need to go grab fresh water. Ow. <sighs> yeah, this has been a good Jingu wheel so far. <laughs> so far. We'll see what happens next. Uh, if Yakuza 5 turns up, we're going to have to have a conversation. Appreciate it, Max. Appreciate it, everybody. All right. Where are we? Uh, this cutscene. Upsy daisy. I will be back in about two minutes. Bye bye. ノムンコンデルジマラ。でがじっちょっちょりあんだ。お前。半純期。なんでお前がここに。くそ。そこどけ。邪魔だ。I hope you all enjoyed Rugby Baby. <laughs> Rugby Baby good. Give me two seconds. Somebody DM me on Twitch earlier. Whoever that fucking was who DM me on Twitch, piss off! <laughs> I'm busy streaming. Heck off. Alright. You know what that means, right? You know what that means, right? That means it's time for another Jingu Will, folks. It's very much time for another Jingu Will. Hell yes to the PB, though. Hell fucking yes. Look at this. We actually got a legit gold here. Look, we were like a minute ahead. I have a nice early game to run up against now, but I have a very nasty mid game all of a sudden. Apart from Ed 2, where I lost like 40 seconds for whatever fucking reason. I have actually no idea. 
Um, but yeah, look at that. I saw, saw I'm bleeding tiny towards the end, so I have a very good end game to go up against, a very good early game, and my mid game is going to be terrifying. But hey, look at that. Look at that. Good stuff. What's my summer best now? 2 3 24. 158. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do with this. Anyway. Anyway, you all know, you all know what time it is. Move over and let me fire up some fresh music. Let's go with this one, shall we? You all might recognize this one. This one's a bit more, a bit more popular. Hey, right, so, once again, you are down to two vetoes. I still have all of mine. Haha. <laughs> so, those who have come late, you don't know what's going on. This is the Jingu Wheel. Essentially, every single speedrun that I have ever done that has finished is on this wheel. And it's over 30 options. We are going to spin the wheel. If I want to do the run, I will put it up to vote. You will vote either yes or no if you want to see the run. If you say no, you use a veto and we roll again. I am really hoping, really hoping to see Parasite Eve. If this Jingu wheel wants to cement itself as like an absolutely biased Jingu wheel, I want to see Parasite Eve right now. I'm spinning the wheel. Oh yeah, bastard, that's an option. Ooh. Ooh, that's a choice and a half. My issue is it's long. <laughs> My issue is it's like four hours for me with the run at the minute. Ooh. Oh, that's a good choice. Oh, that's a very good choice. It's going up to the pole. It's going to the pole, folks. If you want to see the speed run of... Do we play Shadows of the Damned? PS3 era pseudo game here is the vote oh that's a juicy choice right there oh i will warn you this is like four hours long and if this goes through there will not be another wheel spin afterwards although to be fair that's probably like the majority of you know everything that never lands the wheel lands on unless it's dead rising because dead rising's 30 minutes long which hey if jingu wants to be based as well dead rising That is a choice and a half. Even if the even if the vote is no, that is one hell of a choice. This has been a very good Jingu wheel. So far, your veto was for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which I love that run, but we saw it literally two days ago. This one we haven't seen for like two months. Ooh, Shadows of the Damned. Ooh, this is a choice and a half. I was going through my head as to whether I wanted to veto it or not in the attempts of maybe getting something a little spicier. Remember, there are three runs on this wheel. That's a 57 no. That's a tight no right there. Chat, you have lost one more veto. You have one veto left. Ooh. Man, that's a choice and a half. All right. Remember, there are three things on this wheel that I have actually not yet done a speedrun of. Let's see if it lands on. You fucker! All right, here's the all right, here's the talk. Cut the music. All right, cut the music. All right, cut the music. We're gonna have to have a talk if this turns up. So here's the issue with Yakuza Five. It's six hours long. It is by far and away the longest thing on this wheel. I don't think I can do that right now because that would leave me around about five to five thirty a.m. at the end of it. So I think this is a bit too long. However, can do Yakuza Five. We would, instead of doing the full Yakuza 5 any percent, we would do what we like to call Kiryu percent. This would be just Kiryu segment. This lasts about an hour and ten minutes at most. You could get Yakuza 5 out of that, and we would also do one more wheel spin after that. Unless it's Dead Rising, which point we do two. So, I'm throwing it over to the pole. Bring the music back. So, I've deleted Paul. Cannot delete Paul. Good. Do we do Kiryu percent in Yakuza 5? Bear that in mind. Bear that in mind. 
There is one more wheel spin after if this goes ahead. This is not the full any percent. If you want to see the full any percent, come back on Saturday, where we should be doing it for the charity fundraising streams we're doing. You will see a full Yakuza 5 run this week. So if you do want to veto this, feel free. But if you do veto this, you're leaving the power in my hands. Remember that. <laughs> I love the spiciness of these fucking rolls. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's been so fucking good. If you're wondering why Kiryu Set and not any others like, you know, Saijima, Haruka, Akiyama, Shinada, Finale, I don't have save set up for those. Whereas Kiryu is just the start of the game. And is he? 58%? Yes! Oh baby, we're going to some Yaks fun. Hell yeah. Where are my splits? Uh, do I even have splits for... Kiryu percent? I don't. I'm just gonna, like, throw up my, like, 80% splits and we'll just run off those. Bye, Yakuza 6. Alright. Hello, Yakuza 5. You will see a full Yakuza 5 run this week. This actually is kind of nice because now this, like, de-rusts me ahead of time. This also means we get one more Jingu wheel after this. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This is going to be wild. Because now this is the point where I start thinking about my vetoes. <laughs> I did almost veto this, actually. Last time we did... The last time we actually played Yakuza 5 was the 29th of October last year. That was the last time we did a Yakuza 5 run. Kiryu Percent actually helps us out here. This will be a good d roster ahead of time. God damn. What a fucking choice. This Jingu wheel has been on fire today. Alright. Let's go to the Resi 4 remake music and let's go back over. God damn. No matter what happens next, this has been a very good, this has been a very good Jingu wheel. And actually, I do need the, uh, I do need the notes, because it's been a good couple of months. Um, actually, I think the last time, the last time we did this would have been when I was going to, when I was actually going to, um, well, it's hard, when I was going to actually do, um, the Halloween charity streams, but obviously they fell through. So, yeah, no, that's, that's what this is looking like right now. Calm down. Calm down. It's been a very hot minute since we've done yeah, because of foot. I missed this run. We're on a bunch. I think we're good. But yeah, as I said, we will see the full Yakuza 5 run on, on like Saturday. Is it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. So you'll see the full Yax5 run on Saturday, so don't worry about that. Uh, but we will do Kiryu Percent here, which is good. Calm down. Calm down. Ugh, oh, good old Yax5. I do like this game. It's just, like, if this was the first spin of the night, we would have done Yak as a 5 and we'd be near the end right now. But i kind of glad that it's this late because of the whole, you know, Kiryu Percent thing. What I'll do for the future, when I have the individual parts set up, um, what we'll do is we'll do the uh, we'll do the poll of do we want to play Yakuza Five, and then we'll do a second poll of Kiryu, Saijima, Harakakiyama, Shinada Finale. But I need obviously I need obviously you know the actual save set up for that, which I don't have. Anyway, Yakuza Goddamn Five, the long one. Well, not anymore. It's not. anymore it's not <laughs> for those who are unaware because you've been avoiding the streams and rightly so uh yakuza 5 speedrun has finally been dethroned as the longest speedrun in the series and you can probably guess which one is now longer it is still currently sitting at a beautiful eight hours but it's there's a lot of good work being done on the actual route um i we definitely have a route currently that is sub eight um but fuck me, that run is hard. It's hard, and it's nasty. You might get to see it this Sunday. At WrestleMania. Actually, it'd be this Monday. 
<laughs> uh, what we're going to do. So what's going to happen? I mentioned it a couple of times. I mentioned it again now. Um, beginning uh, this Friday, we're going to be doing charity fundraising alongside Sega uh, to, uh, in association with Game Blast like we did last February. We're going to run it back. Uh, if you remember last time, we did uh, milestone cool. unlocks to unlock you. each of the next speed run you. in order. Uh, last year included the side games. I don't have the time to do the side games as well this year. Uh, but we're going to do all of the... Oh, God. I forgot how floaty the PC version was. <laughs> I really forgot how floaty the PC version was. I have an issue. I have an issue that I've just realized... Not just the floatiness. We gotta restart the run. We gotta start the run. Um, is it under controls? No, it's under gameplay. Um, controller sensitivity, isn't it? I think I had it on ten. That's better. That's better. Uh, once again, I fucked up. Again, one I haven't done on new PC yet. Remember when we said October? Uh, I haven't started the auto, the load remover. Uh, I have broken something. Oh, fucking hell. Be good. <clears throat> Be good, yeah. Oh, right. Yakuza 5 doesn't like you alt tabbing, does it? Yes. Well, I just saved like 30 minutes. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Yeah, no, Yak Survive doesn't like uh Yak Survive doesn't like old tabbing, so it's probably gonna crash when we get to Akiyama, but thankfully we're not getting to Akiyama. Go again. I looked at my timer and I was like, hold on a minute, this isn't actually like taking off the loads. The FPS for 345 remasters are always locked to 60 FPS. Unironically, the Q lock ports of 3, 4, and 5 remaster for speedrunning are really good. Unironically. Like, for all the issues that we have with Yakuza 6 and K2's, like, Q-Lock PC ports, the literal remasters of 3, 4, and 5 are actually pretty good. Surprising, I know. <laughs> Surprising, I very much know. But, that works. But yeah, this game has a tendency to softlock or crash. Um, happened to me, and me on a very chunky PB pace run when we got to Akiyama once, which, uh... X5, we're doing Kiryu percent. Not the full run. Not the full run. I gave... It's it's one of those times where it's like, I could do the full run, but I don't have the time for it today. Um, if it had happened a little earlier in the wheel, then I would have done the full run. Like, if it would have happened before... Would have happened before bloody Yakuza 6, I would have done it. Um, but it's a bit too long. And this way, as I said to chat, if we do Kiryu percent, you get one more wheel spin afterwards. Would <laughs> you be Yakuza 5 again? Alright, now time for Saijima percent. <laughs> Hell yeah. Be mash. Yeah. Awesome, broken PS already? Yeah, exactly. And they did fix a couple of things for the remasters on PC, like the quick stepping stuff uh, in the 4 or 3. One or two. Yeah, man, man needs to fucking get used to this again before Sunday, that's for sure. So yeah, as I was saying before, um, what we're going to do this weekend is doing charity fundraising uh, in association with Sega. Uh, we're going to be doing it for Game Blast. We're going to do the same thing we did last year because I still owe yes, hey. uh, I still owe a good couple of uh, seven of these. Yep. For you. Yes. Um, I still have a good couple of things from the previous charity rewards, so I don't want to add too many more rewards on. There will be one milestone reward, uh, because if we raise over £2,000 for charity this weekend, uh, that will have reached us in total on this channel, uh, 20000 uh, raised for charity over our lifetime, which is the last, like, three years, which is kind of fucking wild. So, I will give you a... I will give you a... We don't have any all sub stories runs currently queued up, so there will be an all sub stories run as a reward. But essentially, the structure is going to be every two hundred pounds or so is going to unlock the next speed run in sequential order. We're not doing side games this time because I don't have the time, unfortunately. Uh, we will be doing mainline instead. So we will start on Friday. 
Uh, Friday, if obviously everything gets met, will be zero. K1, K2, three. Saturday will be four and five. Sunday will be six, LAD and Gaiden. And if you all hit the milestone and get us to 20k, we'll do a bonus day on Monday. And I'll do my first infinite wealth 80% speedrun. Let that be the tantalizing reward as well. And that will be a bonus day for afterwards. Because it's going to take like 10 fucking hours and it's going to take a long fucking time. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be my first full 80% run. Like just outright straight full 80% run. So that's going to be like the big, that's going to be like the big reward. But there will be one all sub stories run as a reward because we don't currently have any, we currently don't have any all sub stories rewards like on the docket right now. So we have to transfer 10,000 yen over to Morning Glory. Glory god damn on PS3 translations. Gaiden counts as mainline. Also, I just want to, I just want to do like Gaiden. I just want to do Gaiden. It's Kiri percent, but I didn't bring over my Kiri percent splits from my old PC, and I can't be asked to make Kiri percent splits, so I'm just using it. <laughs> Is it lazy? Yes. Do I care? Nay. <laughs> so hopefully push most of these guys towards the bins, which has not happened. These bins do a lot of damage, and bouncing them off the walls does a lot of damage too. <laughs> it's a bad fight. This is why I'm glad we are de-rusting this before Saturday. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, because of five, Kiri percent is just nice to do because it's like, it's just over an hour. Uh, it's about like, if you're good at the game, it is an hour. For me, I'm like an hour 10, um, an hour five really. So it's just one of those things that you can just whip out if Yakuza 5 is too long, uh, which Yakuza 5 is very long. The longer, the longest, but it is long. You get the walk and talk with our boss in a second. Nakajima. Love Nakajima. Again, fun fact of the day. Nakajima's voice actor. Listen to him in the walk and talk. Uh, his voice actor is the same voice actor for Shimano from Yakuza 1. And obviously Zero. King has been dethroned. Yakuza 5, how do you feel about no longer being the longest Yakuza one? I had a feeling it would happen one day. I'm a little sad that it's infinite wealth. I'm a little, little sad that it's infinite wealth, if I'm being honest. But I don't think we realize until infinite wealth how lucky we were with Lad's run. Lad's run is so fucking fast. So ハカタモンは うまく説明できんちゃけど、俺は自分が好きになった男しか雇わんしぐたい。鈴木さんは信用できる男や。それを思うだけ声かけただけばい。でも、初めて社長に会った時、俺は。エンフォルワーフイズアロット。エンフォ
We have to... We have to uh, grind an infinite wealth. Like, we just have to. It sucks. It's a shame. But the, the current route that's actually being worked on is uh, really nice. The end game is just too nasty. Um, infinite wealth doesn't have a masochist-esque outmate. So we don't have that luxury of obviously, you know, being able to have something that just raises our defense like massively. And no, that one palamate that raises your defense doesn't count because it's only like a 20% defense increase. Masochist is like closer to 50. Masochist really allows us to do a lot in Hades uh, run. It's wild. Like, no. it's honestly a shame. It's genuinely a shame. Uh, tech 1, Heat 2. Yeah, Infinite Wealth really punishes you for being underleveled. Like, really, really punishes you. Finishing. Ultimately, boost heat gauge. We have no heat gauge. Oh, it's meant to do, but sure. You'll see me the way forward. No, DLC is banned. You. No, outright, those DLC boosters are completely banned. You can get to level 60 in the first chapter, and that still also doesn't fix the other problems of the run. I don't want to go into too many details, because obviously, you know, this is an infinite wealth. I don't want to spoil, like, infinite wealth stuff for people that are still playing the game. But there are a lot more issues than that, but the DLC boosters are completely banned. Like, the, the crafting sets and all that jazz completely banned, 100%. They're obviously fine for New Game Plus. Uh, New Game Plus is run. Uh, I think PS Color holds the record still at, like... I think it's three and a half hours? It's somewhere between three to three and a half hours. I can't remember what it is exactly. Um, I think it's three hours loadless. Um, so even New Game Plus is, like, you know, almost the length of an any percent LED run. And that's with fights that you can one-shot. I should tell you everything you need to know about Infinite Wars Run. Like, uh, fucking wild. If New Game Plus is like three hours, any percent ain't getting that much lower. <laughs> well, it's not just the fact there's no Bob. I don't know why they changed it from LAD. In LAD, you have the DLC, like, you have the DLC folder in your phone, which is where you pick up the items and stuff like that. And that option is still there in Infinite Wealth. But for some reason, the booster crafting packs are just all in your inventory. Fuck knows why. Cool. Mm. Fuck knows why. It sucks. Yeah. Thankfully, yeah. everything can disable the uh, the like ultimate edition booster packs, oh. apart from one console, and that console just so happens to be the ever wonderful PlayStation Four. <laughs> so if you're on the play PS4, you literally have to fucking you literally have to like like delete the game and re-download it if you want to run any percent which really sucks and like weird and like upset that that's the actual thing but that's the only solution the way the dlc works is the um he's just talking about CCs, right yeah god it's the next fight in here forgot um yeah the issue the big issue is that the um if you use the ultimate edition, if you have the ultimate edition, um, the crafting sets, uh, specifically the Dondoko set and the uh, mixed weapons material sets, they're the issue. The reason being is that they give you those materials automatically, which means that you take out all the RNG for getting to one star Dondoko, which is an issue because that's currently in the run because it gives us $10,000 which is a metric fuck ton at that point of the run. And like, it is RNG as to whether you can do that in the first two days or not. There's like a little bit of RNG to it. So by, you know, getting rid of all of that RNG with the DLC, that's not fair. That's just not fair on anyone. That is literal paid microtransaction. Oh God, I... Really? Sure. I might be in trouble. X5, I hate your fight spawn. Yeah! Scarlet on my right, it's a fight spawn. The guy in the uh, the green coat, 100%. I forgot, I forgot that I need to, like, lower the control stick sensitivity a bit more. Oh. Fucking control stick sensitivity in this game on PC is fucking wild. 
That's new game plus gets into GDQ. I don't think so. It's the if if there is a chance for it to get into GDQ, that's the only chance. But the issue is you're just one shotting every fight with a cutscene. Like there's not that much in terms of speed tech. It's just literally use your essences. Like, it's not much of a speed run. You're just going from point A to point B as fast as possible with nothing in the middle. It's the same with, like, LED New Game Plus. Like, it's good for learning the run. It's good for learning the run in terms of, like, you know, where to go next story beat wise. And also, yeah, if you don't have time to do a full 10 hour or, like, 8 hour run at the minute, yeah, no, it's good for that. But there's no nuance in the middle. There's, like, no nuance in the middle. Do not expect Infinite Wealth to be a GDQ ever. Like, if it is going to be a GDQ, the only chance it will have is, like, literally New Game Plus. And I just, I don't think the, I don't think the, the uh, Games Committee will, like, enjoy New Game Plus run. Just because it is just skip cutscenes. It's a shame. It's a shame that, like, Infinite Wealth is that long. But, again, like, I don't speedrun things in, like, you know, the view of, oh, I'm speedrunning this because I want to take it to GDQ. Like, I speedrun it because I want to. Like, everything that I've picked up in, like, the last, like, two, three years has been like that, you know? Picked up Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling because I love that game. I love that run. Like, do I do I think I'm going to submit Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling to GDQ? No. I think there's going to be other people that do. Um, People who are much better at the game than me as well. Like, I didn't pick that up because I wanted to submit it to marathons. I picked it up because I like the fucking video game. And you know me, I will do Infinite Wealth runs, but considering the run is currently eight hours long, it ain't going to be often. Essentially, Yakuza 5 now moves to Saturday and Infinite Wealth now moves to Sunday. <laughs> Your splitter working? No. Good. My auto splitter isn't working for new PC. Good to know. Good to know. Make sure that's working properly. Oh. Mm. Leaking again, my dude. No. Thanks. <laughs> You aren't getting the any percent down like to the yeah, Akaza five levels. Like you're just not. I could see Infinite Wealth going sub seven. I do not see it going anywhere near sub six. Again, if New Game Plus is three hours and that's cutting out like literally oh fuck me. All the fluff in the middle. Any percent ain't going that long. Or like that low, I should say. So if you're wondering why I'm pointing the camera down, if you've never seen the X5 run before, uh, this despawns all civilians, which gives you a better chance of seeing where the enemy spawn is. The remasters have this one little issue where they really spawn in a bunch of civilians. It's wild. It's actually wild. Also, I know, like, a couple of places where they're, like, if there's a fight spawn where it's going to be, like, almost guaranteed. Uh, for this next fight, ideally, we can get through with having a little bit of heat left over at the end. Don't get excited, Tap. It's only Kiri percent. It's not the full five. I'll be doing the full five, hopefully, this weekend for charity uh. fundraising. Uh, it should be on Saturday. Also, this is the first run of me doing five on new PC, and oh god, the movement is way, way looser than on the other PC. Which is bad. <laughs> I gotta get used to it. Nice thing that Dragon Spirit is, we do just jump over to enemies, which is good. Eat together, but not. Said I would like to hopefully have, yeah. Tiny bit of heat left, I'd like a little bit more than that, but that should be fine. Oh yeah, no. Like, I still get to do a little bit of it, which is good, because this derosts me in time for the weekend. And also makes me aware that for 3, 4, and 5, I'm going to have to make sure, like, you know, controller sensitivity isn't as hot as it is with this, because it fucking well is. I cannot, like, do the walking, like, the 66%, like, like movement stick tilt. It's bad. It's really bad. Yeah. I... What? Oh, it's my boss. I hope we see him again. Love that guy. Got yeah, bronze plate. Hey. Ah. Bronze going good. Uh, it's not gonna go well because you know I haven't done. I haven't done Yakuza Five since October twenty eighth. That's how long it's been since we've done Yakuza Five. It's 
actually been that long. It's fucking wild. Yeah, by doing Kiri percent, we get uh, one more, one more jingle wheel after this. All right, there is Speed Tech in our old driving segment. What we're actually going to do is we are not going to go the correct way. We'll see on the minimap, so let's go over to the right. This guy's on the left. Please, pedestrians. I actually had, apart from like that first corner, I've had good pedestrian spawns. Doesn't matter if you answer here or not. Because I have time. Yeah, you do not want to hit pedestrians or other cars. That's kind of tight. Uh, if you do, you get like sent backwards. They're going to run across. Come on. That's one there at least. Oh. That's the giant stamina X on the right hand side. I'm stopped on it. Leave me alone. Like is this traffic? Yeah, not great. <laughs> on every goddamn corner where there are people trying to walk into the road. <laughs> this is Sega's Triple Eight uh, Crazy Taxi, by the way, for those wondering. <laughs> I'm not. Hey, we got back in me telling you in the taxi. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of the sound of that. Um, I don't think they should be trying to triple A Crazy Taxi. I think they should be leaving it double A or like single A and releasing it, you know, at like a lower price point. I, I, I don't see what triple A Crazy Taxi looks like. And I feel like you're like, if you release like a $70, $80 Crazy Taxi, I feel like you're setting yourself up for failure. I'm worried about that. Should we Jet Set Radio? I would say Jet Set Radio would also be double A. I don't think any of their new announcements are the AAA. I think it's good that they're, you know, using their old IPs, but I don't think that they should be looking at, like, AAA for any of them. I feel like it feels, like, very arrogant. Like, like, Jet Set Radio and Crazy Taxi have charm for, like, you know, not being, you know, all this money put towards them. Like, I just, what do you use all that money for? Like, for the AAA, AA games find out to come to improve indie devs? Yeah, agreed. Like, the Shinobi one is absolutely Lizard Cube, who did, you know, Streets of Rage 4, which was fantastic as a revival. Like, which also makes me worried about the new, like, Streets of Rage they got. Oh, enough, you don't get the tutorial for the Hemu. Yeah. Just weird. Just really weird. Nani. Just gonna play a game we're doing sales. Yeah, Probably not well from the sounds of it. So. I do my service? Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. Like, I get why they're trying to go game as a service, but like, look at what just happened to hyenas. Like, I know Hyenas was a new IP, but, like, that's the reason why it should have been Game as a Service, is, you know, you can test the market with that and see, you know, how people Oi. feel. I know it's, like, a completely different genre, but, like, I don't see how a Game as a Service AAA Crazy Taxi exists. <laughs> like, like, how the hell do you make Crazy Taxi AAA? Like, wild. Wild, yeah. and I'm not a fan of it. I'm worried. I'm worried, y'all. <laughs> it feels like if these like if these revivals yeah. don't go well, it yeah. feels like they're just gonna like can any other like chances of revivals. Oh my skies of Arcadia! Now that should be triple A. <laughs> and Destiny money, likely. And even, even Sony are, like, on Bungie since taking them over about, you know, making ends meet a bit better. And obviously Bungie firing a whole bunch of their staff. Not that that's, you know, not happening elsewhere in the industry as well. But it feels like the game as a service bubble is potentially about to pop. Like, there's so many games that are trying to just do that game as a service that just will not make those, like, ends meet. Like, why is everyone trying to chase, like, you know... I don't want to, like, use the term Fortnite money, but, like, 
since Fortnite has come out, what games as a service have actually stuck around? League was before, Dota was before, so they're yeah. out of that equation. Apex Legends. Smite was before, and somehow Smite still lives. Yeah. Smite is that cockroach that you think you've gotten rid of, and it keeps turning up every two weeks. How the fuck Smite is alive, but it is. Like, Apex Legends is probably the only other big one I can think of in terms of, like, games as a service that is, like, you know, launched and survived. Like... I don't understand how, like, and it's just the CEOs. It's the CEOs and the bigwigs that look at, like, Fortnite and other live service and go, oh, yeah, we can replicate that. No. Like, Crazy Taxi is absolutely that kind of, like, you know, unique idea that, you know, would potentially do it, but at the same time, no. Like, is it unique enough? Yes, but how the fuck do you change Crazy Taxi's gameplay to, like, AAA, you know, games of service? How does that work? Even, even, like... You have to look towards, and I hate to say it, you have to look towards Ubisoft. Look towards, like, Skull and Bones. Look at how ah. that's already not doing well. Look at other games of service. Yeah. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad with Warner Brothers' immense, like, budget for advertising backing it. And the name of Rocksteady on it. And look how much it's just failing. Like, if they can't do it, cool. you can't do it. Like... Legitimately, if they can't do it, if Square Enix can't do it with the likes of, you know, Babylon's Fall, you can't do it. Like, if these big companies with giant budgets behind them cannot do it, what do you, do you think you can? It just, and after, especially after Hyena's cancellation. Like, I just feel like Sega is sinking more money into, like, a, a failed attempt already. Like, I will still get Crazy Taxi because I'm goddamn excited for Crazy Taxi. But, like... I don't know how you make Crazy Tax into a game of service and make it succeed. I, I just don't. I don't know how you slap AAA on it and charge $70 as a game as a service and have it succeed. Like, I'm I'm worried. I'm real worried. I Like, can Sega really, like, afford to have two hyenas back to back? And I, I feel really badly for the folks at Creative Assembly. Even though they didn't want hyenas in the first place. I played in the actual, like, open beta. Or the closed beta for hyenas. It was actually enjoyable. Like, there were parts of that game that were actually decent. Genuinely. Like, actually genuinely. But no, they they got rid of that. They completely got rid of that. Punch me, please. Good. I did I got a bit more sort of left this out of hand, but this is good. I want to keep hitting more angle while I can. Not bad. Good. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to move to go and get the sound of the next exit in the corner. Well, because this is Korean percent, actually, I won't need to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone wants Alien Isolation 2, and that's the issue as well. It's like, you know, these executives want, like, you know, the game as a service when everybody else wants, you know, the other thing. The thing that they are, you know, known for. I just, I feel so bad for the staff there and, like, all the, the layoffs that are going to happen because, you know, the big wigs wanted to chase the Fortnite money that was never going to happen. And again, Hyenas wasn't bad. Like, Hyenas was not a bad product whatsoever. Like, it had enough uniqueness about it. Like, when I played it, can I, can I just pass off the wall? Weird. Like, when I played Hyenas in the closed beta, like, would it have replaced, like, like, say I was still playing Apex, would it have played, replaced Apex in my rotation? No. But did it have enough going for it that, you know, I would have gone back to it every couple of seasons to, like, play a bit? Absolutely! I think I just saw a Nouveau Ridge going, alright. Where am I going? How am I to? I forgot where I'm going, thank god I got my notes. I, just, I say my notes, it's actually Ryu's notes. Ryu's, uh, I'm using Ryu's, like, any percent notes. They're very, very, very good. Very good. Yeah, literally, single-player games are dead when you have, in the space of a week, and yes, it does have a multiplayer component to it, you have Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which it has, it's mainly, like, got a single-player focus, it does have good co-op, which is nice, but, like, again, yeah, remember when everyone's saying turn-based is dead? Sega so just turned around and said, you yeah, fuck y'all. And again, yes, they might have, you know, multiplayer to them, like, but it's not the big focus. FromSoft says hello. Armored cool. Elden Ring. Shouts to Shouts to that guy. Shouts to Elden Ring DLC being announced today. Oh, this guy's a fight spawn. Both of these two. The guy looking around, the guy with purple, uh, the guy with the purple jacket. So I had the camera pan down and you saw how he came onto screen. 
That's your guarantee that that's a fight spawn that's walking around. That's the other reason why we pan the camera down. It's not just to despawn spins. My movement is so bad because of the, like, the, the whole fucking, like, control stick, like, sensitivity. I have to change that for the, uh, I have to change that for the weekend. And for three and four as well. That's actually a legit goal. These are my legit splits. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> How is that a legit gold? I'm running all over the place because I can't control my movement. What the fuck? Yeah, if we're, uh, if we're a minute ahead of the end of Curious Part, we're telling this to the full Yaks of Ibram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, people saying turn based is dead. Look at infinite wealth. Like, strongest, like, support launch that it's had. Obviously, you know, the fact that it's day and date, like, in, like, you know, the rest of the world helps. Like, strongest, like, launch that it's had in the series. Persona 3 Reload, strongest support, like, like start that's had in, like, the entire series. Even ahead of stuff like Persona 5 and Royal. Which is wild. Which is completely fucking wild if you think about it. Persona 6 is gonna be out of this world. I'm also very curious as to how Ari Fantasio does at the end of this year. Yes, we are gonna do that casually. Yes, we are absolutely doing Ari Fantasio. Oh fuck, hey boy. Go behind you. He's a larger lad, so if he does see me, he won't catch up. This guy, however. This guy is an issue. Go this side, though. Trying to juke him behind these things. Don't trust the sidewalk right now, because my camera angle wasn't good. I think they were fine, because it's mostly carpals. We'd have to be careful when we get back to our uh, office, because there can be one of the devil killers stood outside. Like they do our apartment. But not here. Goodbye. Persona 6 is just gonna do numbers. Like, I do not see a world where Persona is no longer multi-platform. Like, I don't- I think Atlas, like, especially after, like, 4 gold and 5 royal and 3 reload on Steam, I don't think you can ignore that money anymore. I- I don't see how they do. Like, at all. I- I can't see how they pass that up anymore. It's- yeah. Don't talk about Takachi and don't talk about Daigo. Don't talk about Daigo Dojima. Daigo Dojima stays missing today. SMT5, I hope, sells well. I'm curious about it because I think there's I think there's negative word of mouth uh, from, obviously, the Switch version. But the fact that, you know, they're adding, like, you know, a whole new, you know, whole new story aspect to it, new dungeon, new hard ending, I think that's going to fix a lot of, like, a lot of, like, a couple of issues that people have with... SMT5. And obviously, you know, now the game is also going to be, you know, running at a decent frame rate. Thumbs up. Watching this cutscene. Okay, the guy outside of my work is not here. This guy walking past me right now might be a fight spawn. I've seen him be a fight spawn in the past. He's not going to be here on the way out. So. Yeah, I think. So here's the thing I don't think SMT5 is bad. Yeah. I haven't fully finished it, so I will be playing, obviously, like the port version. Um, I just don't think it's as good as everything that came mainline before. That's the issue. Because when SMT5 was coming out, because of the Nocturne remaster, everyone was like, you know, comparing it to Nocturne. For better or for worse. And the issue is, like, not even just Nocturne. SMT4, which, yeah... Oh, that's a bad fight to win. The even though, obviously, you know, SMT4 is on the 3DS, SMT4 is great. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I think Apocalypse is better than base SMT4. I actually think Apocalypse is better than SMT4. I think it's fantastic. But, like, a lot of people were just, you know, comparing, like, you know, SMT5 to Nocturne to SMT4, which they're all fantastic. Really? Fuck you. I should probably just drag him backwards and then run him back, honestly. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, that's probably why we PB'd in the previous chapter. Because I didn't have fight spawns. Alright, this one actually follows me, doesn't it? <laughs> Made mistakes. Okay, good. You have to get a little bit further down your alleyway than the start. What about that? No, I don't think SMT5 is bad. I don't think SMT5 is bad at all. I just, compared to what came before it, SMT5 is lacking. And I think that this vengeance, like, actual, like, you know, 
upshoot, kind of like the way Lucifer's mm. Call was for SMT3, I think it could do a lot of good for SMT5. Yeah. I think it could. Yeah. But... That... I actually really like SMT4 and Apocalypse. Oh. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Gameplay fun stories just kind of like, yeah, exactly. That's one of the issues I think that, like, Vengeance will actually work on. So. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they mean by adult dragon quest. I'm kind of hoping that with the... They've obviously been having some development issues with it. I'm hoping that with, like, the development issues, they kind of, like, you know... I don't think adult means, like, you know, edgy, blah, blah, blah. But I also kind of hope they just scrap whatever the fuck they were thinking and go back to the dragon quest. Where is my Dragon Quest 3 2D HD? I'm actually more excited for that than the next mainline Dragon Quest. I'm not even joking. Like, every one of Square Enix's 2D HD games have been... Uh, absolute chef's kiss. Octopath Traveler 2 in my, is in my top four games of uh, last year. I never did... I never did my, like, top ten games of last year. I'm not kidding you. Number nine is Evo Primal. I'm not joking about that. <laughs> I really fucking liked Evo Primal. <laughs> I said Evo Primal. Exo Primal. <laughs> I can't even say its name right. That's why it's number nine. <laughs> I think in terms of my top games last year, fifth would be Theater Rhythm. Fourth would be Octopath Traveler 2. Um, third would be Gaiden. Second would be Alan Wake 2. Fucking surprised about that one. I vehemently hated Alan Wake 1. I adored Alan Wake 2. I think my favorite game of last year was Hi-Fi Rush. I think Hi-Fi Rush was my favorite game last year. The more, like, it it was a hard, it was a hard list. Like, holy shit, last year I had so many good games. On any other year, I think Gaiden actually, like, sweeps my game of the year list. But, like, no, there was so many good games last year. I hated Alan Wake 1 with a passion, but I vibed so fucking hard with Alan Wake 2. Like, I shouldn't have to say it, but, like, it's kind of, like, Final Fantasy 16 is in my top 10 as well, but it's, like, near the bottom. It's, like, 10th, I think. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is, it would probably yeah. be number one for me, but the issue is I've only played about four hours of Baldur's Gate 3. I started playing it before GDQ, and then I lost time. Why was this man not in infinite wealth? I'm upset, RGJ. Ah. I'm mad. Bring back Mac. Still on my bullshit. Um, if I'd have played more of Baldur's Gate 3, I can guarantee you it would have easily been in my top 10, if not my top 5, if not my top 1. Um, but I've only played, like, 4 hours of it so far, so I can't accurately put it in my, like, game of the year, because I need to play more of it. It's just, it's just an immense game that just requires, like, a lot of time. So. Which I need to, I need to do more Baldur's Gate 3, I've had no time. Also, that just reminded me, actually, with the whole, like, game as a service talk at the moment. I think Sony finally figured it out with Helldivers 2. It's kind of wild how Helldivers 2 for the last, like, because I actually, I have Helldivers 2. I've been, like, trying to play it since last week. Uh, but every time I get off stream is when the servers are absolutely fucked. Like, it's wild how with Helldivers 2, literally, that game has been getting a higher, like, player count every day because people just want to play it. Like, and the issue is, like, and, like, I, I wouldn't have expected it either. Like, like as on loan on Steam, I think yesterday had, like, a peak of, like, 420k players or something like that. Which is on Steam alone, and according to the CEO, it's 50-50 with PS5. That's fucking wild. Like, yeah. I don't think... And, like, here's the thing. Helldivers 1 was good, fun, and popular, but it was never popular. The launch trailer for Helldivers 2 on YouTube only got something like, you know, 120k views. No one in their right mind would have said to you, oh, Helldivers 2 is going to be, like, one of, like, Sony's most successful GASs in a long time. And they actually figured it out because they launched it on PS5 and PC at the same time, and the business model for Helldivers 2 isn't hyper-aggressive. But also, no one could play the goddamn video game. <laughs> and the last time I played it was literally, like, five days ago. <laughs> Like, you know, Sony figured it out. They did it. Yeah, they made a very fun game. Uh, there's the fight spawn. There he is. There he is. Look at him chilling outside my work. You have to give him a pretty wide angle to make sure that he doesn't obviously fuck you up. 
It doesn't have to be as wide as that, but it's been a while since I've done this run. And with my control stick being all that sort of, I'm not, I'm not testing that. Pandora Anime, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming, appreciate it. Walking meme got ported over, right? Uh, this is where we go up to the restaurant for the boss, right? Yes, yeah. There's a lot of walking and talking in the middle of Kiryu's part, but now there's just like a lot of action from this part onwards. Guy's still outside the fence, you can see him there. Wide enough above. Yeah, good. Honk honk. All right, away. Fight spawns ahead, which is good. Again, I'm panning the camera up and down to see if there's any fight spawns ahead of me so I can plan accordingly to get away from them. Actually, no fight spawns at all. God damn, why can't I get this on an actual, like, you know, old yak as a 5 PB pace run? God damn. <laughs> God damn it. So you want to play it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good game. It's a very good game. A fantastic game. Especially if... I'd say it's a fantastic game if you have people to play with. I don't think it's bad solo, but I think it's it's kind of like, you know, it's not a streamer bait game, but it's kind of like, you know, Lethal Company is like better with, you know, friends and stuff. It's like that. It's very much like, it's a, it's a game built like that where, you know, if you have friends, you can have like a load of fun. Remember, I used to play a game called Deceive Inc. That game is dead now. That game's player count does not hit triple digits in a day anymore, which is a shame. You, I actually probably could run here, but I'm a bit concerned. This, is this guy. Go for these two are fight spawns. That guy that just walked to the left and this guy are both fight spawns. Man, bad fight spawns all of a sudden. Very careful here. I could probably push it a bit faster, but I'm being very careful. Oh, damn. And all of a sudden, my fight spawns are terrible today. Looking forward to that one, bloody, <laughs> bloody Saturday. Yeah, that guy sucks. Like, if you get the guy before, you can at least, like, jump around the corner and, like, get rid of the line of sight on the other guy and stop him from being able to catch up to you. But that guy sucks. Because you have to intentionally go into the road. Why well, to say, my beloved? I fucking love you. Yeah, if Jingle Will gave us Gaiden next, wouldn't complain. That would be great. That would be such a such a good like next game. I'm gonna go after the leader. It's this guy. The axe of fight, fight spawns are really nice. Uh, sometimes like fight spawns themselves, and sometimes in set pieces, they will have like a leader type enemy, and you can just take care of all the enemies that get scared. Is that guy standing up? And I still managed to like kill him in one hit. No, he's alone. There he is. I hope he'd be next to the furniture, because if I hit the furniture, I would have killed him there. Should have moved over to the left a bit. Oh. God damn, why I see my beloved. There he is. Ada Griffin. Ada! I fucking hate that it was pointed out to me. I think it was Shen that pointed out to me. That literally in Gaiden, what I say's outfit makes him look like Peter Griffin. Fucking mad about that. <laughs> I'm really fucking mad about that. I'm so fucking mad about that. <laughs> Do my boy dirty. Moose Nugget, thank you very much. The Prime Game for nine months. Thank you very, very much. So we need to talk about that? Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm looking, same. Well, you get to see at least a little bit of the uh, the bounding for a tech in this run today. Yeah, I think we have enough time for one more. We'll so spin off this. Potentially two if we get Dead Rising. Or Dead Rising, I love that run. I'm a little sad that Shadows of the Damned was voted against. I love Shadows of the Damned, but at the same time, that would have been the last run of the day. I do need to do Shadows of the Damned again at some point. That's for sure. But we have been blessed with good Jingu wheel spins today. Literally, three of the spins of the five that we've done have been brand new, like, actual games on the wheel. Like, cool. Jingu wheel has been giving us a good time today. Mihaika. Mm -hmm. So we want to 
line ourselves up with this ball. I want to wait until the dialogue is almost over. And then start punching so you hit the door. That stops the long animation of kicking the door. I do not want this guy to leave. I can't get him. All right, you two are going to have to deal with him. I can't go out there to get that guy anymore. All the enemies have to die in this bit, unfortunately. Invisible barrier, if you don't. Get one extra. I don't think they're all dead, but I'm gonna risk it. They both seem to run up to me. Yep, alright, cool. Good job, boys. This guy always grabs. I fucking hate this guy. I need to attack faster to kill that guy. Nice punch into that door. Abilities! We go over to tech. We want to get this up to level 9. This gets us a specific skill that goes by the name of Bounding Throw. God damn it. Bad. Ugh. Did he get better at my menuing in this again? If getting PC version menuing of this is a little different. There it is. Bounding Throw. So, you might have seen us do Kaito Files a couple of times, or like, heard us obviously say about, um, Kaito's, uh, gripping power driver being very similar to Bounding Throw from Yakuza 5, so let me just demonstrate. Hey, it's... Yeah, I've been doing, I've been doing alright. This week's been a bit rough. But... Hey, Jingle Wheel. And a good Jingle Wheel at that. iPhone. What up? Fuck. Shut up! Shut up, not a Hannibal. Oh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Hello, here is Vase for say, Vaz. Fuck my life. All over your fussy. I'm bringing that joke back from the Axe 6 run we did earlier. So, I should be. I shouldn't be doing bounding from Yata, but I want to practice it before the weekend. Get the timing down. That's not gonna work either. I haven't done this run since October, so I wanna practice this while I'm here. I will do this. Faster when he's on his other side, idiot. Fucking this up a treat. This is good. I'll do a couple more even though the fight's over just to get back into the rhythm. Cool. Okay. Yep. There you go. That's your bounding throat. Cool. That's how it's done properly. Okay. There we go. Cool. Good. Uh, you use that on the final boss of this video game and you delete all nine of their HP bars instantly. They don't get a chance to do anything. It's funny. It's actually bloody great. The Jingu will, again, wants to be really based after this. It'll give me Parasite Eve. Hina, the dragon is here. Can't, I can't do a Lois voice. Can't do a Lois voice at all. Wait, that guy from grabbing me though. Hate that guy. Right. Yeah, you can roll the Dharma or you can just run straight here. Like, you don't have to do any of that. <laughs> Alright, 
So if done properly, grab you, throw you to the ground, start standing up so you can do that. Hit by the guy with the golf club, that sucks. Also, he guards my bloody downing first. Thank you. Go, go, please. Thank you. I'm out. Please. That's actually one of my chapters where I have it. Like, a shit on the time save in my PB. I'm so surprised we gold a chapter too. That's wild. That's like a legit gold as well. Anyway. So, next morning, we have a bunch of plot to do. Okay, so this is... Yeah, this is the big set-piece one, isn't it? <laughs> cool. We gotta go around town. We gotta go around town. Ugh, excuse me. Fuck. I miss setting in. The trouble is there's a lot of really long run Oh my fucking god. Okay. Uh, I got a lot of really long runs left on the Jingu wheel. They both saw me at the same time. Ew. Get stuck on that guy. Thanks. Nasty guys, boys. So for this bit, we have to find the members of your hat's crew first, of which are over here. because I want to push them all into the bike that's there. Hey! Put that down, that doesn't belong to you. Thanks to me. Dicky bastard. <laughs> him grabbing that actually gave him a bit of, like, high armor, so that's actually not too bad. I was say, that's going to be a fight. Wow, I'm surprised that wasn't. I don't know how the fuck I managed that. I'm trying to be a lot more aggressive with fight spawns in this because I needed to be for a while. And he's. <laughs> yep. If you're on this side of the street, on this sidewalk, uh, fight spawns can't get you. Issue is civilians. We have a rich guy there for money. Good for him. This sub story uh, actually gives you the item that supposedly like stops fight spawns. Uh, you have to refresh the map for it to work, but the issue is you can't give that item to other characters. So it's like not until like the finale. So it's like there's no real use to get it in like any percent. Not great. It's fine. Oh god, am I gonna be able, am I gonna be able to do the Star Spangled Meteor like skip? Oh god, I might not be able to with how my control stick is right now. Oh Jesus, a bit worrying. Are these guys, they can't see you over these fences. That's what makes them so good. Fortunately, they're gonna stop before we get to the end. We'll look at maps from five. I wish they'd bring back the maps from five. I like them a lot, and I think a lot of them would actually get enhanced in the Dragon Engine. Like Tsukumi. Like Tsukumi, no? These are both fight spawns. 
Yeah, fuck you, I'm using the cough. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Can't keep up. Here we go. Hey, now this guy is a pain in the ass. Bad. Please die, sir. Thank you. God, it's taking so fucking long. She just uh, healed my uh, stamina. Hey! Chase action! First chase action of the video game. I'm gonna grab a weapon from the side and pray we don't get a glitched weapon. Sometimes these weapons do no damage, sometimes they just break. Now we gotta go back. Nice. That's about this. You should. This game's content is good. It's also, like, it seems daunting. It's not that daunting. There's a lot to do, sure, but it's not hard. It's just a lot of it. Now, you can avoid the Star Spangled Meteor substory here if you, like, stick tightly to the right hand side here. Again, with the way that my control stick is today, that ain't easy. Oh, fuck. Hi. Hey, <laughs> bro. <laughs> See you, bud. I am getting away. Goodbye. <laughs> this game doesn't have clan crater. I don't know why you're bringing up clan crater. I don't know why that guy is yelling at me from behind either. Piss off, buddy. So we have to be very careful of a couple fight spawns on this street. The street sucks for fight spawns. Really sucks for them. I actually wondered about keeping the camera up to like make more civilians spawn in on the right to reduce like the chance like the walking, like running fight spawns. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I don't know if we've like debunked that. Excuse me. Fucking hell. I can go in here. I am good in here. <laughs> Hey, there is some really cool speed tech in this episode. Really, really cool speed tech in this episode. So, we're going to be heading down here, ignoring, obviously, all the enemies. Uh, if this was an 8% run, I would grab this. I'll grab this just for, you know, members for uh, the weekend. Man, I need to fix the control stick in this. This is bad. Pro Stomp Heat Climax. So all of this sets up Okada to be perfectly demolished by our Climax Heat. This guy sucks. So I want to make sure that we actually take him out. So we use our Red Heat. We have enough in the rest of the run to build up our Red Heat for obviously the finale. Nice hit. I was expecting that to hit. This still sucks. I never break the door on the fourth floor, so I'm just gonna, just gonna kick it. Guy to walking outside. Oh, dead? Huh. Ooh, this guy wasn't dead, that guy. Interesting. All right, so here's the speed tech. So in this bit. Hajiji are kind of like tutorializing the fire extinguisher, even though it doesn't get used again in the main story, only in one substory. Um, but because, you know, players are idiots, uh, they give you unlimited ammo in this fire extinguisher so that, you know, 
you walk into the fire and you put yourself out. Uh, so that you can obviously get through this fire without, you know, wasting the entire fire extinguisher. Now, when we walk through this door here, uh, that does a cutscene where we're supposed to lose our infinite ammo fire extinguisher. But what we can do is trigger that text box, walk through this door. Like my fucking movement, I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. If I'd have got up the stairs, I would have kept my unlimited ammo fire extinguisher. I have got to fix my fucking control stick for uh, Saturday. That's really bad. I'll check uh, three and four as well. It's still doable with non-unlimited, but unlimited just makes it a lot quicker and a lot better. This guy so much. when it goes wrong. I'm gonna do this. <sighs> I managed to get him during that. God damn, do I love bounding throw. Fucking love bounding throw. It's so good. Bro, it's such a good fucking skill. Hey, here's your. This is a boss fight. It's also a set of QTs. It's not a boss fight. <laughs> also, fun fact you don't have to do one of these. You'd be surprised which one it is. Because it's this. Don't have to do the mash. I don't know why you don't have to do the mash. I have to do the mash. <laughs> Just like, yep, goodbye. I use a Dual Shock 4, but because I'm on my new PC, I don't have it configured properly. The PC versions of these games are real wacky with its uh, control stick shenanigans. It's got. I just gotta fix it. That's all. Too sensitive. Far too sensitive. Just like the stream. Can you suggest that Dragon's Dogma 2 is going to be bad? Upset. <laughs> It'll be great. Hey, right, now we run. Gotta go back to the taxi. Alright. That's fine. I have to hold it this far back just to do this. It's fucked. It is fucked right now. See, I don't know whether there is anything to the whole, you know, like letting pedestrian spawn stops, like, you know, the thing fight spawns, but like. Certainly felt like it there, that's for sure. Trouble with going here is you can have a fight spawn spawn next to you and you can't see it. Hey, look. Fight spawn. Right next to me. That's on the work. Just be careful of him. Alright, that's it. That's all the running around we do. Not drift. Alright. Gee. One last thing left for Kiryu percent. Should do our final jingu wheel roll. I need a cup of tea before whatever we get, or depending on what we get. Once again, if the jingu wheel wants to be based, it'll give me Parasite Eve. <laughs> God, I really want to do Parasite Eve. It'd also be a nice three hour run, so we would literally finish up in like 4 a.m. Alright. Be a perfect time for me today. Speak to Nakajima. Oh. Hey, boss. Alright, I'm going. I'm going. I gotta go start a war stopper.
Kun. Us. Kun. Ki. Ya. Hey. There is speed tech to this bit. Speed tech is don't get hit on your ass. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Uh, if you get knocked down to the floor, there's a big long set of QTEs that can happen, and it's bad. But I'm gonna start with the golf club I got. There's one enemy here that has a golf club. He's to my right. I need to see where obviously this golf club is going. It's gone. I'll use the planks. Yeah, it's gone. It's somewhere out there. I just have to go find it. Good hit. Alright. This guy. He's got a go. There's a gold Oh, it's right next to me. That's perfect. Fuck, that's bad. That's why it's bad. <laughs> This happens, you lose so much time. I killed the shotgun guy. It's not good to do, but like, damn. Yeah, the, I didn't mean to pick this up until later. I need to worry about these three for a second. So again, the most coolest like mid-fight things that happens in this series. <laughs> As you do. I had missed the other cars, but you know. Now we also need the golf club, which is right. Down to the last like guy anyway, but this guy. Hey, so we're gonna dragon spirit this guy. He's gotta go. Come in, buddy. He gotta go. Enemies are close enough, you can throw like that and it actually does like a good amount of damage to them. Come again. Hey. Alright, for this QTE. Fun enough, you actually want to fail it. Failing this QTE is actually faster. You'd be surprised. You'd think it wouldn't be, but actually, it is. And it does still take care of enemies. That's the wild thing. At this point, I should have used the shotgun, but it is gone. Who knows where it's gone, but it is gone. I'm close to death. That is Kiryu percent, GG. That is a wrap on Kiryu. God damn. God damn. That, that is a sixth of the Yakuza 6 speedrun. You can see the other five sixth this Saturday. <laughs> we'll be hopefully doing this for charity fundraising. There we go. E. E. I just, I just accidentally hit no. Okay. There we go. All right, GG. That is, that is the end of Yakuza 5. As I said, we can't do the full Yaks 5 today because it's six hours long. But yeah, you will see the rest of it on uh, you'll see the rest of it on Saturday. Uh, yeah, sure, that's a legit gold. My summer best now. Uh, I want to see my summer best in real time because I need sure whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. <laughs> All right, y'all know the drill. Bring up the wheel. <laughs> Bring him back. Bring him back. Damn it. Bring him goddamn back. You know what? We're using the Resi 4 music again because I've got it right in front of me. Bring him back, damn it. Alright. This will likely be the last wheel spin of the night. Oh, baby.
Now I'm starting to get a little afraid. He has behaved a lot tonight. So, let's find out. I still have three vetoes. You still have one. If you want to be base Jingu, you'll give me Parasite Eve. That's going to the pole. That's going to the pole right there. Hello, Kiwami 2. Do we play Akaza Kiwami 2? That is a good time run. That's a very good run. Ooh, 6 and K2 in one night. Jingu. Jingu. What a good wheel today. Right there. That's a very good one. Oh, yeah, K2 Crash Gang. Fuck. I'm part of the K2 Crash Gang. She. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> rolled Yak Survive. Hey, he rolled Yak Survive late enough that we just Kiryu presented it. Yeah, Jingu really wants Dragon Engine stuff tonight. Good for him. Good for him. No Gaiden. I mean, I'll take K2 or Gaiden, honestly. Like, both runs, fantastic. God damn. God damn. God damn. Good for you, Jenga. Good for you. Alright. I'll be doing K2. Yeah, god damn right we are. That's a resounding yes. Not quite as resounding as the 97% for Yakuza 6 earlier. But we are absolutely doing the K2. God damn. Right, you might want to make it Kiwami 2, Bryce, not Yakuza 2. <laughs> This ain't, this ain't no brass knuckles, baby. Right. Grammy 2, there we go. We did do it on this PC before, so I don't have to do the actual setup. Good shit. Good fucking shit, baby. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, it's all set up. Good fucking shit, baby. Last time we did K2 was December the 12th, which that was just after we built the new PC. God damn. God damn. I don't know why you can see my dashboard. Where do I, uh, I will get my notes just in case. Why can't you see my taskbar? Why can't you see my taskbar? You should not be able to. Is it because I changed before I launched K2, maybe? Why can't you see my taskbar? You should not be able to. Weird. All right, I'm going to restart OBS. There we go. Why can you see my taskbar all of a sudden? I blame you, K2. Not K2's fault. Blame you, K2. Let me get my K2 notes real quick. Uh, this will be the last run of the day. This will be the last run of the day. This takes us around to like a really nice time, honestly. So, not bad. Bad at all. We have had some good rolls of the Jingu wheel today. Well done. Ugh. All right. Three, two, one, go! I need to remember to quit the game at some point. <laughs> if I don't, my game is going to crash. <laughs> Hello, I am one of you, Crash Gang. <laughs> I need to figure out where I'm bloody doing it as well, actually, because I know everyone does it in, like, different places. Thank you, K2 Crash Gang. I'm here. I'm one of you now. <laughs> Yeah, this one will take about, like, just less than two hours, like, one hour fifty. So this is, a, this is a nice run to finish off the night with. Would have liked Parasite Eve. But this ain't a bad choice. This probably would have been my third choice. Um, second choice would have been Gaiden. But, hey. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Start. I think the game's a little loud. I've got to turn it down. I can turn it down in a little bit. No quick start. Alrighty. Thank you. Ow. Nice. Got it. And I've got you as well. Nice. Hey! Not a great graveyard, but we're fine. Again, the whole purpose of the Jingu Wheel isn't to go for PB, so it's to just show off the runs. Man, what a... What a... What a goddamn good night a Jingu pulls, honestly. 
can't believe it. A good Jingu wheel in the year 2024, the first one of this year. That's the first Jingu wheel that we've done uh, since 2022, since August 2022. And like, honestly, like, man, we got ourselves, like, even though two of them didn't make it, we had multiple games that have not been on the Jingu wheel before. Like, goddamn. Jingu wheel paying out. Uh, anyway, one of those tips. It, it's been a hot minute. Got Poseidon Paz, you know, the good stuff. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Nice to disappear on you. Try restarting your browser. It's a bit early. I'm surprised. I'm glad that guy was the one that, you know, survives. Yep. Fucked that up by doing that early. Yeah, the first crash was uh, very good. Very good. Also, I appreciate it, man. How you know? All of the parts are now up on the, not him, jackass. All the parts are now up on YouTube. Your little survives. Fuck. Come on. Bad start. Very bad start. <laughs> Forward. These are all automatic menus. I mean, my menuing is slow, but it's not this slow, I promise. So. Oh, oh. Three citrus cider, which I guess isn't a bad thing in case I make any mistakes with the attack drinks. Mess up my menuing later, though. Yeah, K2 is also kind of like six. The first, like, 15, 20 minutes of this run are really fucking fast. Really fast paced. Dragon Engine ah. runs for the most part are oh, looking at you, Judgment and Infinite Wolf. Very good fight. Very, very good fight. So yeah, unlike six that you saw earlier, I actually get to talk about it, like kind of like back to back. Unlike six that you saw earlier, you can see that we are able to uh, store our drinks that inventory in this game, which is very, very useful. We can, don't have to worry about, you know, when's the best time to go grab a drink from the vending machine. We just have them with us at all times. Come busted at all times. Uh, Poseidon Power, much like six, uh, gives you unlimited stamina. That's bad. That was 10. Fuck. Uh, and Muscle Soda here is the strongest attack drink in the game, but it gives your all of your uh, attacks massive knockback. It also makes you absurdly overpowered. Let me demonstrate. Let me very much do it, right? With the old bodyguards of one Daigo Doji. Oh, these enemies are particularly strong. All right, I need the keyboard for this, don't I? What about that? Good. So, the issue with the giant not back is that we can actually hit Daigo all the way down this alleyway, which is an issue. So what we're going to do is going to obviously grab the bike, spin Daigo to the wall on the right, and push him into it so that he doesn't fly away. You're dead. Daigo. Thank you. GG. Very much. GG. Appreciate you. Forgot how, forgot how like much lag and delay there was to skip the cutscenes in K2. Weird. Weird. <laughs> Alright! Legitimately, not doing this for shirts and giggles. I peek out your mom is the quick answer. Legitimately. 
If we go this guy's mom, turn around, grab bike, spin, muscle soda, bye bye. That guy in OG2 has four HP bars. Yes, four HP bars. Don't ask. Don't know why. It's fucking weird. Why does that man have four bloody HP bars? It's so weird. The man is a mini boss. For no apparent reason. Anyway, to the grand. We want to speak to these two on the right. There's three, I should say. There are three of them. Huh? And we head back and see Kurokawa. On the way back, we are going to be grabbing a gold plate. We need a certain amount of money in Chapter 4. This gold plate will help give us, I think it's 100,000 yen. Thank God for that. That's it. Probably a fight spawn coming out of the golf center. Yep, there it is. Don't worry, it will not get you. Boy. We'll despawn it. Let me run all the way back down again. With side and power, we don't have to worry about our stamina running out, obviously. And we just keep going. Let's keep going. Don't have to stop. All right, and then we get to the good old, the good old fight in the grand, which again, strats differ between OG2 and K2. In OG2, you shove everybody off the balcony. In K2, we go stabbing. Not good. Go stab. Uh, it's really hard to get like three of them in one stab because they usually go like different like angles and stuff. Especially that jackass who just decides to walk the other way. Almost a good fight. That should have been a twofer. Honestly, that should have been a twofer. I kind of messed up to be honest. Power. As I said in Yakuza Six. If you are a Dragon Engine game that is not Yakuza 6, you can just, just, like, skip through text really fast. There's, like, no upper limit to it. The running NPCs are all RNG on their positions. The standing ones and the walking ones are not RNG. This was an okay set of NPCs, apart from that lady. Thank you. Thank you, G. Up to Losing one second. K2's run, like, when you do K2's run a lot, you get really consistent at this run. Like, you get very, very consistent. This game's, like, this game's speedrun's difficulty isn't from the run itself, it's from the consistency. I like constantly getting those, like, really good times. There's a lot of, there's a lot of RNG that can happen on a lot of these set pieces, especially the next one coming up. Like... That's better than Yakuza 8? Nah, it doesn't. Yeah, because it doesn't have a piss filter all over it. I don't know why K2 decides to have a yellow filter over everything, but it does. It's weird. I'm going for that kind of grungy effect, but it's also just not good. For some reason, that cutscene takes ages to skip. No fucking idea why. Hey, this bit sucks. Uh, we have to rely on that wooden sword dropping and not breaking, which, considering Dragon Engine, yeah, you can probably guess how that's going to go. Good start. God damn. You want it for the next wave the next wave? God damn, that was a really good start. Jesus. Would be on a non-PB attempt, of course. For this one, I'm gonna try and take care of the two on the left. Uh the larger enemies require the last hit of the normal combo. Or a strong thrust like that. Oh come on. Ugh. After such a good first wave, the second wave was terrible. So all of this is going to be timed against our Muscle Soda. Uh, we want to save at least two Muscle Soda for the next chapter. That is a really, really tight drink round. You can do it if, you know, you're fast enough. And again, the consistency is there. So again, I want to use a light attack with my Switchblade for the guys with the sword. That sucks. Come on. Last hit is fine. Grab this. Gonna take it to the next fight with us. You wanna go through every double door in the dragon engine in the middle. It's quicker. As stupid as that sounds. It's actually quicker. Three hits is nice at least. If you're lucky, the guy on the right will walk towards you. You can two hit it. That hit you. If you get to the next sofa guy in time, I don't think he will. 
Oh, if I dodge all those knives. Good shit. Good movement. A very good movement. This game's run is coming back to me like a glove. It's so nice. It's just, it's right there still. Okay. Oh yeah. The sword at this point. I was hoping it would actually break on that last hit, but nope. Doing really well in the set piece, actually. Hit this guy once. Watch this guy's knife. And then, if we still have another soda on, it should push him into the door. Counts as one of the free hits you need to do, which enables you to get pushed through the door. Grab this, put it away. On the right hand side of this corridor, because he's going to throw his knife and go to the left. Potentially hit him so that he does that. You intentionally want him to attack. That makes it so that he doesn't, like, throw the knife at you and then interrupt you in the middle of your strong charge. Grab Sofa, start spinning. Because that didn't hit him originally. Hold strong. Watch knife go. This guy was called Namba. Rest in peace, Namba. How would he have fallen so far from Grace? Like a good glove, yeah. Like a good old fitting glove, you know? Alright, we are going to charge a light. Go down the right hand side of the lobby here. Take care of these three enemies. Now, in this lobby, we want at least one gun. If we get two, that'd be fantastic. But one gun. Can Just spin. That guy's still alive, which sucks. Uh, in this one, we're going to muscle soda up. We're also going to equip our thingy. I should just at this point because he's all the way over there. I should have dealt with him before I went to these guys. The gun guy is usually like going up the stairs. It really sucks. I use left D-pad for my sword because like usually I do up D-pad. <laughs> yes, rest in peace Namba. Former friend Namba. So for this, do the running strong and then back attack. And then usually you can get them both together but this guy decided to walk away for once. Yeah, I think left D-pad is my, my sword. I think. I'd find out. God, I love this guy. I can't believe he's still alive. <laughs> At least that's what RGG wants you to think. And for tin foil hat conspiracy theory, Yuji Goda is alive. Stab him twice through the heat attack. Let's all the way kick him up the ass. Your weapon hits are also hyper important in this run. Like, very, very important. At this point, I hope Ryuji doesn't punch me. He probably will. Stop it. He's been doing that a bunch to me lately. That's why I charged. You don't want to charge there. You just want to use a light attack. But if Ryuji does one specific move, he'll knock your ass all the way across the arena here. He's been doing it to me a lot. That was a decent chance of three, all things considered. Jesus. I wasn't expecting that. This is a, essentially a deep rust. Again, it's been like two months since I've done this run. I'll take only losing a sec. Match out. Holy shit. These, these D rusts today are going well. So. Where we run forward. Our stamina is a little bit in trouble here, and we don't want to use our Poseidon power straight away. We want to save it for a specific spot so that we can get the most out of it. Gonna be a roundabout because I went a bit left here. A bit earlier than I would like. I like it a bit closer to this red car. This should still be fine for what we need. I don't know why my cutscene skipping is so slow today with K2. Weird. So, head forward and head to the right. That fight spawn isn't the best, but we can deal with it. What we can do is go to the entrance of the MEB here. Uh, and that gets rid of their aggro. You can see that they their arrows disappeared from the HUD and from the minimap. Uh, you're not allowed to get into a fight in there. That's why. So. Here we go. And then we run forward. So, sometimes I go first person here because my fingers aren't very good at moving in a straight line. Meeting the first person just kind of like lowers that a bit. Already hit one NPC, so that's really bad. Uh, the text boxes in this bit are based on Kauru's remaining HP. The next one is at half HP, so we want to be very, very careful of that. Here 
you don't want to walk into too many people. This guy on the left also stops you to talk to you, so you don't want to go anywhere near him. This lady is a bad spawn. It's probably going to be a hit. Actually managed not to get the second hitbox. Wow. That's a surprise. Now comes the shopping segment, which, God, I don't remember this in the slightest. So, I need to do very specific things. If I get this wrong, we're in trouble. So, run down here to this guy. I'm fine, Max. He says, don't be such a stick in the mud. You can skip the rest of it. Go to the right here. Grab this locker key right here. This gets us a technique tome that gets us EXP that we need for leveling up in a bit. Uh, if we were down one more muscle soda, we could replenish it after this tax. It's up by one, my dude. So do it. A green vending machines to our right that have muscle soda, but we don't need them. Uh, we're going to head up here into this little section here that got really reduced in Gaiden for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, we're going to go and grab a specific item hidden under the sofa. It's a platinum plate. It's 200,000 yen. Again, we're still after our money bullshit that we were talking about earlier. That fight's one behind us usually spawns there, so that's good. We're going to head down this little alleyway to the left. There is a coin locker key we want here. This is for the blood cake chainmail. We'll be grabbing this stuff in a little bit when we have all the locker keys. First phone call. Waiting for the second phone call to be able to basically move the story along. Our bridge. I was thinking of Gaiden's our bridge there. I had to remind myself. Uh, head to the right to avoid a substory. As many people as you can. Down these stairs, you want to grab this coin locker key. This coin locker key gets you an oak wood katana. Has 36 hits on it. It's going to be the weapon we use for the majority of the early game. I want to run over here. Sorry. Grab the gold plate that's under this plant. Okay. This way, head into Ebisu. We sell those plates that we got earlier. This was all sub stories. We would buy a knife. And then we head this way and we go in taxi to the pharmacy. So the reason why we can't move the story along is that we need to get a specific phone call from Daigo. Uh, that is the second phone call of two. Did Daigo? No, it's um, it's Karu's mother actually, isn't it? It's Daigo is first. Yeah. So we need to wait for the second phone call, which is Karu's mother. Uh, she'll be phoning us pretty much as soon as we get into the pharmacy. If you do everything right uh, movement-wise, you will be in front of the pharmacist just as the phone call comes in. Grab the bandages. You cannot buy them before this point. In OG2, you can. Shouts to OG2. We're starting to run a little low. So do it. Head in here. Then we need to head back. Note to self, go to the Marjong Carla first, idiot. Right, so this is the second part of this whole rigmarole. Uh, in OG2, there is some really cool speed tech in this bit uh, that enables you to skip this entire section. Uh, in OG2, if you speak to this guy 15 times, he gets so mad at you that he actually just gets into a fight with you instead. And after the fight, you literally just gain access to the Marjong Power. You don't have to do any of what you're about to see, which is fucking wild. Uh, that is no longer in Kiwami 2, but Kiwami 2 has its own skip that we can do. Which is available in OG2, but you just don't have the money. See, my stamina is about to run out. Go to the right, speak to Junke. Oi. Sure sounds good. Uh. He wants us to catch something from the UFO catcher. This is what we say to that. No. And then we leave. At this point, we can run without having to use a stamina drink. Add fight spawn, we can get rid of it. Uh, it's going the correct way, at least, so you don't have to deal with it. Let's go past it. This is down. Oh, yeah. So do it. Later. I'm at the wrong bit. This is Junka's cat. Or Junka's little girl who is a cat. Oh, the Axe X wrong girl. I PB'd. Which is kind of wild, actually. It's on a heavy D Rust as well. Where's the sign? Wrong side. Spin, muscle soda, miss the guy called Yoshi, and turn to do his fucking taxes. 
tax man sent me a letter today to tell me to do my taxes. Thanks. I haven't forgotten, I promise. Grab the spirit tome, grab the blockade chainmail, and grab the oak wood katana. Head over here, side and power it up. Equip both the katana and chainmail. So I don't think we do the. I don't think we do the equipment until later. Oh. Oh. Wait. Like, I'm doing extra menus, it's fine. Speak to this guy, get Junker's cat back, and then we go and see Junker at the arcade. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Not a good feeling to have. <laughs> That's not good. This fight spawn's fine. It'll see me, but it won't get into fight with me. Speak to Junker, we get the How to Win at Mahjong book, and also we get the way into... The Mahjong Parlor, Mahjong Jambalaya. That's where we're going next. This is down by two on the taxi list. This one always catches new runners out. Because usually you would have East Chef Kucho, like, above this one. But because you're at the East Chef Kucho taxi, you can't taxi to the exact same place. So that one always catches out newer runners because of the fact that, you know, it should be there, but it's not there. That one is a down by two, not a down by three. All other parts of the runner is down by three. Good. Your call. Pay the 100k. Good. Uh, and you can do this in OG2, but you really don't have access to this kind of money unless you grind in OG2. Uh, we get told that if we pay 300,000 yen, we can skip a back and forth fetch quest. So we do it. Fuck the Mahjong parlor fight. It's terrible. <laughs> Any Mahjong parlor fight in this series outside of Yakuza yeah. 0 is bloody terrible. Uh, last muscle soda. Ideally, it would have hit everybody. If there's two enemies left, Saki is priority one. Because this guy goes down to just a light and a single. Priority one. And Saki takes a couple of hits. Platinum power it up. We're going to replenish our muscle soda. Just on the way down here. As Jerry Zang with two for 20 months. Appreciate it. Jingu Smog. Jingu Smog. Bad fight spawn. I got the miss. God, I didn't miss. And then we get the designated Kiwami 2 certified breakpoint. This is not in OG2, but it is in K2, and we can't do anything about it. It is, of course. Cabaret. So, here's how you do cabaret successfully. You open your club up. You invite your patrons in. There they are. Hello there, sir. He's going to come and sit down. He's going to say what kind of hostess cabaret girl he wants. You're going to sit there and stare at him. He's going to start to get mad. For no reason at all. And then you tell him. Fuck off. That's how you run a successful cabaret club in this series. The uh, reason that we do this, if you see that timer at the very top, it says 2.30 right now. If we interact with this minigame in any way, shape, or form, that timer stops, so we actually lose time. Oh no, that fight is bloody terrible. Like, I didn't get everybody in the free hits of the, uh, of the bin. Sometimes you do, and it's good. Alright, Rosa, thank you for stopping by. Have a good sleep. I hope you all enjoyed the Jingu wheel so far, by the way. We're literally like almost like a quarter of the way through this run. Real time, that is. As I said, K2 goes fast. K2, like this used to be the one run that we would suggest to everybody to learn. Like, because it's just, it's easy to pick up. Very hard to master. If you make a mistake in the run, you can easily fix it. And just, it's so accessible. Like, and the run's fun. Which is the important thing. <laughs> Not saying the other Yakuza runs aren't fun, because they bloody well are. But yeah, no, this was used to be the quintessential one that we'd suggest, but now there's just so many that we could suggest. Like, the resources for K2 used to be a lot better in K2 than like for the all the other runs. But now we have so many different like yeah, there are so many different like written guides, video tutorials. There's so many good places to start Yakuza speedruns these days. Not Yakuza 5, despite how much I say speedrun Yakuza 5. Promise. Love Yakuza 5. Maybe don't speedrun Yakuza 5. 
<laughs> Not immediately. Yakuza 5 is a good game. I goddamn do love Yakuza 5, but... It's a first time speed run. Not so much. Yeah, 6 is run is fantastic. I love 6 is run. There's just so many, like, decent yaks around now, which is nice. Very nice. We'll get there. We'll get there with oh old um, Infinite Wealth Yo, eventually, but it's going to take time, as I said. That run is just long. Al oh, Wentworth, thank you very much for the raid. Hope you're doing well tonight. On to the last game of the Jingu Wheel for today. This Jingu yes, Wheel has been uh, pretty fucking based. Um, we have had... Um, God, we've had new games. We've had new games. Uh, new games to the wheel. We've had old games. Old reliable games. But today has been a very good Jingu wheel. Today has been a very, very good Jingu wheel. One thing it didn't give me is Parasite Eve. So I'm probably going to do a Parasite Eve speedrun tomorrow. I ain't going to get a chance to do it over the weekend. I really want to do Parasite Eve's run. I always lose time in this chapter because like my my time on this chapter like in my PB is really tight. Really optimized. Optimized. Yeah, it's been a very good Jinguru. Um, he did try to give us Yakuza 5 at one point, but it was a bit too late, so he just did Q percent instead. It was the run before this one, ironically enough. Uh, we've had three Yakuza runs in a row. We did six, uh, Q percent in five, and then we did, uh, obviously this. We've had a good blend of non, non RGG and RGG. Well, actually, the first game was binary domain, so it's more RGG. But hey, a Jingu wheel starting with binary domain? See me complaining? I'm not complaining. God, I'm never complaining. Good Jingu wheel. <laughs> Very good Jingu wheel. We had Grand Blue. We actually had a, a, another two runs, as well as like uh, binary domain, uh, turn up on the actual wheel. Uh, we had Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which chat vetoed, because we did that the other day, to be fair. Uh, and then we also had Shadows of the Damned, which almost won, but unfortunately got vetoed. Oh, well, Shadows of the Damned. I could have been playing Shadows of the Damned. Oh. Right now. Oh, damn. I'm not complaining at K2, but I could have been doing Shadows of the Damned. Oh, I just forgot my sword. I need that sword. And this dagger. Hey, we have our first big level up, don't we? First big level up, I have to remember. Um. I have notes for it, it'll be fine. Uh, sprint 1, EXP 1 and 2, weapon 1. Back, obviously. Uh, my sword should be on ready pad, I hope. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, spirit tome, technique tome, uh, stats, we go sprint 1. EXP game 1 and 2. Uh, we do back skills, weapon 1. Are you? Yeah. And then everything else in attack that we can put in it. And at this point, you'll now see that we do a metric fuck ton of damage. Uh, if I, you know, use my knock soda. Idiot. I had two lost hits on that sword. That's not good. That's not good at all. Weapon hits are very... Damn it. Your weapon hits are very, very tight in this run. So... <laughs> All right, I gotta go to Donkey. This is an OG2. I was thinking OG2 again. Did you know OG2 is a good video game? I said this a couple of times. In OG2, uh, you can buy the beer and the underwear before you leave Sotenbori. In this game, you have to wait. Please speak to the man for the beer and the underwear. Thanks. Let me buy one. Arrow needs one change of underwear, damn it. <laughs> We don't need to use our Poseidon Pat here, which is nice to have enough stamina just to get to Donkey and then go back from here. Daichi. Yeah, it's available to everyone. Just go to any of the speedrun.com pages and you'll see a Discord link. Yeah. My nose has been itching for like the last five minutes, by the way. I really want to fucking sneeze. <laughs> Annoying. So there is something interesting going on in the run right now, by the way. I think I missed a wooden sword. I'm pretty confident I am missing a weapon. 
is a little bit concerning. It's very much a little bit concerning. I can make buy. I can like make do with this. Like honestly, like again, K two you can fix mistakes very easily. All of crowbars. I do think I'm missing one wood sword. I don't remember which one it is, but it's one of the uh, the smaller hit ones. Actually, I don't think I have. I think we're fine. This is the one text box you can't menu wrap. Um, you can't press left to go to the right. The one that you can't menu wrap in this game. Hello, Duskwaver. I'm gonna stab you with my nameless first because I would like to save a couple of my hits and my other weapons. That's bad. Need to move forward. Move forward more. I might actually stab Gary as well with the nameless. Hey, can you, Gary? Hello, Gary. Have a wonderful Gary Buster Holmes. Wooden sword for Nigel. Wooden sword for a lot of the rest of this now. That's going alright. Thanks, Blue Jays. Let's go. It's been a good stream day at the very least. Very good stream day at the very least. I don't believe it's already one in the morning. That magma twice. Do not heat attack. And make sure you do the QTE. Again, muscle soda damage does also go over the QTEs as well. Now try and hit magma. Good luck. Don't use a strong attack. Gotta hate this man. I turned the game down a bit. I didn't realize it was this loud. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Matter! Thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream tonight. Welcome to what has been a very good Jingu wheel. Very good Jingu wheel. Very, very bloody good Jingu wheel. It's been very RGG focused, as you can probably guess. When a Jingu wheel starts with binary domain, that's a good day. A real good day. I said this will unfortunately be the last game on the Jingu wheel. Unfortunately, this is the uh, this is the worst part of Kiwami 2 speedrun. This is the big RNG part. Fuck clan creator. Clan creator fucking sucks. <sighs> I'm glad some form of Jingu is being nice. <laughs> right? Very least, Jingu's been. We haven't had a Jingu game today. Here. Should go here. Got to go here. You here, you here. I'm wrong, Nisha needs to go back here. Should have done it for anyone over. I need to deal with them. Not too fast, but not too bad. Nishda gets a level up. Oh, not you. Fuck, I just dragged the wrong person over. Good. Not too bad. My great tracks are going to go here, says Nishda. A wave also just took a little while to break. Things aren't going badly, but just. Yeah. Here to help. So your best unit here is unironically Great Tracks, you guy. Good hit. Gun guy kicking. Gun guy kicking. Good hit. Ideally, you want a sub 50 second kind of creator in total, which is a fucking hard thing to do. I'm not sure I'm not Great Tracks, you guy, but. Oh, 
I leveled the very wrong people up. Why didn't I level Great Tracks Guy? He's the one who does all the damage. <laughs> I level match. Why did I ever level everyone once? That's weird. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. That was weird. <laughs> that was dumb of me. Yeah, Much better reward than Yakuza 6 Clan Creator, I'm sure you'll agree. Very much agree. Alright. That. We leave. Yeah, I lose a bunch of time in this chapter just because fuck, it is so, it's so tightly wound time wise. Hey, chapter 6 coming up. Got good old gun corridor. Oh, baby. This is where things get very technical and very fun. Also very hard. Uh, we have one gun from the lobby earlier, which means that we can try and aim for one gun in gun corridor instead of two, which is good. A little bit. Let's get this fast enough to hopefully not turn around. Good. Yuya interrupts us. We're going to head over to Fiat Square just after that. Uh, the alley works just as well as the square, if not better, because the uh, Fiat Avenue, that one actually has a substory where you spawn in, so you have to avoid that. Whereas here, we can just run straight to Morita. Good. Oh, about the same distance as well. Okay, speak to Marta on everything, and then head over here. Head to the left here. Don't worry about that fight spawn. This is an area trigger if you do get into a fight. We want that cone right behind us. Good first hit. Okay, that guy being the last one because he'll always take one hit to go down. I did able to hit him as well, but that first hit was gorgeous. Flame tap. We want to do these fights whilst we still have this, uh, whilst we still have this uh, food buff on. This is also the part where the game can soft lock. Well, not soft lock, hard lock. We've got to be very careful. Huh? Essentially, if we kill the last enemy of this fight at the same time that an enemy is spawning in. The game's gonna get confused and glitch out. Once again, you definitely are not gonna like come towards me anyway. Hate this guy. Good. Ugh. Good. And we run. I gotta be careful of fight spawns during this bit. This one is not good. Actually, it's going the correct way at least. Oh, guy's gonna see me. Okay, so because of this fight spawn, I have to speak to Kauru. This will de aggro them for a second. Pass. Hi. If it was a bit further down the street, or they were all going the other way, like it looked like they were going to, uh, we could have just ran past them and just like saved a little bit of time, but apparently not. Hey, 16 bit building. This set piece is one of those that's like really fun, but hard to be like super consistent at. One of those that you'll start like kind of not doing well at when you first run this game. The very first time, here he is. It's the man in black. I'm gonna stab him. He's already gone. Good for him. Uh, then we're gonna keep our sword out. We're gonna go to the right and break this barricade, at which point we're gonna get a new weapon. This, please go that way. Saw. Good. I only have two hits left on my nameless. That's bad. Yo. That actually interrupts me. That shouldn't have interrupted me. So ideally, we get a gun here. Well, that's fucking bad, isn't it? We're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, baby. Terrible gun corridor. I hate this. Yes, you can actually just do that. Oh, what I should have done was thrown the gun because I could have just picked it up on the way through. You can actually just dodge the shots of the submachine gun. It's kind of wild. But it works. I 
only have two hits left on the main list, that is actually a very big problem. If I do, I know where I can use them, but... <laughs> That's really bad. That's really, really bad. I'll use the last one on the next... On the door, actually. Fuck this door. Take my sword that way. Oh, still got it. Good. Got this. Okay, I have free for the man in black. That's good. Kinda brought it back. Give him half a second. This guy has life, friends. Sword as well, that's fantastic. Run back here, grab the gas canister. This strat also works on Legend. You'd think that he'd be too aggressive here, but he's not. Uh, he now changes to his knife shoes, so he has a blunt and blade attacks. He also has a gas canister coming to his face in about two seconds' time. Bang! Give him in the corner. Try and hit him again. I have to wait here because he's gonna, like, guard. Yep. Bad. Messed up my timing. Messed up my timing. Definitely down weapon durability, and I don't like that. It'll be fine, but at the minute, not good. Very not good. Okay, that's that. I saved a second. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I'm down a lot on my weapon durability. This is, uh, this is worrying. Put it bluntly. Uh, take good old Parawa and Kazuki over to Dokimoto's. Four Muscle Soda is perfect at this point. On the fast drink route. I can't help but feel I have gotten a wooden sword somewhere. A bit on the worrying side, but again, fixable. So as long as we can get to the next chapter, very fixable. Uh, this bit sucks. We have to avoid the cops in this bit, and when you come up here, you can't see where they are straight away. Uh, there's one right there, and as long as we avoid them, it's fine. There's one in my corner. Okay, great. And the other one is to my right. Uh, they're completely randomized in K2. They are not randomized in OG2. Where are you going? This way. Not too bad. Not oh, too bad. Alright, nice. So, if you need to do the, uh, the old F4 at some point, my dude. Otherwise, we're gonna get the crash. I don't know when I want to do it, actually. I know some people do it in Chapter 9. Maybe, maybe Chapter 9 would be a good idea. <sighs> Phantom! Oh. Uh, uh. Looks like that's start skip. Well, it's not. Uh, we still have the Poseidon power on from previously, so just to run. Just, just leave. Go. Also, if Date catches up, you get to see in this bit that Date is actually, would you believe it, a spooky ghost. See? You can see through his shirt. Date did not exist this entire time. Unbelievable. And then we run back to Dokimo. <laughs> we just run straight back. Nanotech, thank you very much for the tier one for 33 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. This fight in OG2 fucking sucks. <laughs> This fight in OG2 is like literally the fucking worst. In K2, this fight is so fucking good. <laughs> it's it's night and day. It's so much nicer in K2. Uh, you only have to get one of them to one HP, but we're gonna get both of them to one HP because, as you can see, there's a table. I have muscle soda. Fuck me by. Yeah. 
Make sure you hold the direction of where they are. It helps with the feel of the heat. If you don't, that feel the heat sometimes just doesn't go off. It's weird. It is what it is. Uh, in OG2, you have to try and get the both of them into one corner and hope that you can gut punch the both of them at the same time. It is nasty. It is pure nasty. Like, actually, genuinely nasty. Like, one of the, the hardest things you have to do in OG2 speedrun. Not the hardest. There is speed tech that's exclusive to OG2 that is very, very fucking hard. And it is Shindo Skip, which you won't be seeing Shindo Skip in this game, but you will be seeing Shindo Skip in this game. It's a completely different Shindo Skip, and it is so fucking good. Both of them are so fucking good, to be fair, but the one in this game is a lot easier to pull off and requires an item that we already have. Pull out a gun. Anyway, grab the bar stool and swing. Ideally, two hits, three is fine. You're down to zero muscle soda at this point. You must replenish your muscle soda right now. Or one. You need two at this point, otherwise you're in trouble. Uh, that is the last Poseidon power that we need to use as well. We don't need to use any more during this run. Because in the next chapter, we are going to be leveling up our sprint. Where are we? No, not next chapter. Chapter after. We don't need to sprint for very long, for very long distances. It's not good. I should use the vending machine. Oh, wait, no. Granny White. Aha! Good job I didn't. So, in OG2, Granny White is completely avoidable. In K2, obviously she's not. Uh, spin. Muscle Soda. Oh, I was hoping to get a hit as well. They were, Moon was moving away, so I was trying to, like, pivot a little bit towards Moon, which sucks. As long as you have one Muscle Soda left here, you are good for the next bit. It's a little tight if you're a newer runner, but at the same time, cool. If you buy some spare citrus cider, you'll be completely fine. In this chapter, we are going to be getting the weapons that we're going to be using for the vast majority of the rest of the run, or at least for a lot of the uh, a lot of the set pieces. That's such a bad fight spawn. That's actually garbage. That's actually really garbage. Fuck you, video game. Usually that gets despawned. I'm really surprised that one didn't get despawned. That's bad. Anyway, we get a phone call from Granny White. Uh, Granny White has a multi-part substory. Uh, she will give you a phone call or email depending on when you're in a certain area. We know what the areas are. This is the first one, obviously. We can't get past it. We have to come here multiple times. Okay, cool. So, several fellas are dealing damage to the underside of the Millennium Tower. Basement, the power. So we're going to go take him out. I'm going to get my Oakwood Sword. Run this way. Stab towards you. Uh, use Muscle Soda. Stats, I want to do weapon level 2. Uh, where are you? Just hit square, idiot. And then attack up to 130. Very important not to go too far over. Which sounds weird, because you think more damage the better. Not in this case. Oh, you respawn too late. So in this bit, enemies spawn behind where you can see. That's why you are turning the camera every single time. Ooh. And now it's time for this jackass that doesn't seem to fuck off it. Hi, Ashi. Oh. Can't say hello to Hayashi. This is what we're going to do. Stab him. Really stab him. And as he's standing up, you want to take a strong attack and hit him. Because that does an immense amount of damage. You want to make sure you do this QTE. And uh, look at this HP bar. Man's fucking dead. Try and put your weapon away. Sometimes you get a couple of seconds before he goes to the next phase. Otherwise, just put your weapon away in the next, uh, the start of the next fight. The start of the next phase. This fight's super cool in OG2. You have to, like, you have to time your attacks against him. But it's a long fight, and it's a bloody scary fight at that. Charge a light attack. Trust. 
Your light attacks are really good. They give you a bunch of hyper armor and they get you through Hayashi's hyper armor. Fuck you, buddy. With that, yeah, QT. Don't do the QT. As fun as it is to punch Hayashi, don't punch Hayashi. Mm -mm. There's a time and a place, and it's called OG2. That man's neck just snapped, I swear to God. Mini dance. With that, we are planted right next to the muscle soda vending machine here in the middle of town. So we're going to get ourselves our replenishment of our muscle soda. You can see our little muscle soda we had left after that. That's why I said it's quite tight timing-wise. And we're going to head to Shangri-La. Shangri-La in both OG2 and K2 is horrible. In K2, it's horrible for execution. In OG2, it's pure difficult. The last room of Shangri-La in OG2 will kill so many speedruns. It is absurd how nasty it is. Anyway, where in the world is Daigo Dojima? Find Daigo. Grab the plant. Hey! Grab the plant, hit everybody with it. Okay, on that. Uh, if you still have wooden sword hits, you can use the wooden sword. I'm going to charge a light, hopefully hit this guy. I would have liked his knife. His knife is actually kind of nice because it stops you using more of your weapons, so now I have to use my sword. If you've seen I've been opening my weapon wheel and not selecting the right weapon, it's because I always put my wooden sword onto left D-pad, and it's not on left D-pad. Crowbars! Crowbars are fucking amazing. Period. Massive damage, not good reach, but just amazing damage. Like, crowbars are amazing. Crowbars are the fucking best. Like it actually you leave these two to last so that they hopefully hit the barricade. That's a shame, because I swear to god he hit it. Run past this guy into this room, start taking care of these enemies. These all gather up behind you afterwards. That's a shame. Two, grab crowbar, put this one away. Run inside the room, grab this crowbar, start swinging. Keep an eye on your muscle soda, because it is going to run out. Bounce off this corner, throw that towards him. Turn back, grab this, go back. Stab this, put it away. Crowbar would have been a good idea in here, but it's fine. It's gonna go for a very tight weapon hit. Very tight weapon route. There's a crowbar to our left, you'll see it as the camera's panning in this cutscene. Grab that. Is that in this bit here? Enemies. Okay, that's nice. I didn't think that did. You might also be noticing that the camera is not automatically following behind me. That's on purpose. You turn the auto camera off for this game. It is very important. You turn it off. This guy sucks. Tomito is like one of the nastiest enemies in this entire run. That sucks. Uh, there should be one behind me, right? Yes. I wanted to grab the crowbar that was in this corner as a spare, but the bodies hit it, so... I think the attack buff is gonna last long enough because of that. Sucks. I'm already losing time in this chapter. Chapter is so tight, time-wise. Like, it's so flippy tight. This is fine. We're pretty much done with this wooden sword. I don't need any more. Oh! Alright. Wooden. Crowbar. Gun. Wooden. Crowbar. Gun. Sounds like I'm making an incantation, but I'm not. It is the weapons that I need in this next bit. Wooden. Crowbar. Gun. Who's this guy? Honestly, this guy would probably make a pretty good bartender, if you ask me. That's a text skip, you idiot. Oh, it is. Wooden crowbar. Come on. You'll get to see Shindo skip in this chapter. It is pretty fucking cool. It's pretty fucking cool. Uh, I think it was Kuro who came up with uh, Shindo skip in K2. Very fucking cool. Very, very fucking cool. And don't forget the muscle side, of course. Wooden crowbar. Gone. Hello, Herida. Fucked it. 
<laughs> Y'all fucked it right up. What didn't crowbar done? Alright. Remember the guy at the Grand in Chapter 2, Hashimoto? He's back and he has a sword. This guy fucking sucks. You really want to hit him first. You have to get the wooden sword out and you have to do a strong thrust immediately. Otherwise, he's going to be the biggest pain in your ass. I did not move forwards. That's bad. Fuck off. Had enough of your shenanigans. He basically goes hyper aggressive the second, like, like about a second or two after the fight starts. You have to go for him first. Like, have to. He sucks. Grab me some fresh muscle soda. Not that much that we need, but this will get us enough for the next couple of chapters. So we do it. Planning task for story. Self, we don't level up here, but you are going to forget to level up during the Shindo fight again. No, you are. Let's do. It's going to change from years ago, you idiot. That is actually a star skip. What are we doing when we get to Shindo? Sprint free, quick step cancel, weapon attack axe. I'm gonna forget. <laughs> no, I'm gonna forget. Alright, fun fact. You can soft walk the game here. So, with this fight coming up right here, uh, we need to not finish this fight too fast. If you finish this fight too fast, then you actually soft walk again. So, that's a soda. Sword out, start hitting these enemies. Actually, I should have crowbarred. It's crowbars for these guys. Oh, anyway, free wooden sword. I'll take that after messing up my wooden sword. Next. Watch out for Shimura. He's aggressive. I'll get you in time. Nope. Okay, that's one extra muscle soda than I would like. So we are now not on the good drink route. We have to be a little bit more careful. Actually, we should be okay for this bit. I should have done my level up there, because normally I would muscle soda here, but... It's all last phase? No, I don't need to wait for last phase. Cool. Hey, Shindo! Shindo strats are easy. Press circle, you pick up the sofa next to you. Hit him. Bye. Alright, so, the problem with this is that pushing Shindo to this next phase makes it so that he is going to either store up a guard or a dodge. So, the way that you get around that is you use heat attack. Get the guy! This is Shindo skill. So... Once again, Shindo is going to store up a dodge or a guard when he gets outside. We can negate that with the simple power of bullet. Oh, I love the power of bullet. It's good. Punch door. Punch door faster. So you want to get to about here, look at Shindo, aim at him, shoot. Bye. That was right in the face as well. That Shindo skip. That's Shindo skip. He's busy. It's a good skip. It's a great skip. It's a fantastic skip. Like, literally, we just get rid of him from this fight completely. We just delete him. Yes, these are the Ishin animations. This is Ishin. Fun fact, this was twice the size in OG2. It goes on for another literal two animations. Thanks, OG2. In OG2, we have a different version of Shindo Skip, and it's one of the nastiest battle techs that we have to do in any of the RGG speedruns. Literally, the difference between pulling it off is a singular right punch. It is terrifying. Yeah, two Shindos, one night. I die him. Hey, note to self, do the fucking level up here. Dumbass. Sprint free, quick step, weapon attack max. Uh, sprint free. Uh, quick step. This game. Uh, weapon attack max. Oh, 
So the Master Soda does. HP bars worth of damage. Pick up the seat. Hit Shundo. GG. That's the end of the fight. Not easy. Fun fact. Your enemies can break out of field heat. This happens very much with a late game boss that goes by the name of Day Jim Kim. They can break out their field of heat and they can literally kill you whilst you're charging up. Hate this game. <laughs> I love this game a bit. Alright. Um I need to do I need to alt F4. Otherwise my game's gonna crash at some point later. So I need to alt F4 at some point in this chapter. I need to figure out when I'm doing it. Because I don't fucking know when. Ew. Fuck. Clear Avenue puts you straight Sooner. into the next story beat. I need to figure out when I'm doing it. I know when other runners do it, but I left it a little late, to be honest. Alright, so this is the florist Sun. It's a little bit of filler. We have to deal with taxi bullshit. I do have the Crash Curse now. I have joined the K2 Crash Gang. That's a bad fight to win. In a good place, though, because I can run past it. Uh, actually, I think people used to do it here as well. I might do it here, actually. If this, uh, if this auto is on the bottom right, I'm actually going to do it here. Goodbye, Kiwami 2. For those who are wondering, uh, K2's PC port, when you speedrun it, it's a little temperamental. Um, you have anything more than a quad-core CPU. Which is any CPU in the last couple of years. For some reason, at some point, something in this game just like doesn't load in or like there's a memory leak or some shit like that. Uh, if you are speedrunning this and you get to a certain point in the game and you haven't restarted it, uh, the video game doesn't like that and it crashes on you. And go. So yeah, I have to do that now. I never used to have to do that. I was one of literally like three runners that didn't have to deal with the K2 crash at all. Now I do. <laughs> now I fucking do. K2 crash gang, I'm here. In this game, the florist is at his desk. You know, G2, he's not. Oh, no oh, way. Oh, no way. Take boy, thank you very much. Table for 26 months, I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. You're having a good evening tonight. Also, if you are a resident of one of the following unfortunate countries, which I am, uh, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and Turkey, uh, your sub prices on Twitch are going up, by the way. I have an issue. I have a big issue. What the fuck am I? Uh. Ooh. I might be in trouble because I forgot to replenish my muscle soda, but I might also be thinking of the old route and I don't. No, as I said, it's CPU based. It's literally quad core CPU or above. My old PC had such a bad CPU that I wasn't getting the crash at all. There's only literally been three of us who have ever ran this game and just never gotten the crash. Fucking funny. Um. I think I'm fine. I know where I can replenish my muscle soda if I need to, but I think I'm fine. So. Yeah, the US sounds like they're going to get the uh, the subprice increases. But yeah, if you are like if you are from one of those countries, which unfortunately I am, um, if you have to unsub to me, do not feel bad. Like those subs raising in price, like it might be going back to the price in the UK that it originally was, but that is still one pound extra per sub. The five subs, that is an entire sub again now. So if you are in one of those countries and you have to unsub, I understand. Fully understand. Especially if you live in Turkey, where your economy is currently going through hyperinflation. Holy shit. Holy shit, y'all. Good luck. No, <laughs> Holy shit, y'all. Good luck. I'll know after the next fight if I need muscle soda or not. 
So did I. I almost went to the Gaiden taxi list. Ew. Weird. Why was I thinking Gaiden all of a sudden? Yeah, no, a question was asked during the Q&A about whether America sub prices were going to go up at some point, and they were pretty much like, I think it was like, I don't remember the exact wording, but it was like, at some point, like this year, they are going to go up at some point. And though you'll probably go up by a dollar. Like, it's kind of like the same as like Canada, or Australia, and the UK with its pounds. You'll probably go up by like a dollar, and that's, that's probably about it. But again, that means every five subs, that is the price of a sub. So it does, it does start stacking. Speaking of stacking, it's time to chug more muscle soda. God, I'm going to have diabetes after this run. Hell yeah. How much? They did not say no. But it will likely be a dollar. But it is, it's one of those things that, you know, if you have five subs, you know, that's expensive. Six muscle soda. I want to say that's just enough. Fuck it. Let's find out. I have citrus cider if things get, like, too bad. Fuck it, we ball. I think that's a, I think that's a tech skip, actually. Go to the right to avoid a substory. Go to the left to avoid a substory. Surprise. Run down the bridge. I don't think, uh, I don't think Canadian dollars will go up again. Um, I think we just went up to nine. I don't think they raise it again. Again, but US dollars are absolutely, I would expect your sub prices to go up at some point this year. They pretty much confirmed. So just, just be aware of that. As I increased last year. And honestly, like, Twitch are obviously trying to, Twitch are trying to, like, like, get rid of old bloody, what do you call it? Um, Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, blah, blah, blah. Where the fuck are you going? It's an OG too. Up here, on ass. <laughs> That's the wrong way. That's the wrong chapter. <laughs> I think I'm in chapter 13 for a second here. All right, punch this guy with a crowbar. Fuck this guy. I should have used my muscle soda first. Um. No, I really think Twitch is really trying to push away from like Twitch Prime. Um, it wouldn't surprise me to see if they like actually drop like Prime at some point. Um, nice triple. Oh baby. Doesn't happen very often. Um, the whole Partner Plus stuff, uh, which I'm super excited about. Um, if you didn't hear, um, streamers with Partner Plus, uh, currently most streamers earn 50-50. Um, they are changing the points for Partner Plus. Um, if you get like 200 points, you go up to the 60-40 contract, uh, which I am absolutely going to be going up to in... Um, is it May? Yeah, it's in May. So I'm going to earn 10% more wage, which, that's nice. Um, but if you can get, I think it's free? Is it 300 points on the dot? Yeah, it's 300 points on the dot now. Uh, you can actually get the 70-30 contract, which I'm kind of close to. I don't want to lie and say, you know, oh, I'm almost there. A couple more subs and I'll get it. Uh, no. Um, I'm about... Usually on a good month, I'm about 50 points off. But it has to be, unfortunately, like, new subs, not prime, not gifted. It's a pain in the ass. If it was prime, I'd, I'd fucking have it. One ten. You bastard D-pad. <laughs> that was on me. That wasn't my D-pad. One ten. Oh my god, maybe it is my D-pad. 110. 100. Oh no. <laughs> oh fucking damn you codes. 5, 8, 2, 4. Do not tell me my D-pad's breaking, because yes, this is the new dual shock. I'd be very upset Good. if it is. What have I been using the dual shock of this controller for recently? I've been using it for something. I mean, obviously a little bit of infinite wealth. What have I been using it for recently? A little bit of grand blue. Definitely something I've been using it for uh, recently. I don't remember what. Persiona? No, not Persiona. 
Mm. Been using it. Oh, I'm gonna stab this man. Oh, like. I've been using it. Tomb Raider. Yeah, you're right. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. That's the jet. So if I bust... What a late reaction. If I busted my D-pad on Tomb Raider, I'm gonna be upset. This is a new DualShock. Actually... I have a dual shock I could use for Tomb Raider where the left stick is drifting, but I can just disable the left stick, Tomb Raider. And just use the D-pad, because I am only using the D-pad for Tomb Raider like the good old days. Um. There's a shit ton of time in this chapter, goddamn. 20 seconds is a lot. I am enjoying the remastered Tomb Raider, yeah. It's literally taken me back to my childhood. It's also made me think that my previous childhood self might have been a masochist. So I'm going to be honest, I don't know why I like the Tomb Raider games as a kid, and I don't think I had the patience for them, but I still play through them all. <laughs> like, I definitely think I was a masochist as a kid, because that and Crash Bandicoot, what the fuck? Kid me, you had some weird taste. I don't know how the fuck I survived Tomb Raider as a kid, honestly. Tomb Raider? Yeah, no, it's definitely... I've definitely been doing a lot of Tomb Raider. It's been nice to play again. It really has. The remasters... The remasters of Tomb Raider, Punchy said the uh, the same thing, and, like, I fully agree. I wish with the remasters of Tomb Raider, the original Resi trilogy would get the same love and respect. Can you imagine if OG Resi 1, 2, and 3 had, like, remasters, like, the Tomb Raider remaster collection? Oh my god, it would be so good. Oh, it would be so fucking good. Oh. I oh, know. Oh, this bit, yeah, this bit you teleport backwards if you get too close to these, like, these poles, by the way. You have to be a bit careful. But for Steam Deck? Not sure. I'm not a huge fan of the the D pad for the Steam Deck, so I wouldn't play it on my Steam Deck. Although, obviously, you can Bluetooth a, a controller onto it. Yeah, no, the Tomb Raider remastered. Well, I I do wish Resi would get the same same kind of love. Like I know the I know the remakes are there to kind of like say, hey, you don't need to play the OGs, but the OG Resi games are so fucking good. Uh, that's why like Resi Free Biorand appeared on the fucking wheel earlier because I really love Biorand. Uh, Resi Free because Rosie Resi Free is great. Hello, sir. You're about to get hit in the face with a bike. I'm going to grab Melsa Soda. I'm going to go to my stats. I'm going to level up my attack to 174. And not any more than that. Alton. Actually, very important. You might be thinking, well, wouldn't you want to go to max damage? Wouldn't that be better? Uh, no, actually. 174 allows us to still one-shot every enemy and boss, or like, you know, free-shot every enemy and boss on the way to the finale. But 174 is literally one point below pushing the final boss into their final phase. 174 in water. Age fairly badly. It has been interesting going through Tomb Raider 1. Like... A lot of the a, a lot of the early level design in Tomb Raider 1 is really fucking good so far. But like the issue is like a lot of the levels later on. You have to if you don't know the correct way, you keep like having to backtrack on yourself a lot. I love like exploration in OG Tomb Raider. But like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Who could have got? I mean, you're not one shotting things about the muscle soda anyway. Good first hit. Fuck oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck happened to that? <laughs> Oi. Like, you're not one shotting things about muscle soda anyway. So, not having muscle soda is not part of the equation. One. 
This fight spawn is here, you can sneak past the ground here. And this is K2, not OG2. So I need to go this way for the acupuncture clinic. OG2's acupuncture clinic doesn't exist in this game. Rest in peace, good old Sensatio. Love you to bits. Abasaki. Hey, where's my attack? Yeah, we had one muscle soda left over. Respect. Good shit. Beautiful shit. Alright, race against time because we need this muscle soda lost. Frank's house. Frank. What Frank is, but that's his house. I want the muscle soda. Rush off. And then no side. Alright, so we begin. We need to take care of every enemy apart from Kunieda first. Which is weird, in OG2 it's the opposite. Uh, the opposite. You have to take care of him first. Fine if you do, it's just he's gonna usually guard that hit. It's a saving a bunch of my ammo, which is good. And my durability, I should say. Your hits are randomized in this game, your QTEs. In OG2, they are fixed, so you know what QTE it's going to be at every point. You can take care of these enemies without Muscle Soda. No, thank you. Uh, but if you have Muscle Soda, you can use Light Attacks on them. Which, for the most part, does make a lot of these fights a lot nicer. This floor's layout is exactly the same in OG2 and K2. In OG2, however, this door is open. Please. This is probably the hardest set piece to be consistent at. It's really fucking hard. Uh, in OG2, you need to free up a hand to be able to use the minigun. Thankfully, in this game, you don't. We hit it first. It stops backup from arriving. This is going to count the clockwise direction. GG. This is where it gets a bit scary. This is where we want Kinea to first. Otherwise, he's gonna resummon all the enemies in this fight. That ain't good. Just trying to dodge away, I should have done that. What did I just say about that not being good? The downside is if these enemies walk on these spears, they will just dodge constantly. It's a nice time for that to run out, actually. It's a wild time for that to run out. God damn. Alright. Tigers. Oh, yeah. Alright, so Tigers. They need new muscle side of phase 2 anyway. So, want to get the sore out. And then in the animation of us getting the sore out, we can go and use our muscle soda. You will get hit in this fight. I should have done that first. Fuck. Yeah, but Tiger, you want to run forward so I can, you know, I get twice. I don't think I did. <laughs> I tried. Once, I got it once, at least. Interesting, because the second Tiger will always charge at you. Like, you could technically line them both up. Whether it's fast or not. I don't know. I'm actually beginning to believe there might be a way to line the tigers up. Oh my god, you fucker. This is why you take the tiger fight very seriously. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't have enough sword for Kurahashi. Uh oh. After the name looks. It's fine. Yeah, the nameless should be enough. Man. Gosh. <laughs> 
That's your limits. No. <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately, K2 doesn't have speed tech in this bit. OG2 does, you can cut, like, the entirety of this next bit in half. But we can't for K2. We have to do the entirety of this, the video game wants us to. So, this idol producer wants Haruka to obviously become an idol. Uh, in OG2, uh, you have to go back to the bar to be able to get the next phone call. In this game, you can just taxi away and you can just get it immediately. And taxi straight to attack. Real shame, this, uh, this next fight in OG2 has one of my favorite tracks of OG2, and it is not in this game remixed in any way. Okay. Nanny. Hey, some dude is gonna call me grandpa and I'm gonna hit him with a sign. As you do. Huh? Six muscle soda. Ha ha ha. Uh, that's two highway one. I could potentially not refill my muscle soda, but if one fight goes wrong, we're in trouble. It's like, well. If we have four left at the end, then uh, that would have been enough, but it's very tight. It's very, very tight to do that. I haven't done this run in a hot minute. I don't want to risk that, to be honest. Yeah, in OG2, you can skip all of this bit. Uh, you have to go speak to Haruka at the bar, and she just, like, says, Hey, do you want to go to Kamurocho? Well, she, she doesn't do that in K2. We have to just sit through all of this. Pain in the ass. Unfortunate. Good. There should be an area trigger anyway. If you're on PS4 and you skip the, uh, the next, uh, the second cutscene coming up, at the right frame, you can actually glitch out the audio. It's something you can very easily do in Judgment on both console and PC. And any, like, background music just stays until you go back to, like, the main menu. Fine. I think in K2 it's not too long to do this bit, because obviously we have, like, fast travel anywhere. So do it. Well, not fast travel anyway, but we have the, the ability to, like, obviously fast travel to a bunch of places. Okay, crowbar, nameless gun. And hello, what the fuck's up? What's going on with me right now? Uh. Crowbar, name rush, gun. One of the nice things that K2 has over the power over OG2 is the power of physics. So we're gonna run up to this guy in the middle, grab him, throw him, and hopefully hit everybody off the truck at the same time. Uh, I did not want to equip that because I need to change my weapons, idiot. Change my weapons when they're equipped. Crowbar, nameless gun. So fresh crowbar, nameless we got left over, and a gun. See muscle soda. So we're gonna let's bounce. Crowbar the majority of the enemies here. Again, Crowbar has an immense amount of damage at this point. It is really good. So the reason why we have a gun is for this bit. This guy right here. You have to kill him as well. And the wild thing is, the guys that have guns here on this truck, you'll see that both of them actually broke. This bit has really bad physics for trying to keep weapons alive. So instead of waiting for him to throw a grenade, we just, you know, use a gun. Nice two HP bars. Bye. Let's get after Nameless. 
wish I had enough saw, but I don't. It's a pain in the ass. That means some of the fights in chapter 14 are going to be a bit slow. So fine. I do actually kind of like this song, I'm not going to lie. I think I should be able to get through this fight with one muscle soda. Just run with the names. GG, good stuff. Yeah, we'll have to nameless. Um, not famous Kurahashi. It's a shame. That's what it is. Also, pay attention to where the man in black goes after he gets punched off this truck. Not dead, by the way. Like, actually not dead, by the way. He's coming back. Man is somehow stronger than anyone else in this series. Not quite sure how he's not dead, but he isn't dead. Middle enemy tower. Be careful here. On the right hand side, you'll see there's a bunch of uh, enemies that you can fight, so just don't run to the right. We don't have enough soul hits, so I'm just gonna keep my nameless on, I guess. The old fashioned way for good old Bantam and Stardust. Shame. Damn it, I didn't move away. So I was trying to quick step cancel to move away from this. Reason being is that this will get rid of the weapon that you have equipped. So now I'm gonna have to, like, obviously re, re equip my weapon and then reposition the enemies as well. After a certain bartender. Which one? Obviously the one at bartender, right? Ooh, bad angle. Fun! Bad angle. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very bad. Very bad. People that survive that shouldn't. It's true. That's the Dokimoto. Got that one guy's kidney stone for the drink. <laughs> Expect. I could cure my kidney stones of a single drink. Uh yeah. I got six hits left, which should just be enough for Stardust. This is uh a little tight weapon wise, but we should be fine. Gotta go find Karu. He is over at Serena. Stuck on the toilet. Help. Help. Please skip the cutscene. Thank you very much. Right, I'll have to dock in those, you know, the drill. And to go stop the bombs that, you know, go you clan planted around Camarocho. Okay, we're gonna take over Camarocho, but also we're gonna explode it. Great plan. Great plan. Amazing plan. The idiots. Right, OG2, you got to the top left, but in K2, we have access to a taxi at the bottom of Tenkaichi. After this one instead. It's a good fight spawn, actually. It's a beautiful fight spawn. Because now I can just run straight forward, and the fight spawn at the end of the road isn't going to bother me. That is a beautiful fight spawn. Good stuff. I'm going to tell you, See whether my restart has uh, has made me not crash because the crash is coming up. Do crash gang, rise up. Here, <laughs> I'm with you now. I do wish this had the quality of life stuff from like later RGG games where I could like not have to hold the button to sprint. I really do have a drink right now. 
Oh my god. Yo, it's out of box. Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you had a, a good stream tonight. Watching the last run of this Jingu Wheel stream. It's a goddamn good Jingu Wheel stream, that's for sure. That's for goddamn sure. This is the bit where there's a lot of running around. <laughs> Just a lot of running around. Well, there's more running around in this bit in OG2 because you don't have, you know, access to fast travel to the good old Millennium Tower, for example. That's right. I had to second guess myself there. So like, wait a minute. Too much thinking about OG2, not enough thinking about K2. <laughs> Alright, because my weapon usage has been a little oh god, I'm gonna use this uh, I'm gonna use this seat instead. Hey, bud. Oh god. I should just light and straw. I should just light charged. Really? Thank you. This is why I like using the sword. Fuck that guy. I use the sword. He can't fucking guard against it. Can guard the crowbar. That's the one downside of the crowbar is the enemies can guard against the crowbar. Well, now it's time to find out whether restarting the game works or not. Because uh, this is where the crash happens. Happens on the run back to Dokimoto's here. crash game. Yep, that's me. Part of the K2 crash game now. <sighs> it's me. I'm here. I'm just like y'all. <laughs> and for this fight, we'll just use the tank. Nice and quick. As of all the enemies guarding my goddamn verge hits today. This are run this uh, drink over the Stardust. This is not an area trigger. Alright. Hey. Hey. This is all not deep bad. Take care of those Shiro first. You think the ones standing together would be more important? No. I see it. Why is that works as well as it did at the end there? Alright. Cool. There is not much to talk about in chapter 15. And do we, do we just walk back and forth. I make sure I replenish my muscle soda before the finale. That's about it. Honestly. <laughs> That's about it. Like the entirety of this chapter is you just go with Haraku and you can walk around Kamurocho and do a couple of like Haraku exclusive sub stories. <laughs> not in this speedrun, we're not. In all sub stories, we are. In this speedrun? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we just have to make sure we replenish that muscle soda. In OG2, you can actually skip this. OG2 has speed tech to skip this, but unfortunately, K2 does not. Ah, speedrun, yeah, K2 is. K2 is one of our faster ones, which is nice. So, we want to replenish our muscle soda before, obviously, we get to the end of the game. Actually, menu properly, that'd be great. Over to tank, Aichi. And now we literally just have to wait for Date's phone call. Uh, if we stand still, we trigger an AFK message. However, if we stand still in first person, we don't. We stare at this door for three minutes. Fascinating. 
<laughs> yeah, this this is just stare at the door for three minutes. OG2 can skip this. We can't in K2. It, this is... We have to do this. There's no way of skipping this, sadly. Chat, who's excited for Elden Ring's DLC? I need to... I need to see, like, the actual trailer, because I haven't looked at the trailer properly yet. Also, how was the Nintendo Direct? I didn't watch it. I was asleep. I thought it was later today. I was wrong. I was very game of monkey ball yeah i'm excited monkey ball's coming back I, i'm excited monkey ball's coming back hell yeah monkey ball monkey ball good stuff hopefully they will nail it and it's a new one as well it's not like a remake or a remaster or anything it's actually new that's exciting it's very exciting monkey ball is phenomenal ball is very very phenomenal great series honestly yeah smt vengeance i'm also excited for um I enjoyed SMT5 on the Switch. I never finished it. Now I have a reason to. Like, I'm definitely getting that for PC. Absolutely getting that for PC. Excited as all hell. Yeah, Endless Ocean. That's a, that's a remaster, right? Because that was something that was on the Wii, right? Are you downstairs? Erica has decided to sulk downstairs. <laughs> oh, there she is. Good. Alright, my AFK message. She's good. <laughs> She's good. Yeah, my son of stories, uh, that getting another lease of life is good. I hope that's building up to stories free. I still need to play stories too as well, but I hear, I hear stories is like a really good turn-based, like, kind of turn-based system for Monster Hunter. So I'm, I'm excited to like actually start playing that when I get, you know, free time. I have any of that at the moment. to set up the uh, charity stuff tonight for the charity fundraising we're doing this weekend. Been literally almost a year since we've done charity fundraising. I sort of miss it. It's right. It's like a new one and I know it's the first. Fair enough. Finale. I'm trying to pop my ears there. <laughs> my ears uh, need popping for a while now. That's what I was trying to do that. Oh. Alright. Uh. So. This is the one weapon route for the finale. This finale is exceedingly tight execution-wise. Uh, you can lose your run right at the start here. This is great! Through no fault of your own. Mostly it's an enemy that goes by the name of Moon. This is good, little easy. You had fun? Fair. Alright, grab this sign. Pray Moon runs forward. Hit. I was a bit worried. Yep, moon went. Okay, so after that, this is the one weapon we're going to be using this dark wood sword for the majority of this finale. This is the upgrade to the oak wood katana. It is stronger and it is better and it is all over this place. I did hit triangle, I don't know why I didn't do that. You want to intentionally break the barricade to the right. By doing that, see it on the right-hand side will run forward. His AI breaks if you do not interact with him. Okay, Dragon Engine. Yeah, this was actually pretty good in terms of what's the side of the as well. Huh. Interesting. For the larger enemy is always a heavy stab. A heavy stab and a heavy stab. Fun fact, you don't have to go to the bit to the right that has the enemies the rocket launchers. It took us a couple of years to figure that out, and that's embarrassing. We want that Chinese saber that we're going to put away. 
We want this Darkwood Sword that we're going to put away, and those are our two weapons for the finale. But for the rest of this, we are going to pick up one last uh, Darkwood Sword. So this one on our left-hand side. While also bypassing the enemies of the rocket launchers to the right. There we go. So the nice thing here is we can't use our menu straight away. So we're going to move to the left in order to bait both of these guys to the same spot. Didn't work, sadly. If you can get them both to the same spot. Actually, I actually hit them both for the QT anyway, so that's good. Uh, this QT, if they've both like been hit once, they both go down in this QT. And this bit here is the entire reason as to why we have auto camera off. The very end here where the entrance of purgatory is, is a enemy spawning location. If we're looking at it without the camera moving, enemies will not spawn over there. Make sure enemies spawn all around us in this bit so that we don't have to wait for them to run all the way from the very end. That guy on the right sucks. Ah, oh, that's awful. This guy here. You. You! He just disappeared out of existence. My man. This bit you gotta be careful. Enemies have grenades, and that happens. Muscle Soda in this menu. Equip the Darkwood Sword and the Chinese Saber. Watch out for the one that calls himself. No. This guy likes to dodge. I have lost world records to that guy before. Fuck you, no. <laughs> How dare you. And with that, we get on to our final encounter. The man in black. Here he is. Somehow this man survived getting run over by a truck. And with a Darkwood sword. Bye bye And that's that. Alternative to the FOV thing. The FOV thing was to help with not getting enemy spawns down the bottom, but we actually found out that it doesn't matter. FOV actually doesn't affect that. So I went back to default FOV because so many people were complaining about the game at, like, max FOV. <laughs> we'll walk up the stairs. Muscle soda. Off we go. UG2. Nice, easy fight. Nice, easy fight. We need heat. We can generate heat very quickly and very easily by stabbing him in the butt. So, sort out. Stab out. Heat attack. Make sure you do the heat attack here. Remember what we did with Hayashi with a strong attack? Boop. Right, done. Oops. Found that, which isn't the worst thing ever, because now we just get off and just hit him once. You can actually fail the third one, I think, and it might be a lot faster. Not sure. Alright. Good boy. The law has been downloaded for Day Jim Kim. Here we go. Fuck Day Jim Kim. This guy ruins literal speedruns. He really does. Alright, so Day Jim Bloody Kim, ruiner of all fucking speedruns. We need to make sure we hit this guy right in the face with the Darkwood Sword instead. So sword out. Run forward. Light attacks, baby. Okay, you should be gone. Fail this intentionally. Punch him. And then quick step backwards. This keeps our sword in our hand so that we don't have to re-equip it. And then obviously ideally hit the enemies with it before we walk back into his field of heat. Daejun Kim is one of those people that can actually escape feel the heat. If he does, uh, he can shoot you and kill you. And you can't do anything about it. Smiling emoji. How to be on a world record pace, Romulus? I'm still mad. It's been like three years. Get over it. I set a world record after that, but get over it. <laughs> Fuck this, man. God, I hate Daejun Kim so much. <laughs> OG2, he sucks as well. <laughs> this fight really sucks in OG2 as well. This guy just fucking ruins any speedrun. OG2, K2, fuck Daejun Kim. Hope you're ready for the last action. Today's Jingu Wheel. Almost done. We could do our traditional roll the wheel one more time and see what Jingu would have landed on. 
like doing that. So, the 174 damage was for Ryuji. We can stab him once and then do the heat attack. You can get that heat attack off even with upping your damage, but it's an exceedingly tight window. So, intentionally we do 174 because it doesn't actually make any of the other bosses or enemies faster. But you can make this a lot slower. The item in the tomfish has slapped him, so he's good. Once again, attacks against up. G, G. It should always be triangle. It is with OG2. If you fail this, it's a game over. It's not always triangle. G, G. music restarted for some reason. I don't know why. That's K2. I love K2's run. You'll get to see this again on Friday. I could swap it out for OG2, but the problem is OG2 in a marathon setting. No. 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 <laughs> I refuse. It's actually not when I have to de-rest it. Um, OG2 is a lot more difficult in terms of like pure difficulty. Uh, than K2's run. Uh, it's as hard consistency-wise as well. Uh, but OG2 has the issue where you have to... In the first, like, five minutes of the run, you have to get a specific enemy to spawn, which is a random chance, and then said specific enemy has to drop a weapon called the Brass Knuckles. That is a one in five chance, which on top of the chance of the enemy spawning or not, uh, anyone who has run OG2 for a period of time, uh, we've seen it all. I have seen, I think Panda took three hours to get Brass Knuckles once. I took two and a half. Um, a big no-no taken three hours once as well. Fuck OG2. <laughs> Just... No. Not in a marathon setting for charity. I'm going to swear my ass off. Um, although for a marathon setting, I obviously have, you know, safety saves for the brass knuckles. But the rest of OG2's run is just evil. It's pure evil. It's actually nasty. So, in a marathon setting, no thanks. <laughs> I would much rather do K2, which I am, like, almost, like, 30 minutes faster at. <laughs> Much rather do Kato. <laughs> yeah, for those who enjoyed the Jingu wheel uh, on beginning on Friday, uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of charity streams for three or maybe four days. Uh, we are going to be doing on the first day. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, fundraising for Game Blast uh, as part of Team Sega. Uh, we are going to be aiming for, for me, lifetime 20k raised for charity, which is just under 2,000 uh, during this event. So the max goal is going to be 2,000 with potentially something cheeky at 3,000. You know I like doing that. You know I like doing that. But what the lineup will be is it will be a milestone-based marathon again. Exactly like we did for Game Blast last year. But unfortunately, got interrupted in the middle of it. We are going to be doing... On the first day, if everything gets met, every 200 will unlock a new speedrun. Uh, we'll begin with 0, K1, K2, 3. On Saturday, it will be 4 and 5. And then on Sunday, it will be 6, LED, and Gaiden. So I want to do Gaiden. <laughs> I consider it canon. I don't know if I'm going to do 6 Gaiden LED or 6 LED Gaiden. Haven't decided the order yet. I do need to decide that, like, you know, tonight. And if we get to that 2,000 goal, we'll have a bonus day on Monday, which will be my very first full any percent infinite wealth speedrun. As a, as a thank you for getting my total charity fundraising to 20k and obviously 2k to charity. So, look forward to that this weekend. Um, oh, we go. Oh, F4 for I get DMCA'd. I need this VOD. Six actually PB'd. Uh, before we go, we do have one little tradition that we do. One last little tradition. We roll him one more time. <laughs> We roll him one more time to see what would have been. To see what we would have got as the final wheel spin. If we rolled the jingle wheel one last time tonight, we would have had... Oh, 
Well, we would have re-rolled that because we just did that. He really wants K2. No. Don't you do this to me, you bastard. That's 30 minutes long. I could totally do that. <laughs> and it is Frank Thursday. Oh, you bastard, Jingu. Oh, you fucked me, Jingu. Oh, you fucked me, Jingu. I hate you. Oh, that's a good roll. That's such a good roll. What is the Jingu with? Okay, let's pretend we just did Dead Rising. What would we have got afterwards? <laughs> Alright, fuck off, Jingu. Alright, you you over you overspent your luck. Fuck off, Jingu. Alright, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> Man! Man, if Dead Rising was before... If Dead Rising was before K2, I absolutely would have fucking done it. Man, I am tempted to do it now, but... That's late. It's late. God damn it. Fuck you, Jingu. <laughs> Toying with my emotions. Uh, we would not have done Lad. Lad is too much. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you all tomorrow for something. Likely Parasite Eve. I've wanted to do Parasite Eve's run for like a week. I'll do Parasite Eve. Um... I hope you enjoyed the Jingu wheel. Uh, that was a good set of wheel spins. That was a cracking set of wheel spins. God damn. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to raid up uh, Big Nono. Big Nono is currently doing 80% uh, Yak and Kiwami speedruns. Uh, so go say hello to them. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for Parasite Eve and maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go set up the uh, charity stuff tonight. See you tomorrow. I can't believe in the year 20... I just realized my webcam button doesn't work here because it's not in this scene. I can't believe in the year 2024, we had a Jingu wheel that was really, best, really blessed and really based. Blessed. Based? Based? That sounds cursed. I'm going. Bye. <laughs>